Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to my home studio, welcome to welcome to day three of a one day guitar build because you know I need to stop promising uh, anything. Now uh, yeah I think that's the case I'm just gonna stop promising and we're just gonna bumble along on this journey together and guitars will be made, things will be learned, mistakes shall happen and uh, <laughs> we will manage to fix them. Uh, behind the screen today we have uh, uh, editor par excellence, Talitha Crow. Say hi, Talitha. Good morning. I suppose you're not a dad, therefore you don't have to say hi, Talitha. That's a dad joke, can't you? Okay, cool. Um, so yes, we've got <laughs> Talitha, and uh, she'll be on camera and all that jazz moving forward. I uh, my I don't know where my phone is, but it's currently not on silent, so woohoo. Now, what we've got here is a, a guitar that was... <laughs> Designed uh, it Sounds like only to leave this microphone is on hold on for a second. Thank you Mike. Uh, oh my gosh Muted my mic wasn't even on Ha! How's that? Uh, I blame Talitha. She arrived 10 minutes later than I thought she would I thought we have 20 minutes. We have 10. It's all your fault Talitha. I take responsibility Fantastic. There we go. Okay um, Thank you for that, uh, uh, Max. I <laughs> appreciate it. Okay. Hi, Ben. Uh, so there we go. Uh, nothing. <laughs> he sent a message saying, you're welcome, with a sort of emoji with the eyes looking up and all that. This is what happens. Live streams are uh, a never-ending series of possibilities for either me or the software or the program to mess up. But I have got multiple cameras set up. We have got... Uh, Camera two, camera three, same shot pretty much. Camera four, this is the guitar as it currently stands. And at the moment, actually, looks a bit ugly. So uh, here's where we're at. And it's a little bit amorphous, a little bit chunky. Uh, there, are <coughs> there are sections to be cut off. People are saying your mic's off again. It's I shut off when you put it in your pocket. Hello. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Alt Grendel, for the super chat to tell us the mic is off. Thank you very much. Okay. So, uh, okay. This is very important, people. Over Christmas, I've put on a little bit of weight, I think. And just putting that in my back pocket, which is a little bit tighter than I'm used to, it uh, muted the camera. My ass messed up the stream. Okay. Success, that's better. Okay. Tape over the switch. <laughs> No, we're fine. Okay, it's it's done. We're good. And uh, I will pay attention now. So, Talitha, something that we need to remember is when we get to changing batteries and things, we need to mute the microphone at the Atom Mini here so we don't blow out everybody's eardrums. I'm sure you guys would appreciate it. Um, okay, so what's going to happen through this whole build is, uh, or at least through this day, Talitha is going to read out various comments. All Super Chats will be answered. <coughs> Uh, we will run various polls and things. I do have a bit of a cough and I apologize uh, in advance uh, if I cough in your ears. I'm... We spent the last week, this is the first time that I've been back in my workshop in any earnestness uh, since the last stream, which was over a week ago. And uh, I, I had the live stream yesterday, quest Q&A sort of stuff, but I haven't worked in my workshop because we have been moving the vintage tool shop over to Crimson Guitars and uh, that involved moving a lot of stuff out of the mezzanine and storage and stuff and uh, I'm going to blame the dust. Uh, I've done multiple uh, lateral flow tests, I do not have COVID uh, and uh, well that's where we're at. Now if this cough gets worse during the day I'm going to cut the stream short and we'll just do, I'm going to do what I can do uh, there's a lot of routing, and I'm worried about that dust setting me off. So at some point, we may, may well just say, hey, we've been doing this for a few hours. It's been fun, but bye-bye. Um, and if that's the case, well, we'll get there. We'll get there. I did a poll on the uh, Q&A live stream on the Crimson Guitars Extras channel last night, asking whether I should do this stream or not, because I already had the cough then. And it was a 50% uh, yes, 49% no. I think somebody retracted their bid. I think so. There were a lot of uh, well wishes before we started, saying, hope you're feeling okay. So, 
Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I, I really do. Uh, this is this is the thing. <coughs> Other than my throat being sore um, and a little bit scratching, I do feel feel fine. Anyway, uh, let's get on with uh, let's get on with where we're at. Now, Ooh, Vern, maybe Vern won't talk as much today. I wonder if he'll be more productive. That's mean. <sighs> and thus comes the first poll of the day. Should we ban his ass? <laughs> no, uh, the first poll of the day, in all seriousness, whoa, wrong build. This is not the guitar that I'm building today. Sorry. Uh, where's my plans? The, there we are. Okay, so no, a poll that I would like to put up actually, I often, struggle with the thought that I do talk too much. Now, a large part of the channel is <coughs> is to do with teaching. Uh, and this is why the, uh, the block just looks a little bit messy because we've given ourselves enough space to do all of these little bits. Uh, a large part of what I do is teaching and that involves talking and answering questions and things. And this live stream is a lot of talking. <coughs> Hence, I'm a bit worried about this. Uh, would you be interested in seeing live streams where I am not talking. It is literally just my normal, uh, I would be filming, I talk to camera a little bit, then I carry on with the build and I put my isotunes in and I listen to uh, a, a podcast on Bitcoin or um, management or something. And, or would you, or do you prefer this sort of a uh, interaction? Now we're seven minutes in and I've done no buildings. So yeah, that's a bit of a problem. So the poll question is talking or Talking or doing? No, the poll question is, do you prefer the format that this live stream is, has been, or would you prefer a live stream where I don't interact as much with the viewers throughout the stream, and it's just every half hour or so I stop and I answer a bunch of questions, but the rest of the time I'm just concentrating on the build. Ooh. In my perambulations at Crimson, I found this giant kill switch. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to use it. I don't think I'm going to use it on this build, but pretty. <clears throat> okay. We're good to go. What I need to do, the, the, the lower section, the darker section of this is going to be the rosewood. So I need to glue this onto the body uh, as it currently is, and then we need to uh, make the aluminium top that then glues on, on the front and carve away all of the excess. So uh, yeah, there's gonna be a lot happening today. Clifford Evans, Super Chat, keep, you, keep your banter. Hey Clifford, thank you. <coughs> I should have asked Talitha to bring uh, some uh, cough sweets or something. I got an un unopened orange juice. I'm not sure that would help. Not after just brushing my teeth either. Okay, so what we've got, uh, at, at the, uh, in the last episode, I uh, mastered, uh, I drew around the rough shape and we need to go over to the bandsaw. Now, uh, I have adjusted the audio settings here so it should have a limiter, so the volume should dip. Uh, now the problem is with this setting, the only way to actually listen to the audio of what you're doing is either to have the live stream going uh, or plug into an audio out on a monitor and this monitor does not have a headphone out. So Blackmagic Design need to adjust that on the Atom Mini. What I'm saying is, can you please let me know uh, how this goes? I am still gonna turn off the main microphones when I use machines, but uh, yeah, there we go. Ask me some questions while I set the cameras up to Lisa. Uh, someone's given a recipe for a hot toddy that should help your throat. Oh, I had a major, major recipe come through yesterday. So thank you. Uh, and uh, Yes, I 
am 100% planning on uh, making use of uh, of whiskey and honey tonight. What's what's this recipe? Anything special? <laughs> Have get tea. Pour a lot of whiskey in your tea. Drink. <coughs> yes, <laughs> there is that. Quite a few people are saying that I need a nickname to go with Bun and Tam. Okay, so I'm Bun, Thomas, Tam. Uh, well, you guys vote to figure out the, the thing. So here we go, just before we actually get stuck into the build, this was suggested last night. It's Canadian Navy Moose Milk. Uh, it's uh, essentially a litre and a bit of rum, uh, a Kahlua, another litre of vodka, four litres of soft scoop vanilla ice cream, four litres of milk, mixed gently, while you've still got ice cream lumps, sprinkle nutmeg over the top, enjoy, and uh, most certainly give your vehicle keys away to somebody else uh, while you're doing this. Uh, apparently this will cure not only a sore throat, but pretty much everything else up to and maybe including life. Um, anyway. <laughs> when are we trying it? <laughs> isotunes. Talitha, you should have some isotunes next to you somewhere. I brought my own. You brought your own. Well, there we go. Okay. Microphone's off. Never cut with the bandsaw <coughs> where your hand can go through the blade. Always reduce it down. Well, there we go. Maybe, uh, maybe I actually am not uh, in the correct frame of, mind. frame of mind for doing a live stream. Okay, so uh, this chunk of uh, wood is much smaller than uh, the excess that I left on the tar body, which is really weird. <laughs> Sorry about the sound being scarier without the picture. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so all that time I spent last, yeah. That's the center. Okay, fine. 
that's the reason. So this body is much, much bigger than the plans have given us. Uh, so there's going to be there's going to be a chunk of work to do on there. I've got my center line. I need to figure out exactly where I need to figure out exactly where the bridge is going to be and where this end needs to be on this oversized blank so that I can figure out where that cutout needs to be on here. Uh, so yes, thinking time. Now is your time to distract me with questions. A couple of super chats. Okay. Uh, Clifford says, I'm only a pensioner, cannot afford a course. What will it cost to meet you? What will it cost to meet me? Um, do I think? <laughs> Are you local? Uh, well, I mean, <coughs> look, it, it, we have people come to visit Crimson uh, on, on a regular basis. So yeah, if you're in the area, uh, phone up, give us a, uh, let us know when you're coming, and if at all possible, basically book, book a time, and say, is it possible that Ben's going to be there, etc., and say that I mentioned this. <sighs> Two five seven. Okay. So, <laughs> so from that point of view, honestly, honestly, nothing. Um, whether I will be able to give you huge amounts of time, uh, I I don't have huge amounts of time to sort of willy nilly uh, to just spend with everybody that comes. Um, however, you know, a twenty minute walk around the factory showing you what we've got uh, and a quick chat. Yeah, no worries. I'm, I'm not going to charge for that sort of thing. Uh, okay, so I've got my my dimension there. The <clears throat> Where it becomes more problematic is where you, if you wanted to, and we would, I suppose, consider charging if you wanted a, say, a two or three hour consultation on looking at guitars that you've built and what I would suggest you need to do, etc. Yeah, that would be, I suppose, classed as a short course or something, and we could work out a price and schedule time and that because, in the end, obviously, time is, time is money. It sounds trite. Time is very rare and any spare time I've got is spent in front in front of camera helping lots of people out. Um, yeah, I should have just drawn straight onto the... Uh... Uh, JC says, I was able to reschedule my client so I could be here today, but I may be listening instead of watching during my six and a half hour drive. Drive safe. Yeah, drive safe. Um, <coughs> If I cough in your ear or the machines go too loud, please don't have an accident thinking that something IRL is happening. I've had that happen to me. Not full accident, but whoa, what's that? Oh no, it's just this idiot I'm listening to. <laughs> um, I think sirens in adverts should be banned. Uh, just going back to the, the previous um, person who said they couldn't afford to come on a guitar building course at Crimson. We are going to be relaunching the Crimson Guitars Guild at some point this year with not only online videos on how to build guitars, but uh, interactions, i.e. Uh, it would be... <sighs> there will be videos, but there will also be an interaction between you and us at Crimson where you would send us videos of what you've done or a problem that you're having or a question, here's 30 seconds of you shooting a video, send it to us, and then Aluthia will phone you and, and uh, or Zoom, etc. and we'll go through that process. Uh, there's enough people around the world who want to learn from us but can't at the moment. Okay. JP Woodwork Super Chat says, I meet Ben at events like DNM Tool Show. Which hasn't happened for a while. Uh, no, not for a while. I'm, I'm, I would like to do a... Watch this space. I think we're probably going to actually <coughs> maybe organize an event at Crimson, uh, or at least an open day Crimson to announce the proper opening of the guitar of the tool shop and the new workshops and things. So sometime in the next couple of months, we might even have a, an event at Crimson. Anyway, uh, stop now. Hold those thoughts. I need to think. Okay, thinking time over. Two more super chats. 
sweet tea guitars says, calm down, brother. You're going to get yourself in a tense throat situation and spark more coughing. We're not <coughs> going anyway. Let it be. <laughs> Thanks, Thank sweet you, tea. Dude. You have the, a fantastic beard, by the way. Like, envy. <laughs> uh. Stefan Frank says... I just wanted to tell you that I'm looking forward to every single one of your videos and it always brightens my day. So the next coffee is on me. Thank you, Ben. You're awesome. Thank you very, very much. Um, you just reminded me that I need another coffee. <laughs> um. There's suggestions to do another weekend live workshop like um, where we had the barbecue. Yes, that was a really good, that was a really good event. Uh, okay. Uh, now, I had planned to do more of those, I really had. The issue we have is obviously COVID is a, is a bit of a problem. Okay, so what I've got here is a piece of wood and uh, <coughs> I've just remembered why I wanted to reduce the size of the blank and that was I needed to, I need to get rid of all of these uh, cut marks etc first. So I've marked out uh, where the end of the fretboard is going to be because I need to cut that out so the top slips down over the fretboard uh, on, on this but initially initially I need to start planing. So let's clear the bench and uh, get out the masking tape and super glue. Have I, uh, have I told you about our Lord and Saviour masking tape and super glue? <coughs> If I, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you've got some watching to do. Marcy, no. I put it on the wrong thing. Can I ask you a question about inlay? Absolutely. I just need to find the original question. Hi Ben, I have a question about inlays. I'm about to do my first. Would you inlay before radius? And how deep would you make it, assuming a 16-inch radius? Um, no, I don't inlay before radius. I always inlay <coughs> afterwards. Uh, and uh, essentially that means that whatever material you are dealing with, it, uh, you can adjust it to you can adjust it to the radius so the thickest bit is in the middle but you've got enough that you're not going to go through. Okay. I'm about to run out of battery already. Okay. And the consensus is my nickname is Taz. Your nickname is Taz. Ta uh, that's just confusing. I think it should be trouble or... <laughs> That's what you called me when I was younger. That is not what I called you when you were younger. Okay, so we're just going to mute the audio mics. So, ta I'm not calling her Tao. <laughs> yeah. hey, give me those. There we go. Okay, so batteries are charging. Uh, the poll is currently at 82%. You like me talking? <clears throat> yes. I'm sure Talitha has something to say about that. So, Talitha, what is it like actually having to spend the vast majority of your days listening to your brother prattle on about something that you weren't necessarily interested in? Um, I learn a lot. And I also get to watch you at two times speed uh -huh. make you sound like a chipmunk sometimes. <laughs> Fair enough. So that's fun. Okay. And then I do get to mute you as well. You really do. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, camera two. There we go. Okay. So I've just burnished down the masking tape on both sides. 
and then a little bit of super glue in the middle. Accelerator. And then that all lines up perfectly fine. Now I've got this going over the edge of the bench, but I don't particularly, I'm not too worried about that. Um, I need to make a wider bench, basically. Uh, what I'm getting rid of is these uh, bits in the middle, and then we should be okay. Cut off the tags. Hmm, serendipitous, I've lost in in <clears throat> in the space of two minutes, I've lost my scalpel blade, but uh, <laughs> well, I've got the leather man on me all the time. Uh, did anybody see where I put the scalpel blade? Because it's not where it's supposed to be. And that's dangerous. Hmm. Okay. Okay, bun tully and tam. Bun tully, no, no, veto. <laughs> <laughs> Taz, Taz works fine. Okay, uh, hand plane. <clears throat> uh, mic is a bit scratchy today, Ben. My mic. Yeah, Ben. Um, and it's behind you. Scalpel blade, or is that just a pantomime thing? It may well be a pant. It's supposed to be in there in something soft, but it, it has actually... I'll find it. I, I really have, honestly... This isn't a, uh, a ploy to mention Leatherman. I don't need a ploy to mention them. Um, <laughs> okay. So this is the low angle... Lee Nielsen. I do suspect I might need to sharpen this. I think it fell into the slit on the, um, yeah, there we go. I think it fell down there. <laughs> it's now on the floor. Cheeky, <laughs> cheeky thing. Uh, I'm not going crazy. I got my, my scalpel blade is gaslighting me. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is, uh, this is actually, <sighs> annoyingly cross grain. It's going to take, <clears throat> time to do and I don't want to spend time doing that. I haven't got my random orbital sander, not my, my main Merker one. Uh, I do have something else though. Let's see. Greetings to Detroit, Motor City. Hmm. Okay, Talitha, could you move your phone away from microphones? Um, it's uh, according to uh, to Max. Uh, it's a crackling radio interference sort of sound. So it may well be our our phones. I can't change the. I don't think I can change the frequency. Scintillating live streams. Always are. Channel setting. Channel one. Oh. Well, this might destroy the audio. Let's have a look.
So Lisa, could you go into the channel settings and change it to channel four? Lots of Testing. comments saying sounds fine, audio all good, sounds fine in the States, mic is good. Okay. Well, I've just changed mine to channel four, so can you change yours to channel four? Just out of interest. You said channel four. Channel 4, 557.740 five, megahertz. Yep. Testing. Okay, well, that's something that I've never had to do before. Let's see if that makes any difference. Uh, honestly, a lot of the time it's the, uh, it's the cables um, causing issues, but uh, And someone said anyway. there was noise when you moved your mic because it was hitting the chain around the neck, but it's pointing away from the chain. Okay, let's get rid of the chain. I need to stop wearing t-shirts. I also need to turn the heating down. Okay, so I've got a sander. Let's have a look. I'm going off camera. Ouch. I meant to do that. It does, yeah. It does sound worse when you're not actually watching what I'm doing. Smash, bash. They don't actually make this one anymore, I don't think. Uh, it's not a very comfortable sander, but then again, it was only about maybe 40 pounds. It was uh, very, very, very inexpensive. Uh, and for that price, very good, actually. Okay, I'm just gonna go through um, and make a little bit of dust, which means opening the windows, etc. Got any queries before I start the noise? Uh, I apologize, I, I apologize if I don't pronounce your name right. Gordinos, uh, thanks for everything you do. You are part of the reason I got back into woodworking, hand tools mostly. Cool. Though you are to blame for all the money I spend on vintage tools. Much love and thanks again. Do you know what? I, I, I think we should start a thing where I actually write personal apology notes to the uh, other halves of people who one of one of my favorite memories was at a guitar show probably dnm tool shows or something like that and uh, some guy from the opposite sort of like 20 meters away says benjamin crow i am thankful for spending so much money due to you my wife however and he was shouting this across the room i have i've kitted out an entire workshop thanks to you Anyway, okay, main audio off. Okay, I'm gonna put some uh, much. I'm gonna put coarser sandpaper on this. Yeah, uh, someone wants to know what thread that is. Um, welcome back, Bane Crow. Ha! <laughs> Bane Crow. I still want to make a Bane mask for this. That was only 180. Um, just not, not coarse enough. That's 120. Uh, Lisa, I just need to get into a drawer that's behind you. Uh, people are saying they can't hear me properly. Here's your mic. It's unmuted now. Talk to Lisa. Can you hear me? 
Ben has cut mics on the board. Can hear you now. We can now go. <laughs> okay. Ah. So. Yes. These are larger than required, but. <coughs> So I am putting 80 grit on here, just to see, just to see what happens. <laughs> We've got a new member, Brad Butler. Welcome to the crew. Welcome, Brad. I. Uh, yeah, I've got huge plans for the membership uh, for the membership system. Okay, let's see how this goes. Uh, aha. I'm just going to disappear. I'm going to listen to listen to a podcast for a bit. Bye. <laughs> Battery is low, please charge. Fine. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> a tool with a blade will always do it faster and better. It's just very annoying. Paul wants to know if you were listening to Enter the Sanding Man. <laughs> And greetings to Denver, USA. 3.30 in the morning and still joining us. Welcome Thank to the chaos. Matt. And 4.30 a.m. in Nashville. In who? 4.30 a.m. in Nashville. I do... I do think that maybe it would be a better idea if we started these a little bit later in our day. I also wish I had a uh, sound of thickness here.
questions. Lots of people saying what time it is where they are. 3.40 in Alberta, Canada. 5.40 Indiana. 2.40 San Francisco. Um, 11.40 in Denmark. So they're fine. <laughs> yeah, they're the other way. Do I have? P.S. Guardian is wondering what your neighbours would think if you started later and ended later. Yeah, that's the problem. No, it's not used at all. Um, yeah, this is very much the problem. I can't really go much later than say eight o'clock without really feeling. Uh, well, like a bad neighbour. Uh, and, for that matter, a bad parent. Um, so, yeah, it just is what it is. Okay, yeah, this is, this is the right tool for the job. Dave, Dave says, I had the same mask as Ben, but can't find replacement filters anywhere. Come to crimsonguitars.com. Uh, we sell the masks. We should have the filters as well. Cool. And if they aren't available on the website, drop us an email and uh, we'll look into it. If we don't sell the, the replacement filters, that really would be... Get on to Tom about that. Naughty, actually. Okay, so I'm just, uh, I've got a leveling beam, flattening off the edges of this scraper. This one I can actually bend a little bit, so I can be a little bit more precise with where it cuts. No, I'll just do the two sides. Okay, so you flatten it off like that. Square it off here. So what's the main difference between the thick scraper and that one, apart from the flexibility? Well, one's thick and one's thin. Um, yeah, no, it, it literally is. That's, um, that's the thing. It's, it's more flexible and I will be able to Okay, so either you can put it up in a, in a vice like this. That's probably the easiest, actually. That feels weird. Oh, I know what I didn't do. I know why that feels weird. I didn't work hard on it. So what you're supposed to do, Mr. Distracted, is push out the edge like this flat, and just doing that makes the steel at that edge harder. And then, and then you turn a burr on that edge, like this. There we go, that feels much better. Woohoo! Oh yeah, baby! Ha <laughs> ha! So that took not very long at all. And now I've got to put this away. Have you tried a scraper with the curve already profiled so you don't have to bend it? Uh, yes, but again, so I've got those, 
Um, they're a little bit more annoying to sharpen, mm. basically. But yeah, a good, a good thick cabinet scraper like this. This is the one. Ben shaves with that. Sorry? <laughs> ben shaves with that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dave, Dave says, unfortunately, only the masks on the website, as far as I can see. Okay, uh, Talitha, would you mind sending Tom, Tam, sorry, Tam, uh, a message and asking him uh, if we can, and if we can't, then I want to mm. take them off stock because there's no point in selling something if you can't back up the sale with uh, spare parts. Hold on, camera three. So this would have taken me with that underpowered sander probably 20 or 30 minutes to get rid of those uh, scraping marks. My plane should have done it, to be honest, but uh, the plane was taking out uh, it was creating tear out, so that needed to be sharpened and, and, and adjusted. But this scraper, the scraper's doing the job in just a few minutes. Also, no dust, which in my current situation is really nice. Springy2112. Hello. Good luck. Get well soon, Ben. I was gutted the headless isn't headless, but we're all done for working around the hardware. Peace and love. Yes, I. Uh, well done for working around the hardware. Oh, Sorry. well done. I. I mean, we we voted, we did a poll. We did a poll. Uh, I do wonder if people would be more likely to buy raffle tickets to own this guitar if uh, if it was properly headless. So uh, yeah, if you don't know yet, this. Uh, this instrument could be yours. Uh, currently, I think only about 2,000 tickets have sold, so the odds are really uh, very, very, very good. Yeah, I'm just checking. What's the difference between a thickness planer and a drum sander? A uh, drum sander is much more delicate. A uh, drum sander or a thickness sander is... Oh! Maybe we should uh, point the camera at the correct part of what I'm working on. Why not? Um, basically, a, a, a planer, a thickness planer, would take something this delicate and it might, well, would create the tear out in this particular case. And uh, that would be very difficult to get rid of. So that's for uh, more chunky work. A sander is an abrasive and it takes, you know, a quarter of a mill at a time off very gently and leaves something perfectly flat uh, easily. Whereas in this case, I've had to go with, with hand tools, but we've ended up with the correct thing. As my guitar shreds asks, using a scraper, can you ensure that the piece is flat or will you attack it with a sander later? 
Uh, you can be sure it's flat. I'm taking off uh, microns here. I'm not taking off huge amounts of, uh, of material. Um, also, I am not... <sighs> In this particular build, I'm also going to be adding uh, aluminium to the to the top etc so and that's going to be textured and changed and, and all sorts so I'm not necessarily after perfection in the first place but uh, yeah that being said it's going to be absolutely uh, what the scraper does is it uh, takes material off uh, it takes the high spots off so yeah And we're nearly there except for that section in the middle which is either going to be glued up or cut out with the um yeah cut out hard on the thumbs There are currently 2,200 tickets sold in the raffle. 2,200, okay, so yeah, there's, there's, uh, you do have uh, a fairly large chance of owning this uh, if, you, if you enter. And it ends this Saturday, Saturday 22nd? Yeah. So there's okay. still time. Well, there we go. Dirty. Feed me with questions, that was quiet for too long. Sorry. Sweet Teat Guitars says 642 watching and 150 likes. That's, uh, yeah. Those odds aren't great. <laughs> Jake says... Hi, Jake. Curious why you went so high on neck with body. Won't that interfere playing on the higher frets? Uh, so it's a stability thing and it's just a, a, a look thing to be honest but um, but no most people don't play with a thumb all the way over in any case so I'm not I'm not worried about that um, I've done and remember uh, a large a, a, significant portion of this is going to be carved away and cut away so the final shape which we're going to see shortly is going to be much uh, more svelte shall we say a lot of people were waiting for that to snap as you peeled it up <laughs> uh, holding their breath please don't snap it never goes wrong but it always feels like it could oh no it goes wrong sometimes um, and on camera I don't like hiding the mistakes, but uh, no, wood is very, wood is very strong. It really is. So uh, I was also <coughs> paying close attention. You notice I wasn't talking while I was doing that. I was paying attention to what it, what it felt like and what, what it sounded like. If necessary, I could have gone in with a, a spatula or something like that. Ben's three favourite things, coffee, planes, uh, masking tape and super glue trick. Masking tape and super glue has saved me many, many, many hours. Hmm. 
Okay. So. Now, I've got rosewood. The center line is fairly hard to spot. So I'm just going to put some masking tape on the center line here. I think I messed that up actually. And now it's a lot more visible. Some people are saying the interference is back, but others are saying the audio is fine, so... Okay, well that's an interesting one. I... Mic sound is caused by the chain. You can see the chain rubbing the back of the lapel clip. <laughs> right, chain's gone. Let us know if that helps. You're not keeping this. Get off me. I'm just wondering if it actually would fit on there. there we go. Earlier there was also someone asking uh, about your watch. Uh, asking what about my watch? If you were going to do a wrist check today. Um, I actually forgot what I was wearing this morning. Um, I actually haven't worn this watch on video. I've had it since July 21, thereabouts. I haven't worn it on camera because it gives the wrong impression um, to a certain extent. But uh, yeah, Rolex Daytona. And uh, it's incredibly sought after. It's very, very beautiful. And I'm very, very lucky that I was able to get it at retail. Um, because they basically treble in value. Um, it's... <clears throat> and I feel like you shouldn't be wearing it in the workshop. Uh, it's, it's a watch. It's there to be, it's there to be scratched. It's not... Yeah. Yes, it is an investment as well. Um, but I'm honestly not sure how I feel about the Rolex market at this stage. I never would have spent this much money on on any single anything ever and it's a weird it's a very very weird feeling um, it's luxury and with a healthy healthy dose of bullshit but uh, but I love the watch so uh, there we go what do you guys think let me know I am um, I'm interested to know okay ah we've got a guitar build to crack on with Okay, um, so what we need to do now, at this stage, I've got marked out the, where the end of the fretboard is going to be. That's ready to be straightforward. And I now need it to go down over the edge of the board. The problem is actually I've got veneer there. I'm gonna stop putting this away. <laughs> Crackle was totally in sync with Bun banging on the bench then. How uh, what? Suggestions that it might be a loose wire. 
Oh, the crackle. Yeah. Hmm. And then suggestions that it was mine again. So. Okay. Well, we'll see. So this is an aluminium fretboard. I don't particularly want to damage it by doing this, but uh, just carefully scrape away. So it's pretty square there. I'm pushing this down onto the top and then it's just cutting into the edge where there's still glue and veneer. Tom's responded about the dust mast filters. Okay. And he says, leave it with me, I'll look into it now. Okay, fantastic. So hopefully we'll have those soon. Now, um, I have a line of epoxy left over from the board. So I need to just uh, carefully figure out what I want to do here. So, okay, there we go. So essentially I've got There's a little bit more rosewood here <clears throat> that needs to be paired away to match the to match the aluminium board from the Bond Electro Glide. When did you suggest the I bet you couldn't build. Um, that was not me. That was somebody on the Instagram. Okay. Um, I loved the idea when I said it, but I'm not entirely sure people will play nice. Well, yeah, uh, Quan Bartel says, I bet you couldn't dot dot dot. Finish a build on time? Build a guitar with stained glass. Oh, I've actually considered that. Um, yeah. Uh, I bet I could. But that would be like decorational inlay, not. Well, no, body. the whole the whole body the whole body could be stained glass. That's uh, that's not an issue at all. It's uh, to do with the. Uh... So there's there's a a glass manuf not necessarily stained glass, but actual glass. I have. Uh, I've even gone to glassmakers workshops and had long discussions as to how I would collaborate with them in making a guitar that is at least partially made out of glass. Um, there is a company in the States, I think, I think they're called Morningstar. Uh, they make uh, very rudimentary um, guitars, but yeah, they, they, they're cut out of glass. Um, So yeah, I mean it's it's absolutely possible. Hugh McKay says, "I bet you couldn't make a hurdy gurdy." Yeah, I take you up on that, Beth. <laughs> um, I bet I couldn't either. It's become a running joke. Maybe maybe I'll make one as the last thing I do before I retire. 
And then I realised that I should be making hurdy gurdies all along because they're amazing. And you come out of retirement. Uh, yeah. No. So, um, I, I was labouring under a misapprehension. I thought that, I thought that hurdy gurdies were reed instruments. And uh, it turns out I don't think they actually are. They're uh, um, strings that are then <sighs> rubbed up against by something with a wheel. And that's uh, how it's done. And that's, that's more my wheelhouse. Okay. So that works. Now, scraper. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, so yeah, we're doing the scraper at a slight back angle, so it's it's cutting underneath. Stuart wants to know if you find it restrictive working on a narrower bench. Thinking of building one like yours with a twist or two. Okay, uh, I am going to be building myself a new bench as well at some point in the very not too distant future. Um, I thought I promised not to promise anything anymore. <laughs> I want to build a bench. Uh, and I am going to make it 18 inches wide instead of the 12 inches I've got here. Uh, I think 18 inches is what's necessary. Yes, it is restrictive, and it's it's not really <coughs> it's not really good enough for guitar building, in my opinion. Bear says, "Wow, just took a bite out of my coffee cup." Then that noise. <laughs> Sorry, Bear. Hey, man. Pierce Guardian, building a workbench right now. Good luck. Also, Ben's fault. Uh, building the bench? Yeah. A bench is one of the most important tools. It really is. Um, but yes, that noise was not nice. He says, potentially making it again. Huh. Creeville, sorry, the ancient Creeverai. Build, maybe, yeah. Creeverai, he's our um, uh, moderator. Ah, sorry. Ben should build the bench before he starts any other build. This wobble thing is not a condition. This wobble thing is, is not good, um, but defined before he starts any other build. I'm, I've found myself in the middle of three builds, which is a problem. And it's not necessarily just the bench, it's also the floor. Yes, so the floor, I need, mm, there's a lot I need to do. There's a lot I need to do, including stop for a minute and take it easy. Paul says the new bench should have a built-on drawer. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, so there we are. 58.4. Uh, So we're at 25, 29.2. Hmm. Aha, that's what I was after. This is one of the best tools that we make at Crimson. Well, our best. Sorry, it's one of my favourite tools that we make. It's just so precise and beautiful. Scott Davies says, "Can we have a how-to bench video?" That's my next project. As mine is wobbly too. 
it would be great to have some tips. Did you say bench or bass? Bench. Bench. I heard bass. You've got a bass. wobbly bass guitar? Um, okay. <sighs> Uh, uh, Jake, no, that's not crop dusters in the background. Uh, somebody's flying a light aircraft? Yeah, it's, it's somebody doing <coughs> tricks, I would suggest. Why don't you have a look at the window, see if you can see them. Maybe we can get them on camera three. Okay, so... <coughs> Definitely sounds like loop the loop. Yeah, they're just messing around. Okay, so... That is, that is measured, and then I need to go up to, for example, the 12th fret, and so, so there we go, let's measure out the 12th fret, 143. I don't think we actually have crop dusters in the UK. No. At all. No, I don't think I've ever seen one. Trucks dragged by tractors. That's... But then again, farms are tiny in this country. Yes. Um, okay, so uh, what I did there is I went all the way up to the 12th fret, but what I don't have is the room to do the whole width off the edge of the, the board there. So I'm going to have to go back to, uh, to say this one here. Um, Anthony, no, Ben does not 90. have COVID. He's just got a cough. Ah, yes. Um, so, uh, yeah, I suppose I need to keep on saying that fairly regularly because uh, there's about... How many people are actually watching? Um, 730. Okay. Um, so... So yes, I've done, yeah, I've got a bit of a cough. I'm not entirely sure why, but uh, I've been doing uh, regular um, lateral flow tests. I do not have COVID. Um, if I did, Talitha would not be here. I, I too have been doing regular tests, but you've also been doing a lot of live streams, a lot of talking lately. No, no, this is, this is something... Dust. <coughs> I think it might be my mouse poo. But anyway. Oh. Puppy? Can you hear my puppies in the background? I thought that was a dove. Yeah, no, no that's, that's one of my dogs. Um, that's Pippin. He's howling. He really is. Uh, 55... Five five two. Uh, okay. <laughs> He's we? getting the mythical regular flu. Well, yeah, this is the thing. I mean, three kids at school, so yeah. Uh, twenty-five, twenty-seven five, twenty-seven point six, I think. Rat scat, mouse poop, you're not supposed to eat it, mate. Uh, I, just, I will try anything. Uh, no. <laughs> um, if it looks like chocolate or coffee beans, I'm in. Um, 27.6. Sorry, no puppy cam, guys. They're up at the house. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll pull them out. I'll... Where are we? Camera three. Okay. So, <clears throat> so basically, come along afterwards, just double check. Measure, measure, cut. Measure, measure, cut. So yeah, that works out. And... Uh, Uh, 
and there we go. I think I went a little bit off-piste on that one. Oh, by doing that. Okay. So what we've got then is I, you could use this as the method, or this is the method that I would use if I was putting a top of any sort uh, on a through neck guitar. And I personally found this to be an easier thing to do than <laughs> making templates and routing a, a standard neck joint. So this is what I did on, on my first probably 20 or 30 guitars really, most of them were were done this way. Uh, routers scared me, making templates scared me, and uh, I found this process easier. The <coughs> in this case, I am going to be coming along later and doing a bit of aluminium as well. Now, what I need to do, don't let me glue this down before I've taken this and marked this cavity that we're about to cut onto the aluminium, so it'll be a lot easier. <laughs> Less measuring and stuff. Ezran would like to say, I just got my Pentel 1000 in the mail. This really feels proper. Thanks for the tip, Ben. They, they are... <sighs> it's just such a good pencil. Uh, how did I manage to get mixed up in Bun's Flying Circus? Uh, Matt, do you mean just today or in general because I work with him? Uh, in general, you work with me and uh, in reality, um, Talitha is my sister. So... Uh, I have no choice. She, yeah, she, she sort of... I was here first and... Uh, and uh, I missed. I, I wasn't really trying to hit you. I think one of <laughs> you keep threatening to nail me to the floor if I try to find another job. Is it technically a threat if you fully mean to carry it through? <laughs> Surely that's just a promise. No. Um, yeah. No. So I got into guitars. I went and studied music and all that jazz. Realised that I sucked, and. Uh, um, and at that time, I was studying media. At, at that point, <coughs> Talitha was already studying media and editing and all of that jazz. And it, it's literally, it's it's just absolutely perfect. We we developed two. I developed Crimson Guitars. Talitha developed the skills required to do this. And when I started doing video, it was, hey, Talitha, how you doing? And you're like, no, I don't want to work with you. And then <laughs> here we are. 15 years later or whatever. Um, anyway, okay, so the bench is a little bit clear. I know what I'm doing. Well, I think I know what I'm doing. Let's cut. So what were the uh, what were the comments uh, with regards to the watch? I'm, I'm interested in what people think. Should I sell it? Should I get rid of it and uh, and invest it in in uh, something? Um, I'm going to have to go back. I don't know. Some questions as to whether you're going to start a rival luxury watch channel. I really do have deep seated issues with luxury market and how insane it is and I don't really want to this is I'm conflicted I'm so conflicted uh, hmm. off topic but funny Ben's next business venture 
Crimson hoodie goodies. <laughs> um, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Okay, so this is not, um, this doesn't have enough tension, so I need to push it further in here. There you go, that should do. Not do camera four. Camera four can't really do that. Yes, um, I don't think I need any other channels. Um, I'd actually rather like to reduce my interests quite significantly and, and just concentrate on on crimson or or something. Um, I get two. What is up with her dog today? Yeah, I've got <coughs> I've got too much going on. I need to. Do you want me to go and check? No, he's fine. He's, okay. He's a drama queen. Okay, so I'm going to cut this as close to the line as possible. Uh, let's have a look at the. Uh, that's fine. The sun has moved. I need blinds on this. Uh... I need an awning or something outside. <sighs> I need an extension. Mm. That's what I need. I'm going to put another sort of rectangle on the front, which will sort this out. I'm just going to stick this uh, okay. heavy duty Crimson Guitars tissue of awesomeness. Um... Which is not <laughs> opaque. Uh, comments on the watch. It is opaque. P.S. Guardian, if you love it, if you don't love it, sell it oh. to the highest bidder. If you love it, keep it, and don't worry about anyone else's opinions. This is the thing. So I tend not to worry about opinions, but then, uh, um, I mean, so for example, uh, today, oh, okay, there we go. Wah, sorted. It, it, it's like a softbox for the sun. It's, it's great. It's diffusing. It is. It really does work very well. Um, 
the, the live streams, you know, you guys are sending super chats through and super chats help cre keep all of this going. Um, but then again, here I am wearing a watch that I, I spent 10 grand on. And that's a stupid amount of money to spend on something that my, my phone tells the time just as, uh, just as well. One of my favorite watches cost me under a hundred, the Casio GS, uh, GA2100. Um, you know, so I'm conflicted, but anyway, uh, let's get this cut done. But, and I do, I absolutely do love it. The problem is, do I love it? Because it's an amazing watch, yes. But I, do I love it in part as well? Because it's basically impossible to get and I got it. And it's like, yeah, I, I must be Yeah, cool. I think that's a big that's part of it as well. That's a big part of it as well. And that is the part that really annoys me about myself. Anyway, if I didn't feel that way about stuff, then I probably wouldn't have ever started a YouTube channel. Uh, you know, yeah, look at me. <laughs> okay, so... With this, the, 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 the most, the, not the worst, these blades are very, very fine. And if you slip and hit into a soft bit of grain, it can jump an inch or two. And if your finger is in front of it, it will cut through a large portion of your finger. Uh, that's the worst. The second worst is if you snap the blade, the top section is still sitting in this clamp here. And I have on occasion stabbed it right into the bone. Um, and it's got teeth On and it that doesn't note, like coming out. Where is your first aid kit? <laughs> first aid kit? <laughs> um, next to the door. Good. Good to know. <laughs> Thor Crowley says there needs to be some extra payment for the trauma caused by working with family. <laughs> Was that payment or pain relief? Payment. Are you traumatized working with me? So much. <laughs> no, I've got the easy bit. I've got the easy bit. Um, First aid kit, masking tape and super glue. Yep. Um, someone's asked, is the vintage tool shop closing? I'm sorry I lost the question. I don't know your name. Uh, okay, so no, the vintage tool shop, yes and no. So as a separate entity, as the vintage tool shop limited, yes. And I'm so happy about that because I never should have started it as a separate company. Um, the the guys at Crimson when I first started it did not think that it would be as big as it currently is, uh, nor, well, they just didn't believe in it. And I was like, well, screw you. I, I know that it, it's, you know, is a very, very interesting way to make money, but also uh, fill my pockets with vintage tools. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, basically, we've now got four years worth of accounts and uh, I am closing it as a separate business, but... Uh, Crimson is buying it in its entirety um, for a quid and literally and uh, well, why should I pay myself for something that I own already um, so uh, the only thing is that essentially uh, Tom Tam who owns shares in Crimson uh, I'm essentially giving him a percentage of the tool shop as a, as a gift but you know whatever he's cool um, and uh, so yeah, the tool shop is now <coughs> at Crimson and it's actually going to be better than before, much better than before, I think. And uh, the most important thing is that I'm going to be not doing any admin for that or very little admin for that. And what admin I am doing will be when I'm at my main company anyway. It's just walk upstairs, talk to somebody and then carry on. Whereas before I was doing a lot more and I was taking time away from this, which is what I really want to be doing. And you were spending a lot of time in the car because the shop and Crimson were 45 minutes apart. Or 
Not the, way the way you drive. drive. The way you drive. Um, <laughs> my house, Crimson, Vintage Tool Shop, 30 minutes each way. And uh, yeah. So now, uh, well, Easy. that is not the case anymore. There's a super chat from Paulie. Thank you very much, Paulie. Hi, Ben. How are you, mate? I'm watching with my beautiful wife, Kathleen, who gave me the thumbs up for the Motu themed guitar. Email sent, mate. <laughs> she is wonderful. Thank you very much. I worried about you last time because you said, uh, um, uh, okay, this is my last super chatter. I'm going to, you know, essentially lose my wife, my life, my wife. <laughs> And uh, and then about five minutes later, you sent another super chat. I was like, don't do it. Um, so uh, uh, yeah, Masters of the Universe guitar coming up. Uh, Talitha, could you send Tom and slash or Sam a message saying look out for that one uh, and make sure to uh, talk to me because uh, they sometimes shield me from the more outlandish instru uh, instrument ideas. But I, I want, I really want to do that. Um, Kathleen. You're cool. Thank you. Uh, okay. Now, I need to get out of the house and wash my hands. I'm covered in rosewood. Yes, I need a guitar. Okay. So where we stand this we're a little bit small which is what we want the center line should line up perfectly on that uh, there is often some variation so at this stage you can push it off and because that's relatively long uh, it'll be fairly obvious that it's off there, so you need to you need to have the centre line very carefully marked out. So let's let's do that first. What? I'll now measure it with the ruler. Should be right. <laughs> uh, Sorry, that was... that was comedic pause for for, for effect. Um, that was. Since you're using a ruler, there was a question earlier about whether metric or imperial is better for guitar building. Uh, metric is better for everything. Um, so the there we go. Whoops. Um. Completely laying aside politics and geopolitical and all of that stuff, metric is objectively better for everything. And it, it just is the way. I talk in uh, 25 and a half inches or whatever, etc. Uh, and I tend to estimate in inches sometimes uh, because we live in a world where both are, are required. But thinking in, you know, two sixty fourths and there's just there's just nothing this here is 23 in 23 inches it's 23 millimeters <laughs> and you know that is <clears throat> well it's easy maths it's a lip is bang on 11 and a half millimeters actually so yeah it's it's just so easy It's settled now. Ben has said it. Metric is better. Oof, don't believe everything I say. Although in this case I am right. Uh, strong opinions loosely held. Uh, I suppose um, if you have a differing opinion, let, if you have a differing opinion, let me know. 
and uh, try and convince me otherwise. That's the whole thing. Um, I believe what I believe, and I believe it very strongly, but uh, if you can prove categorically, scientifically, that I'm wrong, I will change my mind. I'd be happy to. Another side question, if I can find I like it. side questions. Pentel, but 0 0.3, 0 0.5, or 0 0.7? Uh, <laughs> none of the above. Uh, I use 0.9 for woodwork, 0.7 will do, it's more precise and a little bit, it, it should draw on the uh, on the wood okay, but for actually drawing on wood and all this sort of stuff, 0.9 is, is where I'm at. Uh, I will, there is an angle on it so that you can be very, very precise, you can have a sharp edge that's 0.3 or whatever, but when you're doing general drawing the grain will just snap 0.5 and 0.3s. Uh, for finer work, for drawing you know, stuff that isn't on wood, yeah, it'd go finer. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's the Graph Gear 1000, it's, it's an incredible, it's an incredible thing. Okay, now, center line on the rosewood here. I'm going back to the masking tape. Hey James, congratulations. He's just put in an order for Pentel 1000 in 0.5 and 0.9. Perfect. Perfect perfection. Now I can actually see that. <laughs> now people want to know 2B or HB. Uh, HB. In my opinion. Yeah, I'm glad I went along with this live stream today, actually. I, um, I seem to have uh, stopped coughing, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, so now I'm going in with a file. It's smooth on both edges, so it's not going to adjust width-wise. Uh, three. myself. like to know if you've ever worked much with Australian woods, especially from Tasmania. Uh, Tasmanian blackwood is beautiful stuff and uh, uh, yeah it's uh, it's gorgeous. The woods that you uh, get over there are incredible. Uh, I think that most guitar builders are really boring just using mahoganies and maples. He says drawing on mahogany on maple with uh, mahogany wings. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're really, really, really boring as a species. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, there we go. Okay. Now, let's have a look. So, line it up. I'm holding this section up against the edge of the fretboard. My center line is lined up there, and my center line is actually off down there. Now, not too much of an issue. Uh, 
because it's actually basically going to disappear underneath the aluminium anyway and you'll never see the joint at the end but uh, I do want to uh, sort that out a little bit so Brad Butler says the build I'm working on right now is Tasmanian Blackwood with Mesmate and Ringed Gidgey for the fretboard. Isn't Gidgey incredibly hard? And VTR Addict, I'm making my first guitar at the moment with the body of Tasmanian Blackwood and top of Queensland Maple. Nice. Oh, yes, okay, I got it, know what I'm doing. pushing it where it's supposed to be. Hmm. Brad says Gigi is crazy hard, does not play well with planing, but no sands shit. to a glass-like finish. Yeah, it sounds like hell. That's too far. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds so, so, so horrible to work with. Um, like your love-hate relationship with Wenge. Uh, yeah, Wingo looks great, but uh, if I've got the choice, I won't use it. There we go. This is the correct uh, Iwasaki uh, rasp. Yeah, that's uh, the centre line is starting to move to where I want it. I don't have any embarrassing stories of Ben growing up. Unimpressed face. <laughs> uh, super chat from Lisa. Hey Lisa, how are you? Would you ever make a ukulele or U bass? Contemplating making a U bass, but do not like any of the kits I have found. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So are you talking solid body or um, uh, solid body or acoustic? Um, if it's a solid body one, we could probably knock one out for you in, uh, in, in a matter of uh, a few weeks to your design. Um, but uh, yeah, acoustic is more um, problematic. But yes, I do want to do uh, more of that sort of stuff on the channel actually as well. Uh, Scutterbuster666 says, Wenge hates Ben too. It never used to be personal, but then Ben said some stuff and Wenge was like, bro, WTF. <laughs> Damn it. I too anthropomorphize my words. Um, what did I just say? 
Right, give me a saw. Uh, Lisa says solid body. Drop us an email. Um, we're, we're a little bit busy at the moment, but uh, uh, I want to do... Uh, I want to do acoustic kits. So, uh, sorry, ukulele kits. So yeah, drop us an email. Say, Ben said. <laughs> and I'll warn Tom. So that small section was getting in the way of me um, planing. Shield Socks says to get a perfect fit with a piece like this around the fingerboard, would you ever make a paper template? Uh, yeah, I mean a paper template would um, would have got me closer. Uh, sooner, but uh, I I like working up to it. Um, yeah, I prefer working up to it in this way because I can adjust things if anything's moved. So, so yeah, there are many different ways of doing it. And a template is arguably better than what I've just done. Letha, would you mind doing some uh, Instagram stories or posts or things just to say sure. that this stream is actually happening? Um, Hugh McKay, what about hurdy gurdy kits? I'm starting to think you're a little bit obsessed about these hurdy gurdy things. Um, there must be a helpline for that. <laughs> um, There must be kits of parts available in any case, to be honest, to be serious. Okay. Are you going to talk, do a story, or...? Uh, yeah, right, if you want to, just count me in. Cool. Three, two... I'm in the middle of doing a live stream on the Crimson Guitars main YouTube channel, uh, day three of building a very cool crowd designed instrument. Come check it out. Okay. Right there. Starting. Starting to be close enough. LC Guitars, direct quote from Ben to me. Are ukuleles even real instruments? How could you? I, um... <laughs> I'm, I may or may not have said that at some point in my life. Um, I, I, I remember <laughs> I, I remember being in a recording studio with somebody who owned the recording studio and saying to his face that the uh, digital music that he created wasn't real music because I was an arrogant little shit. Um, and funnily enough, I've actually developed a taste for uh, um, uh, for electronica. So, <laughs> so yeah, I have said some things and uh, I regret many of them. I hope that that was taken and uh, it's supposed to be a joke. I do hope that was supposed to be a joke. Okay. <laughs> Stephen Clark, Talitha, I love the new intro and the work you've done cleaning up the egg on your brother's face for all these years. There's nothing to clean up. Okay. 
Okay. So at this stage, at this stage, if I push down too hard, I'm going to split somewhere. So yeah, just take it gentle, take it slow. Fretboard tends to go down uh, out of wedge shape as well. So just be, just be aware. Benjamin Aldridge says, this may seem like Ben faffing about, but it's actually court mandated for him to do things this way. I struggle to find, in this particular case, I don't necessarily know if there is another way to do it. But, I might be wrong. You, you learned though at, um, where was it? West Dean College. Yeah. How How many of the old techniques have you adapted to what you do today, or how many do you still do in the exact same way that you learnt them originally? Um, not much of it is transferable. You know, bending sides, cool, yes, I use the same same tool, the same techniques, etc. Um, using the hand plane, I taught I was taught how to sharpen, how to use hand planes and things like that, but everything else is essentially self-taught based on a small amount of knowledge that I gained back then. Guitar building is, uh, is different, really. And for the majority of, the majority of it, you were self-taught in, you know, the tiny shed at the bottom of your garden originally. Yes. Basically. Jimmy Tree says, Ben, you need a holiday. Maybe you could catch some rays at a beach while doing a series of short live streams on salvaging or recycling woodwork, uh, driftwood. Oof, I would love. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to stop entirely, that's for damn sure. No, you never stop. slash challenge for Ben build a 17th century guitar using equivalent equipment designs and techniques um, can I not do a modern guitar <laughs> um, okay so yeah no that's uh, something that I would very much like to do very very much actually Getting that. from Electric Lady Guitars in Devon. Hey, how you doing? Does Ben have a preferred saw for cutting bone nuts down to size? Warm regards, Eddie. Yep, hacksaw. 
yeah, bone, um, just a standard, uh, a standard hacksaw will do that very well. Okay. So we want to just bring it in a, a tad that way. We'll get in there though. So Sean Hayes, who's coming for a course in May, asks, is the plan to put any resonant chambers under that top relevant for the design I'm planning for my course? Uh, I wasn't planning on making any extra chambers in this one simply due to a lack of a lack of time. I do want to finish it relatively soon if at all possible, but um, there's no reason why we couldn't. <laughs> Groove Dodger, Ben's favorite fruit, raspberries. Ha! I like a good dad joke. Talitha. Yes. What's a pirate's favourite letter? R. I see why you might think that. But pirates, they live by the sea. And if okay. you take away their pee, they get irate. I didn't actually do that very well. Um, very good. Yeah. Super chat from Australia. Levi Baker. Hey Levi. Hello from Oz. Wondering if you have used any Australian hardwoods in your builds. <laughs> we just answered this about 15, 20 minutes ago. Um, uh, yes, not as much as I would like. Uh, in fact, if any of you uh, have uh, hardwood suppliers in Australia who you can recommend, please uh, let us know and Talitha take note of them because um, uh, yes I have used Tasmanian Blackwood, I have used uh, various uh, eucalyptus etc um, but, but not as much as I would like because it is uh, gorgeous stuff aha there we go okay so we're finally at the stage now where the center line is is almost almost perfect so it's just a case of slowly slowly bringing it all in <laughs> no not quite Stephen Clark, you guys are making it extraordinarily difficult to get ready and go to work. And I work at a guitar factory. Lol. <laughs> Sorry, well, man. Uh, it's my pleasure. You're meant to be apologetic. What? Which guitar factory? Dad joke. Uh, Matli von Eric. Ben, have you ever heard of, of a pterodactyl going to the toilet? No. I said that wrong. Have you ever heard a pterodactyl going to the toilet? The I answer not. is the P is silent. <laughs> I'm using that one tonight. Okay, so. Uh, the edge of the board there is just a little bit at an angle, so... <laughs> Ooh. 
There we go. <laughs> Center line's perfect. We're all good. Adair Guitars says, shh, don't tell Ben the secret places where we get our Aussie wood from. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very good point. Um, okay, so now this top is kind of stuck in place. There we go. JS Trucker Trucking and Guitars Super Chat. Good morning. Checked out your video last night. <laughs> he says, Good morning, Ben. Sorry I'm late. I think you gave me your cough yesterday. Ah, oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Uh, camera three. Uh, yeah, JS Trucking and Guitars, I am very much looking forward to seeing your channel develop. And. Uh, I sincerely hope that you're going to have um, as many dash cams, or as much dash cam footage as guitar building footage, because uh, uh, that was rather fun to watch. Um, if at all possible, you need to get your dash cam so that it doesn't have all of the phone holder things as well, and just have a nice big clean dash cam. That'd be uh, <laughs> gorgeous. Um, and you don't look at all like how I pictured you in my head. Um, for what it's worth. Anyway, we have got, we have got a, a fitted top. We're, it's 12 o'clock. Oh, it's only been two hours. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Another dad joke from Patrick. If people have jazz hands, what do animals have? I don't know. Dramatic pause. <laughs> I knew it was a good thing to start this line of inquiry. <laughs> okay. So it's important to tidy up uh, as you go. It really is. When are you going to mark the neck pocket on the aluminium? Next, because you guys are reminding me to. Super chat from Owen Kelly. Hey Owen, thank you. Hey Ben, if you finish the guitar today, what would be your favourite celebratory cold beer to crack open for such a momentous event? The, 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 the only one that I actually have in my fridge at the moment. Um, <laughs> I'm not even sure what I've got in there. Um, My my taste buds are changing so dramatically over over lockdown um, that it's actually really interesting. I think, and don't quote me on this. I think I'm getting old. <gasps> Mark Jennings sent a super super chat. <laughs> uh, Buy Ben Crew a coffee. He needs the caffeine. I do. I've only had two coffees today, and it's it's midday. Um, so. Uh, yeah, that's a bit of a bit of a shocker, isn't it? Uh, let me just check everything going. We are still recording. We're still on air. Um, yeah. So, uh, thank you very much, Mark Jennings. How is your new leather man? Um, let me. There's a message from him here that I haven't gone through and opened up yet because. Mark Jennings says, you utter swear word, bun. I've just had to order some new Isotunes ear defenders. Curse your discount codes. Oh, sorry. I thought it was, um, you were talking about the um, uh, Leathermans and things. Uh, there we go. Yeah, T4 and a Skeletal. Um, <laughs> so, so, Mark, you are basically telling me that you're incredibly easy to advertise to. Have you heard about the upcoming year-long guitar building course that we're um, thinking about <laughs> doing? Um, yeah, I know the Isotunes discount codes are great, aren't they? I uh, am a fan. Okay, so this is a top that is now fitting and is great. Maybe the dog's barking was because Tanya's going 
grocery shopping or something like that and they're annoyed at being left. Ah, uh, could be. Uh, yeah. So Ian M sent a super chat in response to the question about the beer. Okay. And says, no, no, not a cold beer. This is Ben. More caffeine in cats. <laughs> More caffeine, indeed. I, um... Today, it's not going to be a cold anything. Today, it is literally going to be hot toddies, I think. So, mm. you know, whiskey and honey and lemon juice and uh, stuff. I have got some incredible um, coffee liqueur. I've got some incredible coffee liqueur, <laughs> actually. And I'm wondering how that would do. Um, um, but anyway. Not the lemon. Where are we? So. Creveri. 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 What are your favourite isotunes? Which would you recommend? Uh, okay, so it depends on... Oh, he said in-ear isotunes. Sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, it's the freeze. It is the freeze. I, I've got three sets now of the isotunes freeze because I'm also really bad at charging things. Um, and uh, the the biggest difference actually is which plugs you actually decide to use. If, if, if you're using it, half of the time it's just me just existing, trying to shut the children out a little bit sometimes. <laughs> Um, there is nothing more annoying than one child playing a computer game on his laptop, another watching somebody playing a completely different computer game on the TV, and both of these people are in the lounge, which is also where my home office is, uh, and I'm trying to play a completely different computer game. No, um, trying to do something or answer comments or whatever, and at that point, you know, isotunes. Um, they've got standard buds which don't actually act as uh, particularly um, like ear defenders, or you've got the foam ones that you have to squeeze, and those are great. They are coming out, I think, I think I heard somewhere that they're going to be doing the free with the um, uh, act of noise cancelling and, and all of that jazz, um, which are the same as these. What are these called? Uh, the link aware, the aware. There we go, the, the aware. So I think they're coming out with some free awares at some point. At least it would make sense if they did that. So uh, yeah, that will be something to uh, be aware of soon. Two. Now. Where are my plans? Um. Benjamin Aldrich says, I can get hold of some black heart sassafras if you're interested, Ben. I very much am. Wrong plans. Again. Can you take these plans and put them somewhere far away from me? Oh. There we go. Okay. So, yes, we realised last week we realised last week that actually the aluminium didn't really fit where I'd drawn it. So, oh no, no, we've got it. And of course, there's no centre line. Wee! <laughs> okay, um, so that works. What I need to do is. Yeah. Okay, let's get this down there for now. Eden's Guitars asks, would you route the aluminium with a normal wood router? Yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah, basically aluminium, uh, uh, copper, even brass to a slightly lesser extent, it depends on the brass I suppose, uh, absolutely no worries whatsoever, I've got no problem with um, uh, routing that with the standard router. Okay, so I just need to draw
Thank you, Jake Richard, for your super chat. Uh, there wasn't a question attached, though. So, yeah, if there, if there isn't a question, just keep an eye out for his name. And uh, yeah. if you can put the super, uh, just send a standard, a standard question, and hopefully somebody will point it out to us or will notice. Um, it depends on how fast the chat is going, but uh, if you spam us, we should see it. P.S. Guardian. If that aluminium was a bit thinner, you could make the argument that Ben's plans have been, dramatic pause, foiled. Ha! Ah, it really is very thin. Now that reminds me, I do have a thicker piece. Whoa! Control thyself. Bum, bum, bum. Aha! Oh, there we go. Yeah, no, that's what I need actually. Just don't walk into the... Oh, that was close. Ah. Flying metal chips doesn't sound like a good idea to me. Creever eye. Sounds like fun to me. <laughs> uh, okay, so I've now got... On here, I've got the where the aluminium needs to be. So I started a sneaky poll quite a while ago, and people want the results, or rather want me to tell you the results. Do you think Ben will finish the guitar today? 64% say no, so a good percentage was, are on your side. No, I was going to guess 75% would say no, um, <laughs> and I'm with them, I don't think so. No, I, I I think I need to stop. I really think I need to stop. Just we're here. Awesome. How many people are actually watching at this stage, Talitha? Uh At this stage, eight hundred and twenty-five. Yeah. Three hundred and sixty-five likes. Come on, everybody, click like. Come on. Uh, I I'm wondering about doing a a weekly potentially live stream uh, maybe every Monday and it's just a live stream and it's a project and it just takes as long as it takes I'll do a, a full day's work we'll film it we'll chat we'll talk and we'll get stuff done and then uh, and then that's will eventually be edited down it won't be live stream and then that weekend an edit eventually it'll come out as a super edit or a series or something like that um, Talitha would you mind doing a poll on that Sure. Uh, Jake has asked his question. Okay. Said, yeah, that was my first super chat ever. Thank you. Uh, what pickups would you use if you were to build an Acoustasonic type guitar? So, so what they've got there is some very cool electronics in the background that change things and make it beautiful. So I would use the GraphTech Acoustasonic piezo system with their um, with their preamp because it's in my opinion the best sounding acoustic preamp for an electric guitar uh, and then uh, in reality I, I would uh, I would just have a we would customize pickups at Crimson Guitars or, or make pickups to experiment and find what works best um, the electronics to blend all of that together that's a different story i, I don't know how uh, yeah they've done that in a very very clever way tony murphy says i've invented a new inlay process using porcelain i'm calling it great grandmother of toilet seat <laughs> do it and that sounds fun. Um, I'm sitting here wondering if I need to make a template. I think I need to make a template. I don't like making templates. Who wants to see Ben make a template? No, 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 no. Uh, so, yeah, are you putting a poll up to say who it's, wants to yeah, see a weekly live stream it's up, it's up, it's up. event? Okay, cool. You're so efficient. I'm super efficient. Uh, the Gentagon super chat. Camera three. Cool name. Idea. 
B&Q special guitar using only tools and woods from B&Q. Exceptions made for guitar hardware. Thanks to you, I have a tool collecting problem. <laughs> it's, it's not a problem unless you get in trouble for it. Um, so, first of all, are you employed by B&Q? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're on camera, by the way, Talita. Um, okay. Uh, I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. Um, the gent oh Gentagon. gent with a d uh gerald genta is the is a 70s watch designer and that's in my head and i thought you were a watch guy but it's fine um <sighs> what is bnq uh bnq is the uk's version of it's a big box store basically that yeah um uh, I tend not to have sheet goods around. Uh, Jan Salmon, Salmon, why not use the wood plate? Ben's just finished adjusting precisely as a template for the aluminium rather than transfer paper. Uh, because that, uh, that, that would only do the, uh, the neck pocket. I want a template for the entire thing. Um, so, uh, yeah. But isn't it the same shape as nope. the aluminium going to be? No. Nope. Okay. No, the aluminium is smaller, so the rosewood is going to be something else. It's visible. Okay. Yeah. So I've got some uh, six mil ply here, which I think I'm going to have to use. Uh, so let me let me think about this. Basically, if you're making a guitar and it's a one-off, I tend to avoid templates as much as humanly possible um, for body shapes and things. I, if I'm not planning on making this ever again, why bother with a template? Um, that being said, this is aluminium and I don't want to sand down the aluminium uh, to, to, to shape, whereas with a wood body, on the spindle sander, etc. It's just a really quick job and you don't run the risk of burning your fingers. Uh, so yeah, I am going to make a template yet. Come on then. <laughs> Ideal method says B&Q guitar, impossible. B&Q drumstick, maybe. <laughs> okay, so um, this is something that I've, I am considering and uh, I am seriously considering a a budget build where I have say 500 pounds or something like that and I have to build a guitar in its entirety from stuff found uh, at potentially B&Q or, or maybe on eBay. Yeah. Uh, there's so many eBay guitar tools that are scams. Um, so so yeah, I mean, it's something that I would seriously consider. Uh, I suppose it would be it would be interesting to see if I could get B and Q or Wix or somebody like that to sponsor the channel. That would be that would be really cool. But uh, yeah, as an exercise, as an exercise, I am yeah, I'm up for that. And yeah, B and Q is the equivalent of Home Depot and Lowe's in America. Yeah. <laughs> Ezram says my internet connection is I'm not gonna say what he's typed. And Ben looks like where to go? A poor version of stop motion. Poorly shot stop motion. Oh. Time for a cup of tea. Time for, oh, yes. Um, I, I'm also thinking that it's about time for me to stop for a minute. Using B&Q wood means you'll need a planer jointer or 10 episodes of hand planing to get it straight and square. MDF and build. <laughs> MDF, while it would be a horrible, it would be horrible to work with, would work. Plywood 
would work, absolutely. Um, as, a, as, a, as an option, uh, I could potentially, what am I doing here? Has everything just moved? I mean, yes, obviously everything just moved, but hmm, interesting. Yeah, someone said that curly tracing paper would make me swear. Yeah, I should have, um, I should have taped it down, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm a fool, so I didn't. Mm. There's a super chat from Renee. Renee, hey. Um, you might, I don't know. How about a widescreen monitor on the wall? Question mark. Swatch. Question mark. Does it? Does that mean what behind you? Widescreen monitor. Uh, clarify, uh, for what, for what purpose would that be to have all of these shots on, um, and the gentagon says, Ben, I do not work for B&Q at all. They are poo. <laughs> That's the fun of the challenge. Bad tools, bad wood. Uh, yeah, I, I, I do think that I could do something. Um, it would probably be, it would probably be, um, it would probably be really fun. But uh, yeah, plywood, maybe MDF. They've got aluminium sheeting and bits and pieces there. They've got um, various, uh, th there could be some interesting things there. <coughs> But. Oh, widescreen is to avoid squinting at a laptop screen. Thank you. Oh, Talitha, yes. Okay, now I got it. <coughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah, so essentially what I'm currently thinking is uh, that um, if, <laughs> if we get enough Super Chats... Um, <coughs> please excuse me. Uh, this workshop is just too small, so Talitha's perching near where the lathe is and everything. But uh, if I put an extra two meters by four meter sort of square off to the side here, I could actually set up uh, a more officey area. So Talitha would be off to the side. I wouldn't have to kick, or Talitha or whoever's doing this, this particular task, uh, would be there in a comfortable seat at a desk with a heater <laughs> and everything. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's a plan. If this sort of stuff carries on, um, then yeah. Uh, Paul needs sent a super chat. Thank you, Paul. B and Q wood could help get that ukulele sound. <laughs> okay. And George Davis wants to know if you've had any more thoughts on opening a hotel for students. I would love to. Uh, we simply don't have the funds at the moment. Um, and I am actually keeping an eye out for, um, for suitable properties, etc. But it's not, it's not likely to happen in, in, the, uh, uh, in the short term. Okay, there we go. So this is now, well, wrong camera. Sorry, Talitha. Um, <laughs> let's, this is now all sorted and uh, I'm good. So. What's the most efficient use of this? Uh, board. Oh, that. Yeah, I think that. Max Loveless wants to know, is the full year class a legitimate consideration for Crimson? <laughs> a small class, maybe. Um. Oh. Okay, so there are several options in progress. Uh, I am in, in the middle of getting uh, Crimson accredited as a legitimate 
accredited college. Uh, and I sincerely want to expand beyond just, just guitar building. Um, so that being said, uh, I'd like to get into furniture making and blacksmithery and jewellery and, you know, all sorts of stuff. Um, that being said, a one year guitar building course, yes. Um, until we are accredited, uh, international students can only come in on a holiday visa, which is just under six months from most places. So there are options for coming in and doing six months. Uh, there is another option for a year long course where three days would be spent actually uh, working uh, in the production department of Crimson on our stuff as employees with two days a week then spent as a student working on your own stuff. That's an idea that I'm, I'm considering. Um, but also, yeah, um, just coming in for a year and being a student for a year just is also a possibility. Uh, everything is being discussed and is up in the air at the moment. But uh, we want to be the, the guitar building school. Um, it just is what it is. There's a super chat just for me. Ah. Oh. Marcia. Thank you, Marcia. Hey, Marcia. Marcia, sorry. Uh, Lex Luthier yeah. says, with a vision mixer, um, I'm assuming this is talking about your extension and office setup. Okay. So with a vision mixer, you can get whoever to run the art and pro and sound so that you don't have to worry about the tech side. You can just get on with building. Um, but then you always, you know which cameras you want when. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> that's a cat. Can you hear that? That's Rocky. He's a cantankerous old bastard. He's like 17 years old. I've had him, wait, well, since, since he was tiny. Um, <clears throat> we have three dogs, three cats, two guinea pigs, two fish, a gecko, and three children. <laughs> Why are they last on the list? What question was I answering? Oh, yes. Um, I, I really like being the director. Um, of the Atom Pro is very, very dusty, which is a problem. Um, I like being the director and, and it is a case of um, I will sit here and I will figure out what the next shot needs to be. And it's sort of second nature to me at this stage. So, uh, so yeah, that's just... Uh, it does make editing annoying though, because you, you tell us to cut out the bits where you're reaching over and pressing the buttons. So... Uh, I tell you, or you decided that that was a way to do it, and then... Uh... Yeah. JS Trucking, another super chat. I just noticed this, but what is that tool hanging next to your smallest leveling beam behind you? Um, off. It's a, it's a ruler, so it'll tell me that the diameter of the pencil there is nine and a half, and there is just under nine millimeters, and there's a ruler on the end. So, yeah. Cool. Oh, it's even got inches in it. So, somewhere between five sixteenths of an inch and three eighths. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but not available at Crimson. No, that's an axe method tool. Okay, cool. Uh, look, we are... Uh, all right. It's up as 12. I am going to, at this stage, before I start declining in mental function, I'm going to stop for 20 minutes and have some food and make some coffee. Talitha absolutely failed in the real job, which is providing uh, consistent caffeination. Um, she's opening a bag. I'm wondering if there's a weapon in there. It doesn't sound like a weapon. Store-bought built, store built biltong? 
Yeah, take it back. No, thank you. Um, we didn't get to the butcher this week. No, it's all good. So, uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is uh, I am going to put up a still screen saying we'll be back. Talitha, if you could put a comment saying we will be back at uh, 10 to 1 for the next stage of the live stream. I'm assuming there's a question. There's a super chat from Dan Peacock. Hey, Dan. Hello from the west coast of Michigan. Late to the party, but glad I made it. Thank you, Ben and Salitha, for all you do. It's an absolute pleasure. He says just as he's about to put a blank screen up on the, on the, on the thing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, it's typical. Um, grab some coffee. I'm going to grab some coffee and uh, uh, just a quick bite to eat. I think I'm going to... Well, we'll see how this goes. Um, but we will be back at 10 to 1, no doubt. Uh, yeah, I'm saying ah uh, a lot. When I get back... I'm going to very rapidly make uh, an, a template for the external shape of this aluminium that will then allow me to replicate the aluminium front and back on this guitar, which will then allow me to actually cut out some uh, big chambers if necessary. So we'll talk about that. In fact, we'll do a poll about that. The And then it's going to be a case of gluing the aluminium to clamping everything, maybe some texturing of the aluminium, but I am starting to uh, uh, not be able to think straight. So yeah, time for a bit of a break. Uh, I hope you will come back in a minute. I will see you shortly.
Well, well, well. Obviously that took a little bit longer than I'd hoped. I apologize for being three minutes late. So, uh, yes, I made myself a coffee. Um, <laughs> or two, or two. Um, so uh, there is that to be done. Now, Talitha, is your microphone on? It is, but I'm about to mute it because I have to fiddle with power cables. Ah, fair enough. Much fiddling with power cables to do. All right, <clears throat> making and consuming lunch in 20 minutes actually turns out to have been more stressful than the entire morning of building guitars. So uh, here we go. Let's uh, let's live stream in front of coming up on a thousand people uh, to relax. Why don't we? <sighs> okay, my water bottle is full. I have two cups of coffee sitting and waiting for me to consume them. And uh, Talitha, in the in the short term, have we had any uh, super chats or um, queries? Where's that poll ended up? We need to finish that. Yes, a new super chat. The poll is 79% yes to a weekly live stream on Monday. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have asked it on a Monday with the people who are already watching the, the live stream on a Monday. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm considering it. I am considering doing something like that. I think, um, uh, yeah, I need to, I need to think about it. Stuart Neville. Stuart, thank you. I have a large 50-year-old mahogany board. Woo! Talitha's still muted. <coughs> so Stuart, I have a large 50-year-old mahogany board big enough for two or three bodies and several necks. Given the choice, would you make one or two-piece bodies? Uh, hi. One piece, generally. Uh, there's no point if it's if it's big enough to do a one piece body <coughs> and the neck times two then uh, that's what i would do basically um, no question okay so now that we're back how many people actually have come back talita 664 okay cool <sighs> Questions of what was for lunch? What was for lunch? Um, so the howling, the puppy howling that we had earlier was the puppies, um, uh, my wife getting back from grocery shopping and uh, I had forgotten to ask for something quick and easy to eat so I made myself just a, a, a ham and cheese sandwich and I imbibed like three baby bell cheeses in about three seconds <laughs> and uh, a glass of orange juice, followed by a cookie. Not that you care uh, about cookies and things. Okay, let's put the aware right down. Test. That's good. I wonder if this is actually connected to my phone or not. So what I'm going to do now is bandsaw out the shape here. Then we're going to move straight over to the sander and finalize the shape on the oscillating spindle sander and we'll go from there. The other day I deleted all of the Bluetooth things off my phone and uh, that was a, uh, a mistake. <laughs> nope. Link aware is that those ones? Hmm? No, I've connected to the right one. Woohoo! Okay, there we go. I am currently list. I'm currently listening to a book called A Gentleman in Moscow by Amor Towels. I don't know why it ended up in here, but anyway, it's it's good. Bansaw. <sighs> Camera three.
just say the girls are dead.
the way. Microphone's on. <laughs> we have audio. Okay, so most of these curves are very easy to achieve uh, on that sander. This long one, I'm not 100% convinced on. So into, into the vise. Here we go. Have I missed any questions or anything, Talitha? tracking is telling you off for not wearing goggles yep <clears throat> and terry love sorry who terry love terry were you planning to add this style to your kits if so that template will come in useful um i'm really not uh this if somebody wants an example of something that I've built, we will absolutely build it for them. Uh, most of the time, just a good quality photograph from above will give us, and the knowledge of what the scale length is, etc., uh, will give us the ability to, to digitize it. But uh, yeah, now that I have a template, that means that uh, I'll be able to adjust things and make another one if by hand if necessary. So yeah, I'm just smoothing, just smoothing this curve off. Or off. How do the English say it? Off. Off. We say, I say off. 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 As an awful. Back off. <laughs> I don't know. Purple Dracos has an idea for a tool show. I'm all ears. Ben pulls the name of a tool out of a hat and then buys the cheapest one from eBay, Amazon or wherever. And he then tries to use it and see if he can make it functional. Yeah. Um, that is... I actually have got three... Uh, nut slotting tools bought at budget prices on Ebay's or Amazon's to see what they're like just for my own edification and we that might end up being a video Hey Bun from Alex. I'm sorry, I'm not going to try and pronounce your surname. That's I'm an interesting surname, Talitha. Going to Relic an MIM Telecaster. Yeah. What's the best way to remove sections of paint so that it looks worn? Cheers. Uh, I'm not an expert in that. It's uh, controversial. Oh, it's definitely controversial. I did it with a with my Leatherman actually many many years ago have we have we told leatherman actually i don't think so probably i've completely forgotten about that we're now i'm now sponsored by leatherman which is hilarious um considering i used one a long time ago to relic a prs um i'm not happy with this curve either actually uh, looking at it i also can't find my aha so uh, so yeah i just scraped away with a knife but it's not something i have done after that time so yeah Norm Barrow says I took up building as a hobby two years ago and chose Ben as my teacher thank you very much I was expecting you to say and now it's a job <laughs> um, either that or now I'm bankrupt as a result which uh, um, actually Guitar building did 
lead me straight to bankruptcy, come to think of it. I went bankrupt in 2008 during the crash due to um, customers going, losing everything, and da, 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 etc. But um, anyway, it's uh, one of those things. Um, thank you very much for your, for your support. Okay, so that curve is just a little bit more even now. Some people are asking when we're going to end the poll, and Paul Cook says, if all the streams are on a Monday, argu arguably it's still a one-day build. <laughs> Hell yeah. So 78% are yes to a weekly live stream. All right. I, I'm not certain that that makes sense for us as a business, as much as I would like to do it. I'm looking at Leith, who's just behind the camera. Um, the The issue is that uh, it's taking Talitha away from uh, her actual job, potentially. But it was also taking Tom away from his On a weekends. Sunday. On a Sunday. I don't care about Tom's weekends. What about your weekends? That's the problem. Um, so the option is at this stage a mega once a month Sunday live stream build or potentially a live stream build every Monday where it's just me and I don't have Talitha answering questions and things like that, but I do them more regularly or, or we do what we've done today essentially. Um, so let me get my plans. And they'll be the right plans because the wrong plans are raw Hidden. somewhere else. Hidden, which will be bad when you come to the other build. Exactly. <laughs> so there we go. So that's improved that shape. It really is. Has. That's good. That was planned. <laughs> Who is this Tom Ben is referring to? Did Tam get replaced? <laughs> <laughs> Tom is during the week when he has to be MD and he's at Crimson being all responsible and adulting. Tam is when he's here with Ben. Yeah. Uh, Tam and I had a good... Uh, Oh no, I'm moving a camera that's actually live. <gasps> Mustn't do that. That makes people feel ill. <laughs> Matt F, a little bit rude. You could combine weekly stream with the Just Shut Up and Build stream. <laughs> yeah, uh, that is potential. Potentially. What I'll do. Max Lovelace, this is mostly in capital letters. Mega Sunday, this Sunday, 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 insert your local arena. Ben Crow builds a monster truck guitar in one day. I just had an idea, I think we should do monster truck inspired. <laughs> Where'd you get that idea from? I don't know, these things just appear. Mm. Crumpet says there might be a way to make Super Chats read themselves out with text-to-speech. That could be a good, al good alternative to taking Tam and Talitha away from their jobs. And this camera's crooked. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. That was annoying me as well. Hold on. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's fix the cameras. Uh, now I've got that, so I'm going to uh, see about bandsawing. We've got about... 8 TPI on the wood blade on the bandsaw. If I destroy it, I've got spare blades and I don't really care. I've had that one on there for a long time. I thought about potentially having a much bigger screen up there 
on which all of the comments are streaming through. Uh, and I can see the super chats and things and I could control it from the mouse on here. So I could just do it myself. So um, this screen currently has all of your camera views. Would you yes. have all of that and the super chats, everything all on one? I'd have another screen. Okay. Um, Norm Barris points out, since it's recorded, we can watch at our leisure and you should stream when it best suits you. So the, the reason for doing the live stream is the, it really is the, it's the interaction. I do enjoy the interaction that we've got here. Um, now, last week uh, when I was doing the, the headstock, for example, uh, I completely messed up. Ooh, is that one? <laughs> yeah, I completely messed up on that and forgot that I had a jigsaw. And a lot of people in the comments said, hey, use a jigsaw then. And uh, that fixed, that fixed it for me. Uh, so the jigsaw was, was required. And uh, yeah, it was good. So, uh, and there is, there is the fact that the Super Chats do bring in uh, some money, which helps uh, everything keep, keep moving, which is obviously a consideration. Um, but yeah, the, just the ideas and the interaction is what excites me. So if I just wanted people to come back and watch something, you know, after the fact, then I would just do what I normally do, which is... Mm bumble along. I tend to work slower when it's not streaming. Um, I'll probably drink more coffee. But, yeah. ADE87 also points out that um, he says, any ideas about freeing up Crimson staff during the screen live stream forgets that we like having them here too. This is it. I, I, I like having the interaction. I do, I do like it. I think what I need to do is take my, my daughter out of school and uh, this can just be her job. Enjoy. Um, so we've always said to our children that if they decide they don't want to go to school anymore, we will take them out of school. And I can't believe that none of them have taken us up on that um, uh, recently. Anyway. Gosh, if mum had given us that option. Well, yeah, there is that. Okay, so. This might go catastrophically wrong. I'm going to band saw the excess off here and see how that goes. Uh, guess what? I'm going to make Talitha wear some goggles. No, I'm going to wear goggles. Uh, there you go, Talitha. Just in case. Flying metal. Woohoohoo. Flying metal chips. Woohoohoo. Okay.
so I thought that I would potentially make a back plate as well, but uh, in reality, the back of the guitar just looks too nice with the uh, uh, through neck, etc. So I'm not going to bother doing that. Uh, let us. <laughs> Use the masking tape and super glue trick. That's about how I use that. I haven't used that in like maybe an Minutes. hour. <laughs> Matt F says, sounds like the best idea to get a new bandsaw is to feed increasingly difficult things through it. I do wonder if I could kill this bandsaw. It's yeah, I I I, I need a new bandsaw. It's it's something that I'm gonna have to to do. Super chat from Rob Phoenix. Rob. In response to Norm Barrows, who said this was his hobby and you're his teacher, I think. I've used Ben as my tutor and have turned it into a full-time job. This is a thank you for sending me down a direction I had never dreamed of. That, that comment, that whole thing, that's why I well, that's one of the main reasons I do this, and hearing comments like that just makes me incredibly mm. happy. Thank you. Templato, aha! And Austeranum, sorry, currently wallpapering my dining room. Want to swap? I'll come and do the live stream. My first job is dull as F. Have a coffee on me, mate. I don't think I would do as good of a job as, as you are. I hope. I, wallpaper is not something I've ever done. I did try <sighs> plastering. Hey, I'm a guitar builder. I can do anything I fancy. I'm, <laughs> you know, craftsman, yada, yada, yada. Plastering. Holy crap, I suck at that. Um, like, wow. <laughs> Fish D025, I love the smell of aluminium in the morning. <laughs> and Arthur and Disco both say, smells like victory. Um, I haven't made a habit of using aluminium very much. It's very important that the masking tape all lines up. So when you do this, make sure to pay attention. Wrong camera. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Kevin Harvey, try, try wallpapering an arch. That's fun. Craig Heath wants to know the make of your band saw, so he doesn't buy one. <laughs> okay, so this is an old Axminster Power Tools band saw. Um, I... I'm not even sure why I ended up with it. It wasn't as... it's, it's better than the... Uh, I, where possible, I won't spend money if if I can avoid it on on tools, if, if it's a cheaper option, you know, i.e. free, i.e. I got this through the vintage tool shop when I was clearing a workshop. I'll take that. I don't need to buy a, a new record power bands or anything like that. But I've come to the conclusion that that is flawed, and with the amount of trouble that this one's given me, I should just have gone and bought uh, a new one. And it's just something I haven't got around to sorting out at this stage. Well, that and the fact that the one I want is like 1200 quid. So, um, yeah. Camera. Terry loves Super Chat. Terry says, watching trademen work, everyone thinks it's easy. And then discover their DIY is destroy it yourself. <laughs> yeah, destroy it yourself emphatically. 
Andrew oh. Andrew Barker says, "Lol, I am a plasterer, and it's amazing how many people try because it looks easy, which is really good, because I usually get a call to come and fix their handiwork." So the question is, do you have a sliding scale of um, prices? So, uh, in other words, um, you know, if they call you in straight away and they've not done anything, it's 40 quid an hour. If, if they've tried to do it themselves, it's, uh, it's 100 quid an hour because you're fixing their, their mistakes. If they want to watch you, uh, it's 150. <laughs> anyway. I don't want to throw this at Toledo. I'm not, not going to do that. There we go. I'm a grown up, honest. <laughs> Trying the adulting thing. Ah, overrated. <sighs> I opened a Vanguard account the other day. Okay. Pension y stuff. Up to, up to this point, my pension has been in a watch collection and uh, we've managed to buy a house, uh, a, you know, get a mortgage. And, uh, and it's all up to that point been the business. And, uh, and with sort of little bits of income coming in from various different places, it's, hey, I can actually start adulting. <sighs> it's interesting. The VTR Addict says, Hey Ben, I'm a knife maker among other things, and if you would like Fun. a free handmade marking knife, let me know. I have a couple sitting around and I thought you might appreciate one. I would love one. Um, yes, absolutely. Uh, I, I've yet to find a marking knife that, that I've fallen in love with and I've used, and I would love to. I would love to. So, um, yeah, I would love to take you up on that and uh, I'll uh, repay the kindness with uh, making sure that it uh, gets featured and uh, hopefully get you some orders. Uh, okay, so this is now uh, done. The, the template, I was very gentle with these edges here and there's obviously a little bit of play in the belt on the sander. So the edge of the template is a, a little bit of an angle in a few spots shouldn't actually be an issue especially considering this is my own design and we'll be fine i might have to adjust a little bit of this moving forward but uh, as it stands we're all good now um, this is going to be this is going to be fun uh, so camera three Uh, I, it's going to take a little bit of setting up. I, I am somewhat amazed, dear Talitha. Yes, brother dear. That you haven't talked about my new toy yet. I Did saw you, it. You spotted it. Okay. And I was wondering how I could sneak it out of here without you seeing it. Yeah. Um, so the whole point of this is it's got motors and all sorts of stuff. And if you hook it up uh, properly with the Raven Eye, then it can actually track you. The problem is it uses the HDMI that I need to do the streaming, so I can't have a camera that just tracks me while I'm streaming because it just doesn't do that at the moment. Uh, here, put that somewhere safe. Thanks. My bag's just over there. <laughs> do you know how few flat surfaces there are in this room? There are no flat surfaces. Give, 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 give. That's what the floor is for. Not even the floor's flat. Uh, the nuts, nuts, nut. The nut, nuts, nut. Does anybody understand that? French frog here. French, French frog, frog eater. eater here. Thanks to Ben, I've been able to start building a base and forget it from time to time. Going to finish it soon. Um, I've got projects like that. 
really do. Okay, so here's templates. That's for later. There's some orange juice. What the hell happened here? Sunshine? Maybe. Yeah, something something went wrong there. That's uh Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think maybe maybe sunshine. I need a bigger workshop. Do da. All right. So I haven't used this in a long time. <laughs> if you're a nut for nuts, it's the nut for you. <laughs> Okay, so I haven't actually used this at all since uh, since putting it in this position. So I'm not sure if the extraction is, is set up. I'm not sure anything, really. Uh, let us... Someone says, do peanut inlays. Interesting. Okay, there's, there's camera one. Okay, so that's a little bit out of the way. Um, now, I need a bigger workshop. Come on. You need less tools. I need less tools and a bigger workshop. So in the move, I seem to have misplaced the um, the wrench for this. Ben Aldridge wants to know, Benjamin Aldridge, most important invention, single coil or humbucker? Truss rod. <laughs> Wasn't an option. <laughs> uh, <laughs> single coil, because without the single coil, the humbucker wouldn't, wouldn't exist. Because so the humbucker is made out of two single coils. It's a chicken and the egg question. Yeah, but that's not really a question because the egg came first. <laughs> Chickens evolved from dinosaurs. Dinosaurs laid eggs. Argue below. Well, there's no argument. It is a fact, dear people. Uh, okay. Mr. D20, Ben, it's your fault I'm learning to play and build guitars. Thanks to you, my five and four year olds have kit builds and are watching with are, are watching with as the next generation. Cheers from Connecticut. Greetings, you fantastic people. Um, getting five year olds and four year olds to sit down and watch some random uh, person like me doing something. My, that takes skill, actually. I'm impressed. Um, yeah, little router bit, bearing to follow the uh, uh, template, and we're good. Uh, camera three. Okay, little do. So this Lost. is the beautiful thing here. Ben, uh, my okay. Lost my microphone. Ben's microphone. Uh, oh, thank you for letting us know. Okay. Yeah, the receiver has just run out of battery. 
this is the one problem. Everything else we've got here is running on direct power, except for the lapel mice. Max Madness, who can read lips? Workshop what? Tour. New Crimson Workshop Tour. Ah, yes. So that will that will happen at some point. Uh, okay, I'm just... Uh, American Practical Nico Morton says... Test. But I wish all Ben's content could be live. I love it. Because <laughs> of the, because of the issues, the mistakes. <laughs> it's real life. It is real life. Well, uh, let us know if the audio is back, please. It should be. It it is. It's done. It's okay. Back. So yeah, this is a Triton router and work center, and I absolutely love how easy it is to change the router cutter and all that in comparison to every other one I've ever used. It's amazing. My, I don't know what you're looking at. Hold on. Which one are you? Wrong camera. Camera three. Belly cam on. <laughs> we can hear you again. Wrong camera. Wrong camera. I picked up my phone and I didn't even, I was like, whose phone is this on top of this piece of aluminium? How did that happen? Uh, okay. So essentially this is set up. I need to move to camera one this is the problem they're all got different things talitha ben. in a little while could you switch to camera three if so, i can get to it yeah yeah i'll let you get to it when i grow up i want a workshop like ben's thanks bob don't wait until you grow up. I certainly didn't. <laughs> okay, so this is a goggle job and yes, so that camera there is camera three. We're currently on camera one. Just push the button and it'll automatically do its thing. So I'm putting on my ear defenders. I'm going to turn off the main audio, everybody, just in case. I'm not bothering with extraction on this one. Oh. I do need to plug this in though.
go. So this is an issue. I don't have. There's no audio. Could you turn it off? Just walk into here. Which one? Audio. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I should have thought about this a little bit more beforehand. I don't have power. And I'm stealing Talitha's extension leaf. Uh, none of, <laughs> yeah. I really should have been sorting this workshop out. Uh, I don't have the correct setting for the, for the extraction either because that's on this pipe, which is now somewhere else entirely. But, uh, so, well, look, I'm not going to use the extraction, but uh, we should be, we should be good now. So, uh, yeah, audio off, and uh, let's go.
Okay, so uh, next up, well, <laughs> next up we fix the uh, we fix the cameras. So uh, let's change the camera too, so uh, you can look at my beautiful drawers. When I bought that drawer unit, it was uh, full of tools, including a number two plane, which was fun. Okay. You've got uh, an aluminium fleck between your eyes. I have got aluminium flecks of aluminium everywhere. Um, I need to sort out the uh, the extraction. Okay, so if I'd used a three flute cutter, that would have been better. Uh, as it is, I've got. Um, it's a little bit rough on the edges, so I am going to have to now go on the spindle sander and tidy that up. So uh, let's get this off. And you can see how strong the masking tape and super glue is. There was absolutely no damage, danger of anything going wrong there. But when you pull up, it's easy. Thank you to Red Knight 1322 and Mahesh for the super chats. Uh, Red Knight says it's amusing to see Ben self edit when he's talking because of the children. <sighs> yes. Um, I, I am less good at self editing around the children than most people. I think it's important that they learn how to swear and when to swear. Uh, when not to. When not to, as you can tell by my daughter, who will be on the stream later, probably. Um, yeah, there was an issue. Uh, obviously, with the aluminium flying, I decided it was probably prudent to take the watch off. Yeah, that was flying all over the place. Um, okay, well, Talitha, I need to get back to that um, uh, that device there. So let's move camera three. Mine camera one. Yep. Jasmine walked into camera one. I've done it as well. Well, she she did it after stealing some chocolate from me, so it was straight up karma. <laughs> Instant. Okay, um, and again, main audio.
Okay, that worked out really well. So I'm very, very happy with how this is, uh, is coming together. The, uh, the texture that I've got is now, it's a texture, but it's an attractive texture. So uh, that's good. I need to sand the wood. What's happened to my, oh, I think somebody walked into it. Yeah, that'd be, uh, that'd can, you, be me. Can, can, you, can you fix that? Um, <laughs> there we go. Uh, something like that. Um, this is why I've avoided uh, overhead cameras for so long. But uh, anyway. There's a fun comment here from Trish Good. 5.30 a.m. in Cali California. Why isn't my husband in bed? He's asleep in his chair with your live stream going. Can't be upset. Says he learns more from you than anyone. Thanks, Ben. Thank you very much. I am so sorry. <laughs> that is an image. That is an image that will forever be in my brain. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Please, can you can you screenshot that or something, Talitha? That has to be. Sure. Um, yeah. Uh, there's a little bit of a a little bit of a, a lip on here, so I'm just going to use the uh, leveling beam to get rid of that. A burr. So one thing I was worried about, if if I had that burr and I misjudged the router and the router table took it away from me, that burr could do some damage. says Ben should forget an incremental increase in workshop size. Just double. I do think. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be setting up and doing some work at Crimson Headquarters as well. But but I really love working from home. I love the fact that I'm not interrupted as much. Unless I'm streaming, um, but yeah, this is uh, the space is too small and I have too much stuff and I need to reduce the amount of stuff. <laughs> Nikki Van Drill, just checking in. That's a nice big scraper you have there. Yeah, yeah, custom custom curves and all sorts. One of the worst injuries I've, I've had while, while doing all of this was making a custom curved scraper. And I had, I had it up like this in a, in a vise and slipped off the edge with the thing and basically cut the palm of my hand uh, on the fresh edge of a scraper that, mm, yeah, that wasn't fun. Then Tyman points out that uh, that sounds like sword special sound effects from a game. From what? From a computer game. Yes. Shink. Okay. What to do? Okay, so. We haven't got much time. Uh, I can, I could create a hammered texture, but that would be, uh, that would necessitate hammering a lot. And one that takes time, two that would annoy a lot of people. How many people are watching currently for my information? 855. Cool. Or sandpaper only in one direction. I'm just wondering what this orbital would do. 
uh, let's turn the audio off, get back to my story, and uh, let's see what look. At the very least, I need to scuff the back, and this will, should do that perfectly. Steel brush on a drill. I'm sorry, what was that? Steel brush on a drill. Uh, yes. Audio off.
Okay. Um, yeah, I probably should have put a mask on, actually. <coughs> Thinking about it. Yeah, a lot of people in the comments saying aluminium dust particles not good. No, it wasn't actually mm -hmm. rising up in the air until I started using the um, leveling beam, for what it's worth. Okay. Okay. So... Uh, I am going to play with the texture. I'm going to do something else with the texture there. Uh, we're all live and that's all good. Someone <coughs> said burn it. Hmm. <laughs> um, maybe. Yeah. Red Knight 1322 Super Chat. Thank you. Do you still have the close only counts on horseshoes, hand grenades, and technical thermonuclear devices coffee cup I sent you? Hint, James. Yes, I do. Uh, and I love it. Um... That, uh, yeah. I am going to use sandpaper. I am going to use sandpaper to get the texture. Uh, before I do that, though, I need to figure out um, exactly where this um, neck pocket is going to be. So let's uh, let's do this. Oh. Yeah, Arthur can't say your surname. Sorry, didn't he want to do something before gluing that on? Something yep. about the cavities. Yep, that's exactly what I'm just moving on to now. I and need Jay's... to work out where that is. JS Trucking, another super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, no exclamation. Leave the texture as is. You've already got it looking like parts of the Star Wars ship. It'll be even better. Uh, it'll be even closer, trust me. Um, plans. There we go. Ah, they ended up on the floor. Yeah, this is starting. <laughs> this is starting to come together. McGill says, I definitely would like to see a chemical reaction on that plate, whether it's some acid, uh, careful, sulfuric acid with aluminium is bad, fire or whatever. Uh, I do have some ferrochloride, um, but I don't particularly... Okay. Uh, yeah, I do have some ferrochloride acid, but I'm not going to play with that um, right now, I don't think. Um, time is time is of the essence uh, for one for one thing, and for another, uh, if I'm going to play with acid, it's not going to be <laughs> on a live stream because. Uh, it's not something I'm particularly comfortable with, and I need to be able to absolutely concentrate. How are you going to route the neck pocket in this? Um, Bend timer. Carefully. <laughs> Uh, he says flippantly. Um, no, I'm planning on using the rosewood as a template. 
Thank you, Mike tonight. Ben is just awesome. I'm glad I found Crimson Guitars on YouTube. Motivated me to building guitars. Fantastic. Um, I, I know more than a few people who feel the opposite way, but um, <laughs> no, I'm really glad that you're building. And uh, yeah, it. Uh, huh. In all seriousness, I very nearly said warms the cockles of my heart. <laughs> <coughs> so, there we go. Okay, so I know... <gasps> Terry Love! Well, I might be wrong, but he may finish this before Easter. I can feel my eyes starting to twitch. <laughs> um, it might be the lack of... The one issue I've got with these is they're very, very, very strong. I need to bend the uh, oh, they're tight. the springs. Whew. Um, okay. I have drawn. I know where I want that to be now. Uh, in reality, what I need to do is the masking tape and super glue trick again really so there's not very much movement here which is good i'm gonna have to cut away the excess on the bandsaw smart money says do that after um sorry do that before you uh, glue your template on just in case you slip I'm not planning on slipping. Alberta says that aluminum, aluminum needs scars, scratches and burns. That, that it does. It really, really does. Matt F, Super Chat. Thank you, Matt. Where should I store my body blanks in the winter, UK? Would it be a bad idea using ones from the shed without bringing them inside to acclimatise? Where should I spray or where should I store? Store. Uh, uh, your guitars. Body blanks. Um, in the winter. Uh, uh, okay. So, seriously and, and always, um, if you don't have dry... A, a dry space in which to store your... <sighs> your wood then you need to find uh, some way of doing that seriously um, <clears throat> we just had somebody who bought a a kit guitar from us and uh, they had it in they had it stored in their garage for six months before they did anything with it it was perfectly fine they glued the neck and all that jazz left it for another month uh, or so in the garage in the UK in this weather and then um, it was the neck became majorly twisted because of the uh, because of how it was stored so wood does funny things with yeah um, so as much as possible I would suggest that what you really need to do is uh, take take the wood and bring it inside somehow uh, into your house, uh, if at all possible. So using it straight from a shed without acclimatizing, it's not a good idea. Correct. Okay. okay. So, uh, white pencil. Kevin Foreman. Kevin. My great grandfather, and then he said father again made pocket watches by hand. My wow. son and I are putting one we found onto the guitar we're building, gear side up. Very cool. That sounds like fun. Uh, if you have, share photographs of that so that we can Instagram it. Okay, so my issue is the aluminium is smaller. Ah, there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, camera three will do. Yeah. 
<laughs> Terry Love, uh, in response to Matt's super chat about wood storage, is annoy his wife, store the body blanks in the airing cupboard. Whoa, uh, that might be too far the other way, potentially. Um, but, um, yeah, it's, it's really, it's, it's really difficult. Um, now I've seen, I have seen luthiers who work in sheds, uh, and garages, etc., who have a, a small tent, uh, set up, uh, or, uh, one of those mini greenhouse things, which is a, a lot more enclosed, or literally just a wardrobe that they've lined up so that it's, uh, um, not, um, as open to the elements. And uh, you could even have a small dehumidifier in it. So you could have it in the workshop. Temperature isn't so much of an issue. It's more humidity that you need to worry about. So, uh, yeah. That being said, for a long time, I, I did work in a shed in the UK without major dehumidifiers going all the time. I've got one in here all the time. But you, need to, you just need to be aware. Okay. So here we are back again, uh, glue on a smaller section. Is there some sort of drinking game or tally thing for every time you mention masking tape and super glue? That's why I do it really. Not because it's the most useful trick I know. No, of course not. <laughs> Okay, so this is, oh, go on, a bit backwards. There we go. Um, Jibes asks. Who? Jibes. Jibes? Jibes. J-I-P-E-S. Hmm. Jibes Blues. Dear Ben, why aren't you using the previous wood template rather than your precious rosewood top? Because uh, the previous wood template, a certain fool didn't uh, cut the neck pocket into it. Oops. Ah. I think I need to have the bin closer to me so that I don't throw it all over the workshop and have to tidy up after myself. Not that you Prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Percy. <laughs> hmm? You wouldn't notice stuff thrown around with this floor. I normally have the floor cleaned after every day and uh, I haven't been able to tidy up in here mm -hmm. since the last uh, uh, the last live stream. Super chat from Paulie Worthington. Paulie. Hey Ben, that guitar is serious. My wife Kathleen was asking, is that your wife in the workshop and if so, would she let you make big purchases, lol? Um, no, this is my sister. Hey. Uh, who likes it when I buy new cameras and things and tripods and all sorts of stuff. To make my life easier. It makes your life easier. Um, my wife actually did say that if I was desperate, she wouldn't mind doing this job. I'm not sure what she would say and whether that would be safe or not. <laughs> um, no, we've got a very good, um, very good relationship where big purchases are concerned. As long as uh, she trusts, she trusts me now that uh, the uh, the house is fine and rent is paid, rent mortgage is paid, and clothes are fed. I feed the clothes. clothes yeah, I feed the clothes regularly. And children are dressed. Um, it, it took a while because we literally, up until very recently, had no spare income. Period. Um, and uh, it's so it's got to the point now where she does trust me, and uh, if I uh, do go and buy a stupid thing that costs too much money. Um, she knows at the very least that uh, if necessary I'll sell it. Um, but uh, yeah, what big purchases are you uh, alluding to anyway? Or am I um, in the midst of a family squabble here? Yeah? Mm, I don't know. Hold on. Camera three. Camera three. I always cut these, uh, the excess masking tape off just in case it gets 
in the way of something. And to have ammunition to throw at people. That too, yeah. SC Guitars has joined us a little Stephen. while ago. Stephen. And he says, I just remembered, because he's had a sleepless night, he needs a coffee to get in with the live stream. Uh, I just remembered Ben owes me some coffee from the first Luthier's Question Time when a viewer sent a super chat to get me some crimson coffee. I'll be waiting. Winky face. Uh, it's literally just finally the first batch has just uh, come into being at Crimson. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Talitha, if you wouldn't mind asking Tom to send some to Stephen. Okay, microphones are going off, uh, headphones on, and goggles too. Because uh, I'm going to bounce all the way the excess. Camera three.
Well. Well, well, well. Reb wants to know if if that router bit is now finished and needs to be replaced. Nope. No, not at all. Aluminium is soft. It, it's really soft. Um, so no, the the if anything, it might have cleaned some of the uh, waxy gunk left by wood off. Uh, you know, it's not something to worry about. Okay, so I've got the corners to, to deal with uh, inside, which is uh, nice and easy. Another super chat from Mark Jennings. Mark, young man. Where did Bun get the Leatherman holster thingies? Uh, from Leatherman. So the... Um, the uh, that one is the sort of premium thingy. And this is the standard one that comes with them. Uh, I also have a quick release one, which is a little bit more uh, camera two. Oh, I did not sneeze in your ear. I did not. <sighs> okay. So uh, yeah. Where is so Johnny B. Bad says, Must <laughs> say thanks for this. I'm working an 11 hour shift and I've been watching since this morning. It's really helped me keep my sanity. Good um, luck on your shift. I, I wonder what I would be like if I had a job where I could watch something like this there we go i have a job where i get to watch something like this you do have a job where you can get to watch something like this okay ad infinitum i wonder how many people would um hell i wonder how many people would pay to be where you're at right now not many sort of uh, yeah this is a, a day out experience <laughs> um <laughs> yeah come for a course at crimson and also one day of that week you're going to spend it with me that that sounds so big headed. Anyway, um, I I do remember um, early on I would have a precursor to Netflix. I think it was called Love Film, something like that. Um, oh yeah, where you get the DVDs on the post. Yeah. Yeah. And I would sit and I'd have a compute a, a laptop there on the side of the bench. And I got very little actual work done. Uh, but then again, there are jobs where... and so. But then again, nowadays, I've constantly got um, podcasts and things on. So yeah, I, I would have this stream on in the background while I'm working, listening to it, and then just looking up when it's interesting, which is like maybe 5% of the time. Stay. Heart of Oak says, morning from Ottawa. Good morning, Heart of Oak. You are a gentleman. Welcome to the stream. Absolute blizzard out there today. Thank you for providing a wonderful distraction. Um, and by the by, is it time for another shipment of tea to Crimson? <laughs> um, I did... I, I'm in the very lucky position that I tend not to make myself my beverages at, at headquarters. So I don't actually know how much is left in the box. I thought it was only fair to actually uh, leave, take the yeah. box to headquarters. Um, I do know that most people drink coffee most of the time, so probably not. Um, okay, hold on. Yes, uh, we're very lucky with the weather here because it does get quite noisy in here um, at times now what camera do we want we want camera two
Goody the Roadie is Who? current... Goody the Roadie. Good name. Hi, Goody. Currently repairing a headstock break, and Ben is distracting me, but more than worth being distracted. Um, I uh, thank you for watching. Um, don't get too distracted because... Uh, <laughs> yeah, you don't want to mess up on a headstock break repair. Mm. Uh, however, there are some times when repairs like that um, are just not on the cards for the day and you require distracting. Um, I hope that it was a nice clean break and uh, it goes smoothly. Two super chats. One from JC. JC? He says, just ordered some coffee and a nut cube from Crimson. Can't wait to try it. Thank you. The nut cube is a fantastically useful um, device. And have you had any of the coffee? I've had lots of the coffee. Um, so I, the coffee is, um, there are going to be two, there's going to be two blends. Uh, the, the darker, stronger one, which is what that is, and a slightly lighter roast. Um, which is uh, coming soon and uh, which is of the two my favorite actually uh, i know you expect me to just love the uh, the stronger the better but uh, yeah <laughs> I, uh, let me know basically any of you that have the coffee seriously let me know uh, what you think and uh, yeah the last thing i want to do we, we spent a year and a bit uh, going through various different roasteries and uh, trying to find something that would uh, that would work for us and uh, at this stage yeah, feedback is uh, welcomed so greg is saying hi from missouri hi greg and france uh three questions okay are you going to epoxy the aluminium to the wood i'm not sure yet any update I think on so. when Greg Guitar Build of 22 website and registration will be live? I'm not sure yet. Give me the third one, let's see if I can answer the same way. Um, I, I am making an announcement in two weeks on uh, GGPO on exactly how it's all going to work. Uh, whether I have the website ready at that point or not. I'm not sure. It depends on how that goes. Um, I was hoping to to be doing that over the Christmas break and actually ended up spending time with my family. Um, shock it's horror. Thought. And uh, this month so far has been well, chaos. Mm. Third part of the question? Uh, sorry, the yet. third part was just cheers from Port Elizabeth. Oh. Ah, beautiful area. Mm. And JS Trucking, another comment from him. Just keep on coming. We do we do the live streams purely and only because JS Trucking keeps keeps the finances rolling. <laughs> we love this man. Uh, he suggests you should make a medium roast breakfast blend. What defines a breakfast blend in a coffee? Uh, but yes, that's uh, that's pretty much what the uh, what the second. Um, second one is uh, let's fine on that note are you fine for coffee um, I wouldn't mind just uh, just one more for now it'd be lovely to leave thank you cool. mainly because the second one that I made myself was just a little bit too cold and left me disappointed in life Roast more caffeine. Yeah. yeah, that is what I have in mind too. Okay, there we go. So there was a chance if I hadn't done that properly, mm. it's not quite proper, that I would damage the uh, fretboard, which is not what I want. So. I haven't made you coffee for so long. Milk, no sugar? Milk, no sugar. Thank you much, Lee. 
I will be judging you. There we go. Perfect. That's what we're after. Okay. Yep, that brake angle looks right. So the real question is, the real question is, what do I do now? Um, there are, this is loosely a Star Wars inspired build, so clean. Clean lines, aha. So clean lines, etc., cetera, are uh, something that we, we would like to see. Uh, however, time is also of the essence and just bolting it all together could be could be quite cool. So uh, hmm. what do you think? What do you think? Okay, so Talitha's microphone is uh, she's just, she's just turned hers off, I think. Off. O-R-F. She's gone. Okay, there we go. Um, all right, so we've got a couple of super chats here. Uh, Jay is trucking guitar says no clean lines are no clean lines are Star Trek if it's Star Wars You don't want clean lines. I mean they don't have rivets and things uh, And then another one also Jay is so you should have a large 32 cup thermos of coffee says you don't need as many refills. Yes To a certain extent I do however truly truly uh, Love uh, It needs to be the right temperature, if you know what I mean. Um, okay, so now I picked up my phone thinking about... Just to see if Star Trek has... Uh, Star Wars! Star Wars, gosh darn it. Rivets and stuff is not what I'm after. Do -de -do -de -do. Now Stephen sent me a bunch of images. There we go. That's the thing, they're all from so far away, the images that we, we are used to seeing, that uh, it may well be riveted together, but it just doesn't look it from a distance. Beautiful. Hmm. I should have a second layer of aluminium on here as well. <laughs> mm, I don't know. It's such an incredible universe to to base uh, things on. Uh, next time I need to do it a lot more uh, intelligently uh, as well. Okay, uh, I don't particularly want to... I don't particularly want to put bolts on. I'd rather have some cleaner lines. So what I'm going to do at this stage is uh, find my other camera, get that set up and then uh, work on some texturing or am I going to do that once it's in place? I think probably once it's in place actually. Hmm. 
we'll see. Okay, now what I would normally say is, or what I would normally do is glue something up and then that would be the end of my day. Uh, or at the very least, the end of a particular project. What I need to do here though is try and do it in such a way that I can then start carving the neck and working on the headstock, etc. So. What I need to do. What I need to do is cut the uh, cut the neck pocket into this so I can use it as a clamping core. We will then clamp all the way around that. We're going to be using uh, white glue, uh, aliphatic resin uh, underneath the wood and then a mixture of um, epoxy which is five minute epoxy so actually will dry relatively rapidly anyway underneath the aluminium. Uh, Mm hmm okay so the next problem is uh, is one of templates and of weight this is pretty heavy so actually that template is just just proud Yeah, just a fraction higher than the fretboard. So I could uh, use this. The problem is I would need to cut it much shorter for the neck, the neck route. Uh, do I, because we've, the original design that, uh, that you guys helped come up with involves three, uh, three P90s and a tremolo system. Um, so there's a, there's a bunch of routing to do in a bit. We're going to get pretty close to finishing this today, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <sighs> On we glue. I'm just going to tidy the workbench up a little bit. Put this battery on charge. Put the glue away. So. Consulting. There we go. Camera's off. Ah, no, not camera's off. <laughs> Microphone's off and onto the bandsaw in a minute. I just need to sort the cameras out. So before this setup, I spent a very large portion of my time moving cameras around. Uh, here's my coffee with Talitha. Coffee comes first. Huh? The coffee, no, the coffee brought Talitha along is what I was trying to imply. Um, uh, did you actually make two? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, thank you very much. Oh yes, thank you very, very much. Okay, let's can stay there for a second. Uh, it's headphone time. I'm just uh, making a cut on the template. Uh, your microphone is not muted, but uh, yeah. It is now.
Perfect. Good job. Well, after this, my storyline. He survived. It was really good. I want to see what happened next. Power off. Okay. Conserve batteries as much as possible. What's the last group chat you read? There was a blank one that didn't have a question and Mark Sims was asking where the fretboard came from. Okay, Mark, so uh, the fretboard is uh, from a Bond Electro Glide uh, guitar and uh, I did a video not too, well, quite a, sorry, quite a long time ago actually, where I f filmed a, an electric light that was at a guitar show I was at, and talked about how much I love this line and the fretboards and all that jazz. And a, a fantastic, wonderful fan um, decided to send it to me. I'll just kill camera three. I'll just kill camera three. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, basically a, a fan had it and I guess it's the power supply that's currently not supplying power. Aha, there we go. I've pulled out the power. Okay, uh, let's figure that one out. Woohoo. And uh, yeah, because of that video, they had a, a Bond Electric Light fretboard they bought from the factory um, as it was closing and they sent it to me. In fact, two separate people did this. Thank you, JC Trucking. So professional. <laughs> Would you like to ask me that question again, Talitha? <laughs> Mike Sims. Super Chat wanted to know where the fretboard came from. Okay. Most of you have already heard this fairly quietly, but uh, it was a fan. I did a video and two separate fans had bought Bond Electric Light fretboards <laughs> from the factory as it closed and two of them sent them to me. This is the better of the two, which is going on this guitar, which is available. Uh, it's currently uh, part the prize in a raffle and uh, is available. So, yeah, uh, if you haven't joined the raffle yet, check it out. But, um, but yeah, I am incredibly lucky at how cool you people are. So, now, I've got coffee on my workbench. I, haven't, I didn't spill it. Didn't, don't, don't, don't get your panties in a twist. Um, I have been using the masking tape and super glue trick quite a lot and uh, the accelerator which is I think acetone based actually bear that in mind if you you spray might still be muted finish I'm still muted do you think my has my nope test testing hmm. testing one two <laughs> you've got me You've got me. Not muted. No. Bun's fine. Sounds good to me. Thank you. Tasting. <laughs> My neighbours know who I am, um, or what I do at the very least, and uh, but. I, I spend an inordinate amount of time at the top of my voice saying, testing, testing. And then I just... Yeah. <laughs> and they know what that's about. Yeah. Anyway, the problem is they have friends over fairly regularly uh, in the garden, which is just there. And I'm... Yeah, it's amusing. Anyway, I'm just going to use the scraper to clean, uh, to clean this off a little bit. Because um, can I carry on with super chats? Carry on with questions, yes, absolutely. Cool. Um, Aaron Lee, hi, Aaron. I would imagine spacecraft would be welded, not riveted, to ensure an atmospheric seal. <laughs> yeah, that 
Um, yeah, no, no, you're right. Uh, welded or uh, or actually uh, epoxied. Um, so uh, yeah, if you watch the Martian or, or read the Martian, he uses uh, epoxies to seal uh, leaks in his suit and things like that. So so actually, the use of an epoxy to uh, is probably around about um, around about right, really. Garage, Garage Master Guitars. I know him well. For your coffee fund, five pounds. Thank you very much. Many thanks for answering my questions. The scrap wood practice build is nearly finished. I learned a lot from it. Excellent. That is, uh, yeah, that's the way. It's uh, too, too many people have start off with a build that they really want. They use incredibly expensive materials and 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 things, and uh, you know, it's it's what I did, and I think it was a mistake starting out with a scrap build, um, knowing you're going to make some mistakes, but we'll recover from them. That I think is a an important way of doing things. So I'm just cleaning this up because. Uh, I want to give a, a, a perfect joint for the glue. Somewhere in the mess of what I said previously, I was trying to get that across. <laughs> KTW, or Kathleen. Hi. Paulie's super cool wife here. <laughs> Hi. Capital letters, he buys stuff every day, exclamation, exclamation. Amazon should move in here at home, but look, I'll fully support this guitar and it will be his last purchase for a solid decade, lol. <laughs> uh, well, oh, I am losing... I nearly dropped everything. Um, you should try and work that into a contract. You're allowed to buy this guitar. It's going to be amazing, but it is the last. Um, <laughs> I think I'm trying desperately not to get involved in anybody else's uh, um, uh, marriage or rules or life in any way, shape, or form, because that way lies true, true peril. Um, a one-in-one-out policy is something that my wife and I have discussed on occasion. We've never quite reached agreement for the simple fact that I tend to run screaming. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, it's one of those things. Um, Benjamin Aldrich asks, forget the practicalities of it, yeah. what one material would you wish you could build a guitar out of? Cheese. <laughs> I don't know why cheese is the first thing that comes to mind. I like cheese. Um, it wouldn't last very long. Ooh. Aerogel. Incredibly light, like basically nothing. Um, yeah, that would uh, that would be cool. If this build hasn't convinced you that scrapers are amazing, then you haven't been watching. Scrapers are amazing, except when they are super glued to your bench. 
Have you specifically described it to my bench? I haven't been left alone in here for long enough. And you neither shall you be. <laughs> um, uh, of course. So you watched the uh, you watched the edit. Yeah, I watched it live as well. That was funny. Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys how, got Tom in trouble. How he managed to keep a straight face. <laughs> yeah, I know. It makes me question every other time I talk to the man. It's just, who can you trust now? So I've, I've cleaned that. I need to get my clamps ready. I want to scratch up the back of the aluminium again a little bit more. How many tablespoons of coffee, caffeine did you? So this is just instant coffee, yeah. but uh, it's the coffee Tanya gave me. Why is it too strong? Oh, it's not too strong. It's just very strong. Oh, it's fine. Oh, knife. I need a knife. Reese Griffiths wants to know how you sharpen a scraper. Which edge? Uh, all edges. So, um, yeah, basically there are, if you go back in this stream, at some point I, I did it and uh, I went through the process, but essentially you've got four edges that you can turn a burr on, uh, on each scraper. So, uh, so yeah, it really is a very, very simple process. Cheese guitar, don't you mean the Wallace and Gromit caster? That's it. Yes, exactly, and that's probably... <sighs> I am Wallace, period. Hmm. Minotaur Guitars, Super Chat. Hi. Bought a 12-string Goto bridge last week. Stealing four saddles and making a custom base plate for my GGBO electric Mando. Thanks for all the inspiration. That's a pleasure. So, what are you going to then use the 12 string bridge for? Is that going to be an eight string something interesting? Because that sounds like it could be a non standard, yeah, something. Yeah, tell us more. Please tell us more. Um, at this at this point, my brain went. I sincerely hope you've been scratching the right side of this piece of aluminium, and I have. <laughs> but the thought still occurred to me. <laughs> yeah, some people are saying, "Is that checkering? Why is he doing that?" <laughs> um, so I'm doing this to give the uh, to give the epoxy a good uh, amount of surface to grab onto and hold basically. I'm probably going a little bit overboard, but uh, I think it's necessary. Disco Stew, Super Chat. Disco Stew. Working from home, watching the build while noodling on the guitar I built on my Crimson course, that SG slash Tele thin line hybrid Ben. I love it working, watching a live stream, and noodling on guitar at the same time. That doesn't sound like working. It doesn't sound like working. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, okay. Now, this requires some thought and some planning. I'm screwed. <laughs> Is it time for a break? No, 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 far from that. No, the time for the break, if there was going to be a break, would be after the, the, the clamp up so that uh, the break is being done while something is being achieved. Um, I need as many clamps as possible. So what I'm gonna do is have these great big um, Bessie clamps as the beginning. Um, I'm 
shouldn't you start with something smaller so that you've got your hands free to balance the Bessie? Balancing um, the Bessie is fairly basic and I am Ben the Brilliant. Birch. Benjamin Birch. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want everything... He hates his middle thing, guys. I really do. Um, mainly because it's not a name, nor is it even spelled correctly. Uh... Didn't you tell Tom Wolf the other day for putting the coffee on the thing? <laughs> no. What I said to Tom was, I'm glad to see that you didn't put the coffee on the, uh, on the bandsaw. Because as a general rule, with bandsaws that you care about, that's not what you, that's something that you want to avoid doing. Uh, in this particular case... Um, so you're saying you don't care about that bandsaw? I, I really don't care about this bandsaw. It is not... Okay. It does not hold a very high regard in my heart. Commerce79 wants to know if you've ever tried true Italian espresso coffee. No. No, I have not. Um, as much caffeine as I drink, as much coffee as I drink on a day-to-day -day basis, um, it is only in the last two or three years that I've become properly, or at least properly begun the journey of becoming uh, somewhat of a connoisseur. So, basically, I have a lot to learn. Be gentle, be kind. Um, one of the cameras is out of focus. Which one? <laughs> yeah, thank you, Mark. I don't mind my middle name. My middle name's Eleanor. <laughs> it's a real name. Yours is just spelled wrong. It's. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We all have. Or was it a great grandfather's or great uncle's name? Probably, but even so. Yeah. Um. Really doesn't matter. Okay. So, I have got. I really need to have this ready. So we've got the uh, Alkaline Professional, which is an aliphatic resin, which is going to be gluing the, uh, the rosewood down. I, I am not going to bother. If I felt like it at this point, before I glued anything down, I could go in and route out the control cavity and that would just be quick and easy. Uh, I'm not going to do that, even though it probably makes sense to. We don't watch this channel for making sense now, do we? <laughs> um, just because there's a thin top and it would just be easy. Um, but uh, we're not going to do that. We'll, we'll route it after the fact. <sighs> Specifically, actually, because there's a very sp We've got that there. The epoxy is here. I hope there's enough left. It's the five minute stuff. I'm going to be mixing it direct onto the aluminium. So, wood glue down, epoxy onto the back of the aluminium, aluminium down, clampy, 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 panic. Let's make sure the cameras are in the correct place. Clampy, clampy, panic. Is that like measure, measure, cut? Yes. Jamie says balancing the Bessie sounds like something you should be doing in private. Just saying. <laughs> and Aracor says brilliant Ben balancing basic Bessie. There we go. I like it. Uh, so camera two. <laughs> Thank you. Austerium, Austerium, Austerian. Sorry. 
Super Chat, I finished the wallpapering. I even gave myself a running commentary to make it last longer. Come on, Ben. <laughs> Come on, Bun. Keep up. I've got my raffle tickets. Rick. Okay. First of all, thank you for your for the raffle tickets. Um, I appreciate that. Second of all, um, there's all there's always something else to do about the house, isn't there? Um, <laughs> but uh, just the thought of you all sitting there uh, enjoying a cup of coffee while I work away makes me happy. Uh, I've just taken away the burr that was on the inside of that. I've got my my clamping callers behind me. Rosewood, that that I just need glue spreadery sort of things. So what happened to the wonderful glue spreader I had the other day that I made? I don't know. Don't know at all. Probably being glued to my bench somewhere. You mean to tell me that Ben's middle name isn't I always stick to my first plan? Hmm. I'll have you know I've never been known to stick to my first plan. <laughs> How dare you? Third. <laughs> um, Is it in this little box at the front of the workbench? No. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so this is what I did last time. Okay, so we're good. <laughs> Someone says, don't quote me on this should be your middle name. <laughs> I, yeah, I've been doing a lot of research into, um, a lot of research. I've been watching a bunch of people talking about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies and stock markets and all that sort of stuff. Um, <sighs> I'm trying to be a grown up. And the amount of times they all say, this is just my opinion. Obviously, this is not financial advice, nor am I a lawyer. I did just like, Okay. Are we ready, people? Let's go. Glue spreader hanging under the hammers. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> the... Uh... <laughs> Overstring radius gauge. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> well spotted, though. Hmm. Hold on, I said let's go. I lied. <gasps> See, I didn't even finish my first plan of this little bit. Is that coffee getting cold? Don't distract me with coffee. Yes. Actually it is. One. Oh. Super strong. Ouchie. Sorry. Oh. See, I don't drink coffee myself, so people never ask me to make coffee for them, so I'm out of practice. Plus, it's a way to never get asked to make coffee a second time. There we go. That's what <laughs> I was thinking. Are you going to do the routing for the pickups and electronics under the rosewood? Um, and some people asking about weight relief. Uh, I don't believe in weight relief. Um, no, I'm not going to do weight relief, especially now that I've got the glue on, people. Come on. Give me these ideas <laughs> beforehand. 
And uh, splooge, your words are catching on. We need a dictionary of Ben. I think splooge is just. Uh, it's not just me. I, I, don't, I don't think know. it's just you. Mm, I'm sure I stole it from somebody. And Benvo65 says, don't overdo the coffee, it'll make you go bald. <laughs> what, I ask, is wrong with being bald? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've probably actually put a little bit too much glue on there, but that's, uh, that's fine yes. and dandy. Dripping down this side. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, so... Okay, so that's starting to do its thing. If you could change the name of any one tool to a name of your choosing, which would it be and why? Anthony Cunliffe. Cunliffe or Cuncliffe? Cunliffe. Cunliffe. Have I been saying his name wrong this whole time? Maybe. Okay. Uh, I am not clever enough to come up with anything funny at this point. Uh, so I'm going to have to leave that up to you guys. I don't believe in weight relief, he says, as his daughter's guitar hangs on the wall <laughs> full of holes. <laughs> And the guitar you worked on previous to that, full of holes. And the one previous to that was Nebula. Yep. Um, okay, people, fine. I believe in weight relief, but you were asking me while I was literally applying glue <laughs> after I negated the possibility of quick and easy weight relief. Anthony Cunliffe also says, can confirm, name has been said wrong, but will not take it personally. <sighs> Poop, now I'm dropping. <laughs> <sighs> okay. All oh, the clamps! Fine. All right, we're good. Talitha, could you please look at the time or start a timer or something for five minutes? Sure. Yes, I am very aware I'm wearing a day turner. I just forgot to click the button. And uh, it's a little bit stupid. Mark Milligan says, Spooge is a real word, by the way, but uh, not what Ben thinks it is. Is this... <laughs> and Wilford Guitars says, don't fat shame guitars. I don't fat shame anybody. Have you seen me recently? I um, just drill them full of holes. <laughs> True, I do. Don't use the guitar as a work surface, Sawdust Passion says. Sawdust Passion, that is a good name. Okay. And Hawk Eng says Venom question mark. I assume that's because of the epoxy. Oh, yeah. So I had not watched Venom. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm, not a, I'm not a horror fan. And for some reason, I got the impression that Venom was more horror than, than not. So I, I had the pleasure of watching the first Venom for the first time very recently. And... Uh, it's freaking hilarious. Okay. Groove Dodger says Marmite. If Marmite looked like this, I would not. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I should be wearing, I should be wearing. You should be wearing gloves. Gloves. Okay. There we go. What's our timer at, Talitha? Three minutes, 15 seconds. Fantastic. Okay. Mm. 
That must smell great. No, I'm all the way over here. It does not smell great. Have you watched Venom 2? Someone asks. It's on Disney Plus and is also hilarious. Um, I haven't yet. But, uh... Oh! Two Sorry. and a half minutes. Did you watch the Venom with Carnage or the Venom? Yes, no, I, I watched Venom 2 uh, a few days afterwards. Phew, I didn't get any epoxy on the... Um... Mm. Come just, on, guys. Just all over your fingers. Why did you not tell me to put gloves on? There's like a thousand of you. you, you some of you, some of you knew that <laughs> I was supposed to put gloves on before I did this. And yet you chose, you chose to stay quiet. Shame. Um, okay, so, <laughs> joking aside. Um, <laughs> ben Aldridge. Ben epoxied the wrong side. Don't you dare. <laughs> Don't panic him. Okay. This is probably going to stick a little bit, but uh, hey, we're okay. That's you interesting. Let me check this, the edge closest to me. What the do you epoxy. mean? No, I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay. Um, yeah. uh, now Adam says, Ben put gloves on. By the way, put gloves on, bud. You guys are so funny. Put gloves on. <laughs> you should really wear gloves, Beth. So YouTube tells you where you get a spike in comments so that you can sort of, I don't know, replicate it later on. And it would be funny if this is one of those moments. Okay, so it's a little bit of... <laughs> Crimson release new, new Cards Against Humanity style card game called Ben Should Be Wearing. 20 seconds, should the timer... It doesn't matter now. Uh, we're at the stage now where it's... Uh... Has anybody mentioned PPE to Ben? Our PPE you. The clamp's ticking. Put the clocks on. <laughs> the tuck is clicking. Clamps. <laughs> JS, JS Trucking, whoever said Venom is on Disney Plus is wrong. It is not on Disney Plus. It is a Sony movie and none of Sony movies are on Disney Plus. I think that's correct. I watched it on Amazon, I think. Something like that. Ah, come on. There we go. Synergy Digital Design. I work for a safety supply company. I could get you some gloves if you need them, Ben. <laughs> Keep it coming, Ben. It's not like you're distracting me during a very, very... You just have to listen. You don't have to... That being said, I could do with a PPE sponsor, so... The clamp might, is might actually with the glue. <sighs> okay. How about Crimson Guitars branded PPE for the online store? <sighs> Whew. Come on then. The clamps are fighting back. <laughs> Ah. 
Are those Bessies balanced? Whew. It's all sort of doing its thing fairly. Kind of. We got Bessie on one side and Triton on the other. Yeah, the Bessie wins. Um, these uh, Triton clamps are also out of. Um, they're not being made anymore. Okay, um, ah, I thought there was another one. Forgive me for growling in your ears, everybody. <laughs> These are not the clamps you're looking for, Ben. But no. imagine a Jedi. Okay, so the, the aluminium sort of slid a little bit that way, so there's a gap at the end of the fretboard, which is uh, annoying. Um, but, um, yeah. There's nothing I can do about that, really. Um, so! Jeff Williams wants to know if you have any longer clamps. Deeper, you mean? Longer. Basic. Longer. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. We're here taunting Ben, aren't we? Yep. Okay. That's fine. It's a, it's a hobby, I suppose. Shane Doherty. Sorry, yes, that was very stressful. <laughs> no, it's funny. It is funny. Um, Isotunes should do gloves. I've just got an image of uh, of the new Isotunes being a thing that sits on the end of your fingers. You just stick your fingers in your ears and you listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> but then your hands aren't free. But you're entertained. Are you not entertained? Okay. There we go. <laughs> At this stage, I don't think more clamps are necessary, but uh, I'm doing it anyway. Mr. Trilby says Bun's Jedi name would be Oben No PPE. <laughs> Please, I want that on a t shirt. Um, or at the very least a poster on the wall. Okay, I think, I don't think it's a heart attack. I think Talitha gave me too much caffeine in that last thing, <laughs> mixed with the clamps. Um, and breathing the fumes from the epoxy. Oh no, that's recreational. Mm. Um, <laughs> should we open a window? Probably. Oh, oh, don't, don't <laughs> Anthony Cunliffe says, with the popularity of the squirrel, with the popularity the squirrel has gained, we should crowdfund Ben's next tattoo of a squirrel. <sighs> and take a poll of where it should be. <laughs> I would not necessarily abide by any such poll, nor would I agree to any... <laughs> such tattoo. Such... Uh, I, I think that actually a little squirrel somewhere could be quite fun. Um, Okay, so, so yeah, the epoxy is in place. Uh, there's a tiny little bit on the fretboard. Um, was it white spirit I used last time? That's oh, a purple alcohol. Let's have a test. And 3.30. Jackie Cordray says, not really concerned about the lack of gloves, more about how Ben will do without a channel for the pickup cables. I am on camera. Um, <laughs> uh, no, that's just going to be drilled through later. Um, that won't be an issue. So... Some super chats, a bit too late. Sorry, Greg. Greg Pearl said, hey Ben, put an alignment pin in the aluminium. Yes, um, that should have been done. The, uh, the problem is that um, 
the aluminium is very, very, very thin. Uh, where are we? Camera two. We'll do. Yeah, the aluminium is very thin, so uh, it would uh, almost certainly um, go all the way through and be, be obvious and visible later, which we wouldn't want. And uh, and the aluminium, the aluminium is already the correct shape. Mm. Uh, I should have left it a little bit too big, and uh, uh, and done exactly that. But I didn't think properly. Dave, Dave says, didn't you use your wife's nail varnish remover? I did last time. I hadn't tried the isopropyl alcohol, which uh, actually does work. Um, but. Um, the nail varnish remover is up at the house. So, so there we go. Are you okay. going to take a breather and have some super chats? And some coffee. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to drink the second one, Salita. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure my heart could take it. Um, well, the second one's a larger mug, therefore the concentration of caffeine too should be fine. I'll have a I'll have a think about it in a second. Hit me with super hit me with your hit me with your best shot. Give me some super chats, yo. Feed me. Okay. Feed me with questions and then I'm gonna give you an opportunity. And you are not going to take it. Carry on. I think I probably will. Maybe not. Uh, Salty Johns make a tenon cover like for an SG. You are not wrong. You are not wrong. Remember a little bit earlier when I said um, I should not apply isopropyl alcohol directly to an open wound? Mm. Ah! Um, it's just carrying on. When I said that I should layer up the aluminium and put a second layer of aluminium uh, to add depth to the whole thing. Uh, I may well end up doing that, which is exactly what you just suggested. So uh, thanks. I mean, I'm completely out of um, epoxy at this stage. Uh, this isn't a super chat, but it's amusing. Craig Gale says, my three year old did literally just say that Ben needs more coffee. I think he may have watched too many episodes. <laughs> tell your three year old that I am, of course, going to listen to him. Well, no, I'll, I will tell him. Hey, three-year-old. Thank you. Good suggestion. There's a 400 ruble chat, I think from Anton. Not sure. Anton, thank you. Hey, Ben, maybe it will help. Um, first point, you can use a directional microphone like Rode NTG4 and forget about batteries. Mm -hmm. And two, your sister will also be able to switch cameras from a laptop if you connect Artem and set up Artem control software. Yeah, so the, um, I am seriously considering, we've, we've got a, I've got a microphone actually up in the ceiling that um, I used to use for the live streams. The, issues, the issue is that it just picks up absolutely everything. At the moment we've got the lapels with the annoying batteries and a very small microphone just hooked in so we can turn the lapels off but still have some lower room noise. Uh, You're also taking into account that these live streams are to be edited into an episode or something. Exactly. Yeah. So for editing purposes we need the best quality voice audio rather than room noise. Yeah, for some reason people so, care about what I have to say. I don't know why. I have got glue all over my screwdriver. Reach for the biggest chisel possible. <laughs> Alt Grendel Super Chat would like to know what kind of finish you're going to use. So would I. <laughs> Are we going to have a poll? No, no, we're not. Okay, that's the edge of that uh, is a little bit too rough for me to use the chisel. Uh, this, however, is nice and smooth. So, 
Um, camera two, camera three. Vax, headroom, I agree totally with you. Video is 75% audio. Yes, absolutely. How many times have you stopped watching something if the audio was rubbish? All the time. Every time the audio is rubbish, I stop watching. Oh, thank uh. you, Frankie. Frankie says, Ben, you need to be nicer to me. Frankie, you're banned. <laughs> um, uh, I'm not mean to Talitha. Not all the time. Talitha has the capacity to make me look really good or really bad. I have had fun in the past. You have as well. Who's ever seen Ben in a tutu? <laughs> yep, you did make that happen. Or was that Sean? Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, you, we actually did buy an actual tutu after the fact that I then actually did wear... Yeah, that was in a What's on the Bench. I can't remember what year uh, that was. It, was. it was very funny. So I walked around with the camera fairly tight to me and interviewed a bunch of people while wearing a tutu. And you could see people's faces going. Um, and then you gave the camera to someone else and walked off and we could finally see the tutu. Yeah. It was it was it Sorry. was quite funny. Pranced off. I did something. It is true. Um, okay, so so yeah. Uh, any more questions? Um, from the super chats, I think I'm up to date. Okay. I uh, just you know should have put an alignment pin in that aluminium. No shit. <laughs> and I could have done it in the pickup cavities. Ah. You live and learn. You do. Yeah, absolutely. Do you know what I should have not done? Put isopropyl alcohol directly in an open wound. Hi. Opportunity. Talitha. Yes. Please. Do not. Where's my alcohol rag? I need to go and wash my hands. I am yeah. very dirty. And uh, um, there are certain other. Do you trust me to be alone? In duties here? that have to be done. <laughs> so the opportunity is to uh, um, do something amusing for the amusement of our fans, etc. But please, please don't. So uh, either, either you can, you know, play a prank on me. Or. Or you can live up to my very high expectations <laughs> of your personal character. Cool guilt trip. <laughs> um, anyway, look, what I'm going to do is uh, point a camera in your direction, Talitha, so that you can uh, talk to people. Oh, you're wearing a crimson t-shirt. I am. Um, so yeah, you can talk to people and... <laughs> yes, Benjamin Aldridge, this problem could have been avoided by PPE. I'm choosing to ignore that. <laughs> um, I'm just going to leave my microphone here. So, last time, having the microphone muted, your microphone being muted, caused uh, a lot of... Oh, when I went to the house? Yeah, so that was the audio thing. So when we're muting microphones, apparently that's causing some crackling on the oh, audio. Oh, so you're leaving that on, but you're walking out. I'm leaving it on, but I'm walking out okay. on, on all of you. How many people are there? 1,035. Hi. We'll miss you. I'll be back in a minute. Uh, Talitha can answer most of your questions. Within reason. And if she can't, she'll just pretend she didn't see uh, I'll be back in a short time. Um, hey guys, uh, no, I'm not from South Africa. I was born in Southern Africa in Zimbabwe. Um, Ben was also born in Zimbabwe. We're a year apart. Um, no, Ben hasn't taken the microphone. He's left it here. You won't hear anything else from up in the house. I don't even know where he stores the gloves, otherwise I would put them all over his workbench. Uh. <laughs> I 
Um, Ben's theatrical style doesn't impress me, not anymore. I've been editing him for about seven years now. So, yeah, it's... <laughs> uh, Mark Jennings, if I did that, I'd get in trouble with Tam, not Ben. Sweet Tea Guitars, I currently use uh, Adobe Premiere and Photoshop and the Creative Cloud as a whole. I have in the past used DaVinci, uh, DaVinci Resolve, which um, is a really good free program and I sometimes cut between the two. Uh, Godi the Roadie, uh, to a certain extent I have control over the editing. Ben does give me instructions on camera when he's filming and he does self-edit in camera where if he doesn't like a take or says something wrong he'll delete it and then refilm it so I don't get the clips that he doesn't like and then um, he does have final say he trusts me now but he does have final say once a video is out if he wants things changed, taken out or not done again in the future um, like he's particular about some of the music um, which is a thing we've we use epidemic sound and I'm always very conscious about the music I choose for the videos so if you guys have any suggestions on other royalty free music or tracks or if you'd like to send us music that we could use in our edits um, it's always great to have a variety should I super glue the coffee cup to the bench or to the bandsaw? <laughs> I don't think he'd like either um, my favorite series to edit I think was I had a love-hate relationship with the Complication series because that guitar is absolutely amazing and his thought process for building the outer shell was incredible but it incredibly uh, it dragged on and went on forever so that was that was interesting uh, I do work at Crimson Guitars full-time now Thank you, X Parallax. I did run Talitha's Cakes. Um, well, my cake shop was called Talitha's Cake Creations. And we I did that with my mum for three or four years. And then working from Ben took precedence and I didn't have time to do cakes anymore. Greetings to British Columbia. Um, hope you're not also having a blizzard like Ottawa. That doesn't sound fun. Hide one of his tools. Where's that scraper? It's very tricky to move around in here. Where should we put it? <laughs> Luther for build, start working on the guitar for him. I think he would not take that very well. I wish I could do a monthly blooper Ben reel, uh, Ed Robson. Unfortunately, he self edits and he deletes most mistakes. So we don't have a lot of bloopers to work with. Move the guitar completely. It is really heavy with clamps. 
and he's back. JC Tracker, yes, there is always time for cake, but I have to console myself with making chocolate brownies for the staff at Crimson on birthdays. I don't make cakes professionally anymore. Though I made a memorable middle finger up cake for a certain member of staff when they left. That was very, very funny. Um, okay. So the crackle is just me putting the microphone back on. Everyone. It does smell a little bit epoxy-ish in here. Uh, yeah, you have to leave the room get fresh air to really notice it. Yeah. Well, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so uh, I'm, I could have started watching the live stream just to see if anything sort of dodgy happened. <laughs> but I've decided not to because I trust you. Uh, oh, I trust, I trust all of you. I missed the opportunity to uh, steal a gimbal, rats. <laughs> Uh, the gimbal is super cool. Well, we uh, I'll let you play with it in a bit. Cool. Okay. Oh, now. He's back. Sorry. Everybody shut up and watch. Where's that? Huh? What? Yeah, and how come... Ben blooper reels have been requested, but you self-edit. I used to self-edit um, until I had this set up. It was literally a case of I didn't want to waste any of Talitha's valuable time uh, by giving her footage that I didn't want to see in the final um, video. So if it was a whole clip that was wrong, I would delete the whole clip or, um, or at the worst say, hey, don't film this. But now this entire video to today, we've only got two clips recorded of the entire thing. The current one is at 2 hours, 55 minutes and 44 seconds. So uh, there will be blooper reels and things that happen. Possibly, but the downside of having one long entire clip is having to watch the entire thing to cut out the nice bits. Absolutely. Which I'm so happy to have Bear helping. Um, Bear is pretty freaking awesome. Fresh eyes and a new take on editing and, you know, taking on these super edits, which have always been daunting. Super edits are daunting, yes. Um, anyway, well, look, here we are. Uh, I should have changed cameras to one facing you at that point uh, while you were talking. So the, the epoxy is uh, pretty much cured, actually, at this stage. The, uh, the wood glue is doing other things. Uh, I'm just going to clear off the little bench. The little <laughs> bench. It is a little bench. We need an is it, it is what it is t-shirt. That is something that I should, I, I sh say too much really. Um, do we have any queries, any questions, we any some super chats? questions? Um, Franz says, Ben, I got a tip from a mechanic friend to get the oil slash acetone smell from your hands. Wash your hands with instant coffee after using soap. You had me at instant coffee. That's also an exfoliator. So it, no, it is an exfoliator. So uh, yeah, actually, uh, I've used uh, homemade um, exfoliant stuff with coffee in it, and it uh, improved my life. Okay, so there's a camera above me, and these. Bessie clamps are reaching out to it with glee. It's a brand new camera there. These, anyway, we're fine. Okay. Now. Salty Johns yeah. says, about the, about the no epoxy thing, Ben, you could always use the leftover top wood as pickup rings, tenon cover, and scratch plate. Just a thought. I don't need pickup rings, it's going to be P90s. Um, but yes, you could have an extra layer of rosewood on top of the uh, thing. That's a, that is a good point. Um, okay. It's very important to just stop every now and then, isn't it? 
Yes. So uh, Jasmine is back, but uh, but doesn't want to uh, uh, at the moment talk to anybody. She's literally just got back from school and uh, didn't have the best of days. Mm. So uh, yes, yeah, okay. stuck with me, Delila. Oh, Unless shucks. you would like to uh, uh, get uh, our mother involved, <laughs> uh, which is an option. Uh, okay. So where we currently stand is. This instrument is sitting here uh, curing and doing its thing. We glued up at half past three and it's nearly, uh, nearly four o'clock already. Um, I think I'm going to work on the headstock a little bit. My plan is to get this build today to a point where you can see what the body is going to look like. Um, and <sighs> yeah. A bunch of you said you would want to see a live stream every Monday. Um, <clears throat> the thought was potentially that I could carry on and do another live stream doing this guitar tomorrow. But I think, to be honest, Talitha needs to do some actual work. <laughs> work? Me? And, uh, and so do I. So. Uh, so yeah, um, I suppose, do you want to do a poll, Talitha, and see whether people would like to see the end of this, because it really will be the end, on next Monday, or um, should we try tomorrow? I'm withholding a veto, but uh, yeah, I'm interested to see what you think as well. So we've got some epoxy on the end here. Move the camera. The end one of nine, the end part one. Live stream daily. <sighs> Lots of people saying so sorry, Jasmine had a bad day. It sucks. Hope she, hope it gets better from here on out. Yes, I'll tell you. It's just it's just school. School uh, for most people, school just sucks as a rule, doesn't it? VR slash says Ben, how about a matching aluminium ed inlay for the headstock? Ah, uh, that feels a little bit dangerous what I was doing there. I know my hand was protected by the uh, by the whole headstock being in the way, but it still felt a little bit iffy. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think an aluminium section like that is probably. Uh, Probably called for, don't you? Black Dragon says, I love the idea of a weekly stream, but having recently started my own YouTube channel, I do understand the level of effort involved. Um, in all seriousness, the, the, main, the main effort is that somebody else has to be here to help do the hosting. Uh, I... I've now got, oh, hold on, rewind. Congratulations on starting the channel. It can turn into something awesome. And even if it doesn't, it's an amazing, it's an amazing achievement and process. So yeah, mm. uh, good luck with that. Um, <sighs> yeah, the main, the main 
issue with doing live streams weekly is more the fact that it takes Talitha away from from editing and uh, we need to make sure that it's it's worth it for the company from a sort of a, a company point of view um, you know there are wages involved and also add to the fact the last few live streams were done on a Sunday which meant that a full technically four or five days to edit for Saturday now we're doing it on Monday which means Bear's only going to get this footage this evening for Saturday that being said after this series I am not going to ask you guys to do that and this is a promise that I'm happy to make it's going to be a case of we will do the live stream and then six months later you'll see an edit or three months later you'll see either a super edit or a short series and we'll be able to release the series three or four days so actually from the point of view of the channel and making it uh, make sense as a channel camera three camera three woohoo um, doing a live stream could could be beneficial um, the because it, it will finally allow me to get ahead of um, Talitha and Bear with the editing because so much is done during the live streams um, so much footage is created it doesn't have to be just one episode it could be it could be multiple mm. um, and having multiple cameras gives us much more scope for the final edits too well, the the main thing is that uh, you know I just changed the camera. I just changed the camera again. I've just changed the camera again. These are pretty shots, and there's some clamps. Woohoo! Um, <laughs> it's so easy to do that, which just took me four or five seconds. Uh, with the old setup, I would have to go to the camera, pick it up, change the tripod, move the legs around, put it there, do focus, go, press record. Each time was thirty seconds to a minute. Um, so we've now got with this setup so much more scope for just me speeding through or as is currently the case me spending all of that time talking to you <laughs> not actually building anymore but hey it's all good yeah there is that okay so that's uh, that's good i've cleaned the nut up um There's a question, if you're putting aluminium on the headstock, can you put LEDs underneath? Blue LEDs to light up the headstock. There's a button there that you can just ban people or, or put them in a yeah. silenced corner for 300 seconds or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, yeah, we could. I'm on a time frame <clears throat> and I don't want to. Uh, you have just reminded me that I need to buy <coughs> some more epoxy. I note that my <laughs> cough that was uh, an issue earlier in the morning is no longer um, no longer a problem. Um, yeah. Dave, Dave said that nut is the nut nuts nut. Nut nuts <laughs> nut. Do you want some nuts? I like nuts, but I'm not going to chew in people's ears uh, for the minute. Okay. So I'm fairly I'm fairly happy with how this headstock is looking. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to grab a plane. George Mush says, "Have you decided on a nut, metal, or other material?" I hadn't. I think that potentially a splinter would do the job. Um, <laughs> Ow. And Peter Crossley said, Ben, use a neck rest. Why aren't you using a neck rest? Because I'm a fool. CrimsonGuitars.com Neck rests for the discerning luthier. <sighs> See? Having you guys in the room with me really helps. Now, something that I actually have also considered, Talitha, yes? how feasible is it to have you 
sitting at home doing an edit with headphones in doing the edit and a screen next to you and an open WhatsApp call calling through to here and then we can talk via so you can be still working and stuff but you could also be interacting with I stuff. think it would drive me insane to have drive you, you in... insane. Dri dri drive I think I achieved that many years ago many years ago but trying to listen to you on something you filmed in the past <laughs> can you imagine that's the... and listen to you <laughs> live <laughs> it's bad enough so mom and I share an office and we've we sit with our backs to each other, so I can't see her screen all the time. Yeah. And she does some work for me on the YouTube channel, which involves her watching videos and writing chapters. And, and if I'm editing <laughs> you and listening to you and listening to what she's working... <laughs> yeah, no, that wouldn't be feasible. Sorry. <laughs> I can actually... If I was doing something like label design or graphic work and listening to you that maybe um. <laughs> yeah lisa thank you hi lisa. he is nuts <laughs> she says be nice to me i am the nuts 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 that's me um I was just wondering if it would be more more efficient, get the absolute most amount of work out of uh, any human possible. Yeah, the problem with that <laughs> would be missing ah. chats, missing comments, not seeing questions in time. No, no, I agree. I think that um, it's something that occurred to me, but I didn't seriously think that it would uh, be uh, worth um, doing. That is so weird trying to play in left-handed at that angle. I'm yeah, I'm going to finish that. Jolie official says, please say hello to Ben from Nepal. Jolie. Jolie, J-H-O-L-E-Y, official. Jolie or Jolly. Um, Jolly. Greetings from Nepal. That's just mind-blowingly cool how broad a reach this thing is. I am... The word narcissist keeps on coming to mind, but it's not what I mean, nor is it, I think, true. Um, I, I'm not a very... I don't like parties. I don't like meeting random people. I don't like going out to pubs and clubs and things like that. That's just not... I'm, you know, I like being on my own. I really do. I get energy from that. But I've got a thousand plus people in my workshop right now. And that's just to leave as multiple personalities. <laughs> and, um, and it's incredible. So thank you very much for your support. And uh, yeah, it's super cool. I'm going to... Shinto Sorasp. Hmm. Ah, oh, that works. I do think that's just going to be easier. Oh, Hock Eng says I'm from Malaysia. Greetings from Washington DC and Taiwan. That's what time is it in uh, in Malaysia and um... and Brazil? We got people saying good morning from Canada. I was living in Japan when I discovered this channel. And I'm now living in California. Thanks, Thomas. California is like the center of guitar building in the world, really. <laughs> Sadly. Rishwan says, looks like you're being very busy, Ben. Come to the Maldives for holiday, but with your tools. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Again, that's left-handed. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing these things a little bit weird because I'm trying to achieve stuff while um, while the rest of the guitar is clamped up, so that's uh, that's not ideal. So it's two a.m. in Brisbane, Australia. It's eleven in Baltimore, Maryland. It's one o'clock in the afternoon in Brazil. I'm s hello, VR slash and Lester. Who? What? What? 
They are slashes and miserable Lester. Lester is Lester's not miserable. It's the afternoon in Portugal. And Commerce 79 says I'm an Italian living in Thailand. That's an interesting one. It's midnight in Malaysia. Midnight. Bloody hell. So the thing is, there just isn't actually a right time to do this podca podcast. <laughs> Not if... Sorry? Yeah, you can't get everybody at the right time. It's either middle of the night or early hours of the morning. Yeah. Bear branding. Hi, I'm in hell. I I mean hull, and it's four o five p.m. <laughs> Is that hell because you're currently editing a, a Crimson Guitars video, Bear, or? Uh... Hell because he's watching this and anticipating what he's going to get. <laughs> uh, yeah, there is that. Um, no, Bear is incredible. Okay. Let's tidy up the top of this headstock. Ed Robson. Ed Robson says, I'm in Swindon, and it's approximately 1999. <laughs> I really enjoyed 1999. <laughs> Forrest Pfeiffer says, OK, just got in from work. You can start now. What do you mean you've already started? <laughs> You're a bit late, Forrest. Uh, you've reached us at a good point, though. Actually, so that's a very good point. So uh, let's do a little recap. And... Uh, Oh yeah, Bear, since you're watching, make sure to uh, to edit in the fact that this is a, a this car is going to be available for via raffle and in fact is ending uh, the day that this edit goes live. Um, I've also put the link in the um, live chats a couple of times and I will... Cool, fantastic. Um, all right, so this guitar was originally started three live streams ago, so... Uh, it has now been about 26 hours of streaming so far, which actually isn't bad going for a full through neck custom, 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 custom guitar with all sorts of stuff going on. Um, you guys uh, answered a whole load of polls specifying what I was going to do. <clears throat> I didn't disagree with too much. Uh, <laughs> and it's all, it's all happening. We're using Bond Electric Light fretboard from the Bond factory when it closed. It was given to me by a fan. And uh, there's an aluminium top, a rosewood top, underneath that, an interstitial piece, mahogany wings, a multi, uh, multi piece uh, flame maple and veneer through neck. It has got, or is going to have, three P90s and a headless tremolo system. Although I say headless, uh, it's technically a misnomer because there are these locking tuner kind of things that aren't really tuners, they're just locks that look like tuners. So it does have a headstock of sorts, which is a bit of a pity. But that's the guitar so far. Now at this stage, the top is glued in and curing. I'm playing around a little bit with the headstock prior to uh, declamping and well, I want to finish today, I want to finish the body shape and so we can absolutely see exactly what is going to be won by somebody. And the odds are really good. There's only a couple of thousand tickets being sold uh, for this raffle. So, yeah. Uh, we've got Gody the Roadie says it's called... Name. It's called BCWT, Ben Crow Work Time. Ben Crow Work Time. I think for the uh, the length, the duration of this build, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's just I I can build a guitar in six hours. I absolutely can. Um, I've done it, just. But it was also <coughs> a very basic guitar, not really. Yeah. 
not up, not really up to much. Forrest Pfeiffer says you're going to wish you'd wiped the drips off this side of the guitar. <coughs> Please excuse me. Um, this dust is now making the cough a little bit worse. I am going to remove the drips off the side of the guitar with a bandsaw. Um, <laughs> yeah, if I did sand this whole thing down thinking that it was the final shape, but it actually isn't. Uh, so, yeah, no, there's going to be a lot more sanding and, and work done shortly. <laughs> Dust. I should probably be wearing a mask. Uh, now, tell me, everybody, hmm, what, tutorial-wise, and you're going to have to take notes to leave her, Short tutorials, something that I can film quickly and easily with this setup that would make your life better. Um, I want to do a weekly Guitar Building 101 series that is just something that doesn't take too much of my time but is fundamentally useful to you. Things like sharpening scrapers and chisels and planes and things like that, I have done before but I will redo. Um, things like designing a headstock for example or working out the uh, a neck break angle <sighs> write all of those down to leave i will try um yeah just let me know what you think okay soul machine says hi i'm watching from from the past ben put your gloves on <laughs> Don't make him cough. You killed me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, wait, I should have said you slay me. Because that would have been funny. Uh, Mark okay. Ellis, thanks for the inspiration, Ben. Just returned my first customer repair on a mandolin randomly. They were thrilled to bits. I'd never taken it on. I'd never have taken it on without finding the Crimson Channel first. Cheers. Thank you very much. That makes me happy. Okay. So what I can do... <laughs> ben does PPE. Drop the guitar. Hey! <laughs> Let's not do that. Something... <laughs> We're fine. Okay. I'm just not going to be able to do this, am I? Damn. Camera three for the win. Yeah, I like this headstock. Sorry, did I interrupt you during a question? Mm, don't think so. There are some super chats. Okay. Um, Franz, again, thank you again for another super chat. Totally different note. I think in order to be a true guitar collector, you should at least have a lefty in the collection. Just to remind you that you might have a lefty friend who wants to jam with you when visiting. This, this involves a pretty big assumption. Uh, that being that I have friends. <clears throat> And that being you would have friends who would want to jam with you? <laughs> no, um, 
I would love a social life. Um, I used to have a social life. I remember it fondly. Um, oh, look, little birds, Lita. Um, no, I can't move the camera fast enough. They're flying fast. Yes. Um, yeah, marriage, children, multiple children, and pets and things. Um, sort of put pay to that, but. Uh, I see your point, and I think you're probably right. Yeah, you should have a left handed guitar. And I've got one just for you. <laughs> Do you know what we should, Talitha, that guitar that I made for... Sky. For Sky... Sky... Yeah, the Sky TV, whatever it was. As a project, I should take that, put it back together. We've harvested it for parts recently. Recently, yeah. Yeah, you should leave. It. We should refurbish that and then uh, uh, try and find some left-handed person who actually wants it. Okay. <laughs> Austerian, or A-U-S-T-E-R-Y-M-N. I'm never going to get that right. Okay. Uh, he was wallpapering earlier. Yes. Right. So he says, Ben, my wife has just noticed I've finished my decorating and is making me go for a quick walk. Stop for an hour and start when I get back. Rick. Um, I think that you need to introduce your wife to the, uh, to the live stream. Um, would it help if I mentioned her by name? And uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I kind of am currently stopped. I'm I'm just working on the headstock, which is sort of slow bits and pieces, uh, while we wait literally wait for glue to dry. Um, so yeah, there is there is that tiny square. Terry Love, I think this is a tutorial idea. Guitars, uh, more sanding is always needed. No, that's the comment from the drips down the side. Yeah, more sanding so, is always needed. Um, people asking where the chickens are and how the cows are. Okay, so we've got no cows at the moment. Um, which is uh, which is good. And sadly, a fox got spaghetti noodle doodle do. So there is just one uh, chicken at the moment, and she's 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 sad. And that makes me sad. Um, so she, <laughs> although, so here's the, here's the, the not sad part. Our neighbors on that side had about a dozen chickens. Our neighbors on that side had about eight chickens and we had two. And Caramel is the sole survivor. Oh no. Just literally. I did so wonder why it was so quiet. I think she is... Actually, a chicken to be feared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shame. Mm. Okay. So, uh, so there we go. I'm marking out. This headstock is very, very, very chunky still, and it's it's not. Um, <sighs> not ideal. Since you just had. The pencil in your hand. Yes. Eduardo Caraccio says, Ben, are you aware there's an eraser at the top of your pencil? I've never seen you use it. Um, I, I am aware it's there. Uh, I use it on paper, but wood is so abrasive that it just eats through it in seconds. You can actually buy replacement eraser bits for it, though, uh, which is uh, good to know. Okay, this headstock is very chunky. It's more chunky than I want it to be. It doesn't need to be quite so huge. Caramel is a chicken Rambo. <laughs> she really is. Um, the problem is the puppies also like the idea of eating her, which, uh, oh, sure. well, not the puppies, uh, Pippin in particular. He doesn't actually eat her, he just sort of chases and then uh, uh, tries to pull out feathers. 
no. but that's it's not it's not ideal. Poor Jimmy. I think out of all of my uh, pets, and she's she's pretty much my favourite. R.I.P. Spaghetti Noodle Doodle Doo. Yeah, it's incredibly sad. I was uh, most unhappy. Yeah. JC has a super chat with a tutorial idea. Oh yes. Which I think you've done in the past in a series. Could you do a video on how to do a refret on a job, not a new job, removing existing frets on a guitar and refretting it? Yes, so I've done that. I have done that in the past and I haven't done it particularly well. Wow, this, this plane needs to be sharpened. Uh, so yes, that is something that uh, I will do. I, I did a refret. I have done it a few times, but I will find something that requires some serious work and do that. Fast swipe. Who? Fast swipe. Fast wipe. Okay, I misheard that. Uh, Five dollars super chat. Thank you. You have great vids on how to calculate neck break angle, but it would be super useful to have a vid on various methods for applying the angle. Okay. That is a good point. It's a weird angle to plane at, I tell you. Did I just go to the trouble of using the square, which I've now put away, to draw lines on the edge of the headstock and then plane them all off? I think I did. I think you did. Okay, well, let's do that again. You will stay on that workbench. Just because it's the greatest name, could there ever be a spaghetti noodle doodle, doodle do, do too? Two? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and lots of people saying, yep, yes, yes, you did. I want to go one better and I want to get a few of them and we'll have spaghetti noodle doodle do too as spaghetti noodle doodle doodle tutu. Tutu. Two, two. <laughs> <laughs> so you need 24 Spaghetti chicken. noodle doodle do two and spaghetti noodle doodle do two two. So we've got two of them that are called two. And they're sort of interchangeable. <laughs> Just... Yes, it has to happen. Yes. How many people are watching this? Because at this stage, I think this is a little bit uh, masochistic. 1010. Okay, hi. Um, let's see if we can make this a little bit more fun. <clears throat> market bends, market fellas, a Ben blooper. RIP lines. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> that was a blooper. <clears throat> okay. So I've made the headstock a little bit more delicate in there. I'm thinking about. Once I have actually uh, drilled the holes, which we're going to do next, actually uh, angling the internal edges so it's faceted. Uh, yeah. So essentially, what side are you on? You're on this side, are you? Potentially we'll have that edge come out to here in a chamfer, front and back with the, with the uh, locking things going through the middle. And that will make the whole thing more spaceshipy and and cool. What do you think? <coughs> Off topic. Joshua has suggested sp spaghetti noodle doodle do part de. <laughs> Where is my... Huh. Okay, fine. 
Where's your what? I've got a crimson marking gauge tool. I just don't know exactly where it is. So uh, what I will do instead is I will show you this cool one. Um, so this is made by an engineer and it's got your up and down as you normally would, but then you lock that off like so, focus camera. And uh, you've got fine adjustment here. Isn't that a really cool tool? So yeah, anyway. Benjamin Aldrich says, right now those lines look like Vaporwave. I do not know what Vaporwave is. Oh, I found a small screwdriver. Um, this is not a screwdriver. This is, this, is, this is a ruler. I found a small screwdriver that looks like a ruler. Um, <laughs> and Spacey Shippy. Now there's a Benism. <laughs> okay. This is most awkward, people. Am I, am I losing it? I don't think you can lose what you've already lost. And no, Terry Ben never finishes the design right up until the time that he hands the guitar to the new owner. Correct. Ben, measure once, remark a hundred times. <laughs> no, that really didn't work. Okay, this is just awkward. Um, no, it did. That's weird. I'm working. I'm working from a weird angle because we've got weird angles, and we're clamped up. Uh, it's nearly an hour since this top glued, but I, I want to give it proper time. No, there is no such thing as letting uh, a good design idea be derailed by the fact that you thought you had the design nailed in in a previous episode. Where's, where's the fun in that? That's easier. You're not allowed to giggle like that without. I'm trying to find the original question because it was a. Um, someone's responding to someone else and saying thanks. Now I have to clean my screen from the chocolate milk I blew all over it, and I want to know <laughs> the reason for the chocolate milk. Okay. Uh, anyway, Craig, Craig H says, Ben, I'm buying some crimson guitar stains to try out staining leather because why not? Uh, it works very, <clears throat> it works very, very well. In fact, one of my jobs this weekend um, involved uh, taking a, a very, very dead leather sofa that we've had for, well, we've got three children and puppies, so it lasted about actually three or four years. But uh, before I took it, I was like, hand me my leather, man. And uh, the boys and I harvested about three or four aprons worth of really good quality, really thick leather from the sides and the back, etc. cetera. Um, so <clears throat> that being said, it's over this in the corner there. It's Tita, pass me, pass me one of those sort of chunks of leather there. Um, the Crimson Guitars, Spirit Stain in particular is really, really good. Thank you. Uh, at for staining leather. So yeah, this this was uh, this was the sofa for a long time, and uh, you've got. I mean, obviously there's some some seams and things that need to be redone, but I'm going to uh, good quality thick leather. I'm going to make a make an apron or two. Would you like to see that? As a video. Hell, would you like to see that as a product? Not necessarily X sofa aprons for sale at crimsonguitars.com, but uh, uh, aprons. So Benjamin Aldrich has explained now what Vaporwave is. Okay, yep. Uh, it's that trendy 80s punk and blue synth stuff everybody 
is doing right now with the lines and the palm trees and stuff. Vapor wave. V-A-P-O-R wave. Okay. And uh, welcome, E.R. Webster. It's a musical song. Sorry, you didn't get the notification that we were live. Oh, oh, we are sorry, man. Um, this is the one thing. So if we do this every single Monday, and our life is, hey, we're doing live streams every Monday, except and in August, early August, when I'm on holiday. Um, and everyone will know when to tune in. Everyone will know where it, where it is, and they'll tune in if they can. Okay, I've marked those out. It's centered. We're good. Uh, let's drill some holes, why don't we? Yeah, let's drill some holes. Um, you should see them coming through from the other side quite nicely with that view. Dramius de Draven says, I'd love to see Ben with a sewing machine. Ten. My so I so uh, yes, I I knew how to use sewing machines eleven or twelve years before I touched my first hand plane. Yeah, I used to use sewing machines when I was seven or eight, or from the age of six, seven, yeah. seven or eight onwards. Our so. mum ran her own business from home while we were very very young, and she was a seamstress, dressmaker. Uh, interior designer. That Dude. makes it sound a little bit less than it was. Um, at one point, we had, I seem to recall, four members of staff working. Mm. Um, I want to say in the basement. It wasn't really in the basement. <laughs> uh, the house was a, a, a. It was. <sighs> it was on the side. It of was the a hill. bungalow on the side of the hill. So you walked around the outside. And the hill went like that, and then there was this area under here that was a workshop, so whatever you want to call that. Anyway, here we go. Uh, 10 mil should do. So we've got some drilling to do. Now this is going to tear out potentially a little bit on the inside. Um, Mama Crow's sweatshop. No, it wasn't a sweatshop. I switch can't hear shop. you. <laughs> Bloody hell, this is a good drill bit. Okay, now, seriously, that was supposed to tear out. These are the, um, uh, they are Star M. These are the Star M drill bits that I got from Workshop Heaven. That was supposed to tear out. That's cool. Uh, normally I go from both sides, if at all possible, to stop that from happening. But anyway, sorry, Talitha, there was a question. Uh, someone's... Can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> You're a pig. I'm so sorry. Will said Mama Crow's sweatshop, which is only amusing ah. because at one point her main selling point was sweaters, sweatshirt, yeah. sweatshirts that she applied. It was it was heavily in the 80s. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was funny. Yep, I like it. And Benjamin Aldridge, we came to the UK. I'm trying to drill here. Sorry, we came to the UK in. 1999. Yeah. Yes. So we've been here for a while. Th I am thoroughly anglicised. Moment to leave though, like, when we lived in Africa, it was warm. And I'm like, oh, I would much rather have. Yeah, it's very nice. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> fine. Can I drill now? Uh, yeah, fine. <sighs> Thank you. Crapoli. Yeah, I did just say that. Please excuse me. No tear out. This is cool.
I mean, I knew these were good drill bits, I really did. I didn't realize I could do that. It's a function, I think, of how gentle the helicoidal shape is. Um, whereas my Famags are the opposite. They've got really, really intense um, curve to it. I didn't want to say helicoidal shape again, but that's what it is. And that pulls it through when you go through and has the opposite effect. So two different drill bits for two different things. And uh, this is really good. Uh, you took a breath like you wanted to talk to me, Talitha. I do. Can't hear you. Shui Lian says, can we get a close-up of the angles on the tip of that drill bit? Yes. Oh. And Jamie says, Ben, stop talk, stop working so we can talk. <laughs> okay, um, I'll get you another one. That's even so. The largest one I've got. It's a set that goes in, goes three, four, five, and then from there in half millimeter increments up to twelve millimeters. And uh, uh, so that's it there. And uh, just out of interest. So that's roughly the same, actually, as a standard twist drill, but it's got beautiful geometry here and beautiful teeth for what that's worth. <laughs> and then now. Benjamin Aldridge says, yeah, Ben, geez, we don't come here to see you build stuff. <laughs> Um, oh, here we go. So here is, um, I'm just going to ignore that comment. Uh, here <laughs> is an old brace drill bit. And this, how tight that pattern is, is close to what it's like on the FAMAG. And what that means is that when the FAMAG drill bits pull through something, they tend to pull. And that's a, a bit of an issue. Um, in other, um, in all other respects, the Famag are mind-blowingly good drill bits. Um, like, yeah, better than these, but anyway, uh, put this one away. I'm going to have to disappoint you guys and actually do some work. <laughs> if I can, if I can reach, okay, let's tidy up a little bit. Let's get the plan out of the way. Don't need that. I didn't mean to turn my back on you, sorry. Camera three. There we go. Lewis Duke, suggestion, fireside chats with Ben. <laughs> um, keep me in nice whiskey or... Uh... Do you know what, I don't, think I've, I don't think I've ever in my life drunk brandy, come to think of it. I feel like the fireside chat with Brandy is probably... So obviously I'm not pushing through very hard. That one chipped a little bit, actually. It must also be a function of the uh, the grain. That one was, I think, perfect. Ben isn't a Brit, he's an African. I am Canadian, actually. And Mark Guitar wants crimson branded brandy. <laughs> now that's a business, brandedbrandy.com. Yeah. 
I like alliteration, it, it amuses me. Okay, so. Yes, uh, we are Canadian by birth and grew up in Southern Africa. But uh, hold no actual <sighs> regard necessarily for the country. Okay, so I've managed to drill the holes at... I measured that at ten and a half... At sort of 9.6 millimeters so I went for a 10 mil drill bit and of course it's a little bit too precise. Don't know what that accent was, please forgive me. Robin Fawcett says, Ben, do you have a very well developed sense of the horizontal? <laughs> I do. Thank you for noticing. Um, I'll tell you what I do not have and that is a nice uh, All. All? Auger? Gimlet? What's the word I'm looking for? It's a round thing that you can use to make holes bigger. You had loads of those. A reamer. There are, but you can it's tell that you watch a lot. Uh, there's a... This is an old reamer that was a, a drill, but it's, no, it's far too... Far too much. I don't have a ten and a half mil. <laughs> Thank you everyone who said Rima. <laughs> I do think I'm a little bit tired at this point. No, I don't have a good quality Rima here. So that is a problem. I'm going to take my ten mil, go in and just gently widen these holes out a little bit. Um, with regards to drilling horizontally, the, the most important thing to do is as you go in, watch what the drill bit cuts as it hits the surface. And if you cut on one side before you get to the other, adjust accordingly. That's that's. Before you start, sorry. Did yeah. That on purpose. John Savage asks, is it an optical illusion that the hole closest to the tip of the headstock appears to be out of line with the other two? Maybe from this side. Um, there is a, um, a little bit of... You've got very good eyes. It's a little bit smaller at the, in the central section there than the other ones. Good point. This feels awkward. All right. Now with that done. <laughs> yes. S. John M. 81 says a bry and brandy. Love a good bry. I do. I do too. That's too big. And mum's cousin Caroline is in the comments. <laughs> Hi Caroline. Um, so step drills are amazing. If you don't have a step drill in your life, you need one. Cody the roadie, yeah, thank you. He asked a little while ago, could you use a step drill? And <laughs> he was correct. So I've just opened that out with the step drill, and I'm now going in with the ten and a half mil star M. Which it turns out was the drill bit that I should have used earlier. One, this username is amazing. OK. 
Okay. The steamy cream of dual jabba says strip drill step drills aren't as cool as my real drill. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, I, I said it and I wanted to come up with some sort of a joke and uh, I couldn't think of anything, so you did it for me. Yeah, caution headphone users, those uh, squeaks are very loud. Okay, I'll go slower. Didn't, didn't help. One more to go. There we go. All right, that should be it. Couple of super chats. Okay, feed me. Terry Love says, make it a rum and I'm in. Crimson branded rum. Ah, yeah, no, I had some really nice rum over Christmas. Mm -mm. Yeah. And JS Trucking wants to know if you've asked for the results from the last poll yet. What was the last poll? I feel like I should be worried. Um, finishing the live build next week oh, or tomorrow yeah very good point uh what are the results 60 percent tomorrow oh screw you guys <laughs> uh, okay and the poll nearly an hour ago. yeah so you should have um you should end polls after about five minutes or so actually oh, we, okay. sh we shouldn't keep them up for, for quite so long uh See, you and Tom didn't leave a list of instructions. We were too busy building it out. Yeah. The poll on Instagram for whether they'd watch a weekly live stream on Mondays is 62% yes. Okay. So yeah, the break angle on this one is going to be a little annoying. I thought that was a bit higher than it is. Come on. I've got enough blanks. Surely I've got enough blanks. Alt Grendel is now calling me Tax, and he says, I'm, <laughs> I'm really enjoying the live stream with both you and Bun. I think Tax works quite well, actually. Am I taxing on your mental stability? Something like that. And Toby Duffin says, tomorrow, do it, do it, do it. It would be very nice to actually finish something for a change. It really would. Um, okay. How many people have we got viewing at the moment? Uh, 1,107. Okay. So we've got almost straight string pull. Uh, what I need to do here is... I think pull this whole thing in a little bit. To, to improve the string ball. And it'll probably be the same on both sides. And the, the break angle's a little bit extreme, so I'm probably gonna have to bevel in these areas as well, but that's fine. I want it to look more delicate and more beveled and all that jazz anyway. So yeah, this should be quite cool. Thor Crowley says, these live streams are just awesome, but Bun and family is just unbeatable. Love the witty comments. I've got nothing funny to say to that. <laughs> yeah, okay, so that's going to have to be... Need a little bit more room in these corners here. Okay, so that's this is this is good. This is good. I know... I know what I'm doing now, uh, I think, to a certain extent. Uh, Jolie of 
official has asked repeatedly, what about the hand tool only build travel guitar? I, I don't know what you're talking about. What, what, are, they, what are they talking about? Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I hid the plans. He can't finish that. Not until he's finished this. <laughs> no. Uh, so, yeah, I really, really, really... The, the whole beginning of this year has been about getting the, uh, the tool shop moved to Crimson, which is... It's there, it's there now. Uh, not quite fully done, but it, it's, it's there. And my daughter's build and the hand tool build sort of fell by the wayside. This was supposed to be one day. This was supposed to be a quick, easy, one-day film, super Reddit, give a guitar away via raffle. Go and enter the raffle if you haven't yet. And be done, and it's turned into, so far, three days, probably going to be four days. It'll be a 40-hour build by the time we're done, I'm sure. So, yeah, stuff to do. Yeah, stuff to do. Um, anyway, the, the hand tool build will recommence... JS Trucking. Next week. Super chat. Famous last words by Ben. I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> you got that right. Um, yeah, you, you got that right, sir. And Matt F says, time for a bad joke. Ready? Go on. If Ben did a series on baking wood, would it be called bun in the oven <laughs> terrible okay fine uh okay what a <coughs> death do you need some more water or another coffee uh no, no you are not allowed to make me coffee um <laughs> I'm, thank you i'm all right Benjamin Aldridge, this was supposed to be a one day and Ben Brevity Crow in a statement <laughs> released this evening. I want to change my name officially. <laughs> I want to change my name. Uh, okay. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Forrest, can we rename Ben to Wen Crow? <laughs> okay. Ow. Sanded myself. I'm just cleaning this random nut. I know what I'm doing now. Definitely needs to be on a t-shirt. Can we say I know what I'm doing now dot 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 honest? Uh, or maybe that goes on the back. Yep. There. Can we get on that? <laughs> Okay, so the I, I want as close to possible to straight string pull uh, as I can get, and I thought that we had designed that into the into the plans, but as it stands, that isn't actually the case. So uh, that's a little bit wider on that side. At this point, I'm going to spot glue. I'm going to spot glue this nut in place. It's not perfect, there needs to be a little bit more work done there, but uh, we're, we're good. Accelerator. And then I'm going to use the crimson. Okay, so that's where the outside strings want to be. Bear says one day build, but the day was never specified. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. What am I doing? <laughs> Benjamin Aldridge again. For a bloke obsessed with watches, he really doesn't have much of a concept of time, does he? <laughs> that, that, that's why I need the watches. <laughs> a constant reminder of my failings. Thank you very much. One, two, three, four, five. I've also forgotten how to count. <laughs> Strom Thor says, even my coffee doesn't get roasted as heavily as Ben. I deserve it, though. Ooh, JS Trucking's brought up something. Don't. 
He says, Super Chat, I thought we all said to use a brass nut in the initial polls. I have no memory of that, um, but that's not actually, this isn't, this isn't the nut, this is a nut. Um, this is just something that I'm marking out now to work out how far off I am. What have I done? It's because I'm talking to you guys. Here you go, look, I'm using the, uh, the eraser. <laughs> I started from the wrong wrong mark. That's the outside one. <sighs> yes, sorry, this is a temporary nut. I just want to work out where my straight string pull will actually be. Bear says he's already sketching the t-shirt idea. He's cool. A lot of people jumping in your defense and saying the one day build obviously means it will be finished one, one day. day. I like it. Okay, that is close enough. Uh, Paul Needs says, you did build in straight strings, but I don't think either the horizontal or the rosewood neck parts were considered. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's in the vertical that's the issue. It's this, it's this line that's not doing what I expected it to do. So that there is a good three millimeters off, which isn't actually an issue. Yes, Paul, C Paul Cook, it's not the nut nuts nut, it's just a stunt nut. So this is still not going to be straight string pull. It's going to be a much more delicate, much more delicate headstock, which is good because that's what I want. And it's going to be closer to. That's almost perfect. That's three mil splay. That's three mil out. This is, whoop, hold on, that's perfect. That's two, three mil out. Somehow that seems to think it's perfect, but the other one's gone three mil out. That shouldn't be geometrically possible. Anyway, that's what the headstock's going to look like. So we're doing a live stream tomorrow then, Talitha, are we? You're supposed to be a Crimson First thing, filming, photographing, photographing some stuff. How long would that take you? Uh, the drive there and back, and half an hour to... I don't know where the setup in Crimson is for photographing, so... <clears throat> <laughs> it could be a couple of hours at least. So we could potentially, just for interest's sake, say live stream tomorrow but starting at midday. Potentially. I honestly feel super guilty about all of these people setting alarms for three o'clock in the morning. And that one guy whose wife found him asleep on his chair. <laughs> Watching the live stream, that was, that was one of my favorite comments ever. <laughs> um, okay. 
Okay, so I've, I've figured out where I went wrong with the headstock here. I, I need to pull it all in a little bit. Uh, I could countersink the locking sections if I wanted to, but I don't. Uh, I just want delicacy. Um, I am... I am going to take five minutes. Somebody's fed me far too much uh, caffeine and water. And uh, Talitha will keep you entertained. And when I get back, we will declamp this guitar body and finalize the shape of this guitar, cut the headstock a little bit, plane that down. In the next half an hour, you are going to see just how awesome this build is. Um, it's going to be cool. Tilith is sniggering away in the corner like Muttley. Uh, Benjamin Aldridge says it's currently 3.01 a.m. Have you no shame, sir? <laughs> I mean, you could set your alarm for 5.30 and I could start. No, um, I used to be like you. I used to have unlimited energy to do things that I wanted to do. I, when I set up Crimson and before Talitha or anybody else was involved, I used to, and I had a child actually, no, pre-children, pre, pre I would wake up at the crack of half past nine be in the workshop from 10, take 30 or so photographs during the day for the blog with a B, Can you, that's how old I am, and uh, at six o'clock stop, go up, have dinner, say hi to my wife, uh, and uh, at sort of eight, 8.30 start the blog, which was a daily thing where I would take the 30 or so photographs of what I'd built, put a sentence for each one, publish that, and then up until about two o'clock in the morning, work on websites and galleries and editing photos and all of that sort of stuff. <sighs> and now I stay up till two in the morning instead. That's your choice, though. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, anyway, I, I do have shame. I'm so sorry. I'm just going to take it off. Okay, I'll be back up in half a Grooving Drums says, knowing Ben and his time tracking, I'm pretty sure he is not used to Earth's 24-hour cycle. Aha! You got me! I'm a Martian. <laughs> uh, Venusian, which is the furthest away, Pluto. Yeah, my year, my days. Uh, I'm stuck by the camera. Actually, I was supposed to put this camera on so you can talk to the no. people. Hi. Oh, hi. See you closer. No. Here you go. It's not a super close up, it's, it's from there to there. Okay. okay. Thank you. I'm going to have to make it a super close up if you want. Um, yeah, Pluto's orbit is massive, isn't it? Uh, back in the you would know. Greg, uh, you've had trouble entering the raffle. Please email Crimson, office at crimsonguitars.com, and we'll get in touch with the raffle site because we really want to use them to raffle the GGBO guitars. But if there are issues, we need to know now so that we can get them fixed for the challenge this year and getting feedback from you will really help us with that. Um, no pranks, he didn't even notice the first one. <laughs> Hide something. Super glue something to his work. <laughs> uh, raffle site. So the guitar that he's currently building will be raffled. Um, the raffle will end on the 22nd. And I will put the link to the current raffle in the comments again so that you can find it. Um, and the plan is he would quite regularly like to use the site to raffle future guitar builds as a way, um, yeah. 
Hide the isotunes. Hide the guitar. It's a bit big. Those Bessie clamps are cumbersome. Take his second smallest plane. Those things are tiny. Yellow car. Where is it? Ah, it, yes. Earlier, someone asked, and that is Bumblebee. Put it. Hmm. This workshop is very hard to navigate. <laughs> no, I don't want to put super glue on his isotunes. Thank you. Uh, no, I've never attempted to build a guitar. I thought it would be quite funny to get Ben to teach me how to build a guitar. Um, I don't know how well that would go. He's... yeah, it could be interesting. He's not going to notice that. Take the gimbal while you can. <laughs> the workshop is easier to navigate than Ben's mind. I saw you working around the workshop. Really? I saw you walk, I saw you move to the other side, you stood my pencil. Yeah. Well, you're always raving about it. <laughs> Blame you. <laughs> yes, you. Yeah, Benjamin Aldrich, not the graph gear. That's a declaration of war. <laughs> I, the problem is I lose them on such a regular... Microphone. Uh, I lose the graph gears, or at least put it down and forget where it is, on such a regular... So you have multiple. ...schedule, that I have another one <laughs> behind me at all times, because I love them so much. That's how much I love it. Uh, in the workshop I've got two. Um, nice yeah. try, a nice try. It was just poor timing. Yeah, but you, it was didn't, poor timing. you didn't spot the first thing I did, so oh, it's fine. I haven't spot the first thing yet. Damn it. All right. It's kind of the case of uh, someone's expecting a prank, so you don't Watch my do left anything. hand. Watch my left hand. Punch. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, the interesting thing is... You start at Crimson tomorrow, Talitha. Mm -hmm. I start the live stream. And I just join you later. I have finally got my wife to say, yes, I'll do it. That'll be fun. And I said, well, okay, all you need to do is be amusing and comments and stuff and she's like well I'm not sure if I can be amusing but I can embarrass the shit out of you <laughs> so, 
so I've only need to come until like three o'clock in the afternoon. No, I'll be texting you saying, save me, save me. Um, <laughs> she doesn't want to be on video either. She doesn't want to actually be seen on camera, which mm. is which is fair enough. But um, uh, yeah, so the question is, uh, do a poll, do a poll, please. Uh, do we start at 10 a.m. or do we start at 11 a.m.? I think... Mm. Do we start at 10.30 or 11? <laughs> Let's do that. No, 10 or 11. 10 or 11 tomorrow, let's see. And it's time to declamp. Is it not? Yes, it is. Okay, so this was glued up at 3.30. It's now actually a, nearly a quarter past five. So really, that's, uh, that's doing well. We got up an 11, 11, 11, early, 11, sleep in, 10, I've got an exam. Luke, good luck with your exam. Good luck. Bring the wife, let her wear a mask. It's all the fashion these days. <laughs> JS Trucking Super Chat. Ooh, good. Now we get all the juicy details. From Tanya. There are no juicy details. I don't have a life outside of this. Um, anyway, uh, I need to move the cameras around so that we can do a nice couple of shots or two. So someone asked a question earlier in the day and I never got around to asking you. Okay. And to paraphrase, since you hate the stuff so much, why do you have steel wool in your workshop? Because it was caught on camera earlier. That's a very good point. Um, so I really do hate steel wool. I do not use it for anything. But uh, I also really, 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 really hate throwing things away if it's got a use, potentially. Uh, I have that steel wool because... <sighs> One day I want to put it on a bit of rope, set it on fire and go... <laughs> because that would make a cool video and the children would really enjoy it and it would be thoroughly irresponsible. The coolest I have ever looked in my entire life was I had some steel wool on the workbench and this was pre me filming everything and I was using an angle grinder to cut something, uh, making a workbench or something, I don't know, and the sparks uh, went onto the steel wool which caught on fire and it started smouldering. <clears throat> So I grabbed the end that wasn't on fire and ran outside. And uh, there was a stonemason outside his workshop using his ankle rider. He looked up to see me run out of my workshop and throw a fireball <laughs> out of the workshop. Because the second I started running, it started going... And I hit the outside with all of the oxygen to throw it. And it just went... I looked like a freaking superhero. And that, that, and that was it. That was, I peaked. It I peaked really early. <laughs> um, anyway, let's declamp. Let's let's declamp this. Thor Crowley says I really need to prepare a physics lecture for my students, but this is way too much fun. Way physics camera. Um, <laughs> If you change the weight distribution of a guitar while it's on a bench, things will fall off. Um, I, uh, okay. No, let's take this one off. And Sergeant Dimple super chat. Sergeant says, Dimple. Oh my god. Says I want all a those, pet cat called Sergeant Dimple. All those clamps mean there's time for more coffee. There is always time for more coffee. Um, I do want to sleep tonight. I concentrate. Okay. For some reason, two nights in a row, I have not slept at all. It's gearing up to a full moon. Does that influence you? Yes, I am a lunatic. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's balanced. We're cool. 
Terry Love Super Chat says steel wool across a nine volt battery bushcraft fire starting. Yes, that's a very, very good point. But how many people carry steel wool? And a nine volt battery. I couldn't figure out um, about a year ago, I <laughs> couldn't figure out why my leg was hot when I was in a car. I thought that it was just, it was a summer day. And it turned out that I had a nine volt battery in my pocket because, you know, that was you clever. Fool. And uh, it was shorting on a, a screw or something else in my pocket and heating up the screw, which was starting to burn my leg. So bear that in mind. Wow. Woohoo! It didn't even glue too hard. Would you look at that? Watch and Learn <laughs> says, I haven't heard you digress lately. Is something wrong? Are you okay? I was declamping while talking about the fact that I hadn't slept in two days. This would make a quite cool battle axe. And then the original No, 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 no. You're interrupting my perfect di digression. Would this not make an excellent weapon? Yeah, but that spike is towards it's... you. <laughs> yeah. Thunk it on my head. <laughs> sorry, I just had to carry on. Interrupt my digression with a digression. I'm sorry. It's fine. The original wax gargoyle says the man who drinks coffee continually asks why he's not sleeping. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I do tend to stop drinking the coffee at a relatively reasonable hour. I do stop. Um, I tend to stop drinking coffee at around about two o'clock in the afternoon. Maybe that's too late. Anyway, let us tidy up the workbench before much else happens. Uh, what is this pole saying? Let's give it another, well, what does it say? And then I'll choose. 62% 11 a.m. Okay, I thought, I thought an 11 o'clock start would probably make sense. It means... Squirrel. Which one? Um, pew pew! What is the difference between 11 o'clock in the morning and a six o'clock in the evening stop? How long does that give me to build? Please tell me, somebody work it out who can actually think straight at this point in their day. Seven hours. Seven hours. Yeah. <laughs> the original wax gargoyle says, full disclosure, after his comment about coffee, um, I probably drink way more than you. It's, I, I have a reputation. I've had two, I've only had six, seven cups of coffee today. Um, my wife stops at two. Okay, I am seriously starting to, are you starting to see what this guitar is going to look like? Because I can see it. Uh, if you haven't entered the raffle yet, please do. Strider R. Halsey Ride, I don't know what the heck, says math, give me more math. What is the square root of, why the hell did I just cut myself on the pointy, pointy, pointy ends? I just had to pull my skin off that. <sighs> to I push that button. There we go. That is very pointy. Um... Yeah, I'm not good at the whole mathematics, mathematics thing. Okay. Ben Tyman says, will you cut away the rosewood and the body then to match the aluminium? No. No, I shall not do that. Not in the slightest. Not on your nelly. 
the camera four. So that's the plan, the aluminium in the centre with the rosewood there. Uh, I now need to trace that out. So uh, yeah, I can do it accurately. Uh, Polsky Walker says, show us the gap from the neck in the aluminium. You mean that embarrassing mistake that I made? Yeah. Where it sort of slipped up a little bit. Uh, there you go, so you can't quite see uh, in this light, but it's about a two millimetre gap. So, yeah, I'm really surprised. The al aluminium is relatively flexible and under tension it's just moved. There's even a little gap here around the edge here. So, yeah. Not ideal. Watch and learn. If you do the next instalment of Ben talking about coffee and builds and aluminium guitar, and I live in Arizona, US, what time must I wake up to view it? Oh, that was a math question for. <laughs> ah, Strider, Hell's Rider, thank you. Oh, is this big enough? I actually, yes, excellent. There it is. And you haven't found the bee yet. The bee. The bee. I'm choosing to ignore that statement. Eli Enders says, place the neck P90 up against the neck fretboard and then you don't need to deal with the gap. I have, I have considered that. You are a wise, wise person, and I think that might end up being you okay? the case. Yeah, I'm just, just dropping stuff. You know, it's a habit. <laughs> Thank you, Vincent. Yes, as Ben always says, make it a feature. Yep. We'll see. I do like the idea of uh, a few layers of of aluminium. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Super chat from JS Trucking. Uh, here's an idea that your shirt just gave me a Godzilla inspired build. Godzilla. Um, Could be incredibly cool. I think that was my phone. No, it's mine. It's your phone. Okay. Yeah. You. Mom's irritated with me. Why is your mother irritated with you? When somebody's in trouble, then she's your mother, not our mother. It's a <laughs> whole thing. Okay. Mark Reeves says, architect here, you are drawing on the wrong side of your trace paper. Corners won't roll up if the curl faces down. What's that gentleman's name? Mark Reeves. Mark Reeves, you're far too smart for me. Um, uh, somebody else actually said this yesterday, and I really do enjoy learning from people and didn't internalize this fact, uh, which makes me feel a bit silly. Hell, it might even have been you. Paul C says, I'm hoping for a Discworld inspired build. Hell yes. So we are not far from the Discworld Emporium in uh, Wincanton, which sadly is still not actually reopened to the public at least since um yeah they're only doing online now and um appointments yeah that's a pity anyway i spoke to them at 
some length actually about collaborating and potentially doing some work with them but um yeah that didn't that didn't pan out yet due to covid okay just for fun send a line uh jules a member asks hey ben how can i solve this problem I measured, measured, measured. My center line no longer matches my Floyd Rose. The sides are on the fretboard at different distances from the edge. Help. Say, say that all over again. I measure, measure, measured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got that bit. My central line no longer matches my Floyd Rose. The sides are on the fretboard at different distances from the edge. That's word for word. So essentially your fret, is your fretboard itself centered? So, <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> it, it sounds like a, a common problem, although I don't understand that last bit about the fretboard. Um, if you could clarify, uh, that would be great. I, there are times when you just need to bite the bullet and and say, okay, this Floyd Rose is going to be slightly off center. And it just is what it is. Um, although if your fretboard is what the problem is, uh, hopefully you're able to move the neck slightly sideways um, and do some fitting or stuff. Uh, if necessary, send us an email with photographs to stream at crimsonguitars.com and we'll try to uh, try to help. Um, especially since you're a, a member, of, a, a YouTube member. Okay. Look at that. The, it's, it's my, the paper's flat now. <laughs> Go figure. I taped it into submission. Okay. I'm excited about this bit. I'm starting to get a little bit tired and sore. But. There we go. There's a question explicitly for me. Okay, is it explicit? No. Good. Question for Talitha. Been trying to find a recipe for old-fashioned icing, the crunchy type after it dries, not the oily that you find most places. Um, royal icing. So I haven't made it for a very long time, but you can either get the icing ready-made that you just add water to royal you, icing royal icing or you can make it <clears throat> three egg whites 600 grams of icing sugar a teaspoon of liquid glucose and a little teaspoon of lemon juice and the liquid glucose means that it doesn't dry hard hard but when it dries on your cake it's going to give a really nice crust Icing guitar. <laughs> I've got enough issues with uh, my diet as it, as it is. Okay, so essentially nothing, nothing. It comes out there to about here. And to about there. And it goes from there to here. there okay I want to get rid of that Yeah, that's about right already. That mahogany there is actually almost right at that stage. But again, we can, we can change 
and adjust and grow. So doing this runs the risk of pinging the whole thing off. I don't want to ping the whole thing off. A great Atuan themed bass guitar would be awesome. Yes, it really would. But how do I make four elephants? I can help you with that. You could actually, that's a very good point. Talitha is actually an excellent sculptor. I actually made you a guitar shaped cake for your 30th. You did, it was huge. It was nearly life size. Uh, no, I don't play guitar. I was learning how to play piano when we were younger. Um. Two super chats. Fantastic. From David Loveland, Hi, David. a Hail Mary inspired build. <laughs> Not sure what it would look like though. Uh, the question is. <laughs> I was going to say, the question is, what would it sound like? Because uh, the alien in Hail Mary, uh, his language is entirely audible. In fact, he doesn't see anything, uh, he doesn't have eyes. So, uh, what would it look like? Maybe a spider? Um, Hail Mary is uh, a recent book by Andy Weir, the gentleman who wrote The Martian, and uh, my seven-year-old and I have just finished listening to it. It's like the third time I've listened to it in, in a few months, actually. It's a very, very, very good book. Um, yeah. Rob Phoenix Super Chat. Can you do a tutorial on working with that leather? And can you do it before the start of GGBO 22? I may need it. Um, I'm not, uh, I'm not an expert anymore in, in that sort of stuff, but I do think that I would be able to hold my own. Um, I would like to make myself a nice leather apron uh, for no other reason than I think leather aprons look cool as. And uh, if I've got, if I'm wearing an apron all the time, uh, my microphone won't be on my collar here, thus making noise. So, yeah, there is that. Win win. Win win. Okay, sorry, I'm. Uh, Getting quieter as I concentrate. Tia Buxton says, change camera so we can see a bit better. Sorry, camera three. No, let's move camera, let's move camera three over this side. And JC is st says, still holding out for the Dune guitar. Okay, I, I really, really, really like the idea of a Dune guitar. Really, really. Uh, Strider Hells Rider, does art run in the family in any way? Um, our dad is a woodworker and odd job skills, carpentry. Um, multi multi skilled. Multi skilled. He was even worked in a shoe factory. Doing the technical design drawings. Yeah. Um, machinist. Many years ago because he's he, old, old, old. He repaired. I said it like that because there's a chance that he's watching. <laughs> um, Mum's done, done everything from cooking and catering to dressmaking and um, our grandmothers. Granny on our mother's side was a dressmaker, doll maker, sculptor, painter. Very talented sculptor. Wrists, 
sculptor, sculptress. Very, yeah. Um, and our grandmother on our father's side was an artist too, painting, uh, embroidery. So yeah, it runs in the family. I need another clamp. Drop D Tuning says, somebody mentioned it before, but it would be interesting to see Talitha building a guitar guided by Ben. Could be a fun, long series. I do not think that Talitha needs any guidance. If she decides to build a guitar, she could be locked in this workshop on her own with the internet <laughs> for things like, you know, fret positionings and things like that. And how do I use this hand play? <laughs> you would be absolutely capable. I think I've got the theory. I don't have the practical. Yeah, no, so there is a physical experience of this is how you use a hand plane, of course. Mm. But um, you wouldn't even necessarily need to use a hand plane. Um, if, you, if you just had to build a guitar. Um, <clears throat> I'm doing this at this stage because the epoxy hasn't fully cured. If I leave it much longer, uh, it's going to be problematic. There have been comments of one comment in particular, and I'm sorry I didn't catch the name, but they really like your offset chisel. Yeah. You can't have it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Uh, uh, I've owned VintageToolShop.com for four odd years. We have listed for sale well over 40,000 tools now. Um, and in all that time, we've only had two cranked chisels come in. This is one of them. Of course. It's amazing how rare they are. They are so cool. Uh, yeah, I would suggest getting a standard bevel pairing chisel and then uh, heating it up and, and bending it yourself. Uh, what is that camera? That is camera. Two. Ooh, Terry Love. Terry Love. Talitha could finish a damn sight sooner than Ben, only because I don't talk as much. Where is he? There. Terry Love. Three things. No. <laughs> Put user in time out. There we go. There we go, Terry. Sorry, Terry. <laughs> You're mean. I am not mean. Terry's mean. Mum! Terry's being mean <laughs> to me. <laughs> can you rescind a timeout or is that? I don't think you can. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha, poor Terry. <laughs> oh. No. I can't rescind that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Terry. It was seemed like a fun thing to do at the time. Okay. Justice for Terry. Mm. Um, so in all seriousness, I really do think that Talitha could build a guitar pretty much unsupervised. Uh, as, as she said, the hand tool skills uh, are something that you, you learn with time, but um, you wouldn't necessarily need to do it the way I do it, Talitha, would you? You could easily do it where you have to sculpt it, and that is something that is second nature to you. I'd love to do that. Yeah, well, that's the thing. You could, um, you could do a lost wax um, casting if you wanted to. You could... Oh, don't, I've got so much going on, you can't give me more inspiration here. It's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag free Terry. <laughs> free the Terry one, Shane. Terry, we miss you. It's only 300 seconds, isn't it? Yeah, it's nearly finished. Bun needs a timeout. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get to sit down for a minute? Or Taz could tell us something embarrassing from his childhood. 
There's nothing embarrassing for my Mad Mad F says, oh gosh, we're now campaigning for free Terry Love. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay. Sweet Tea Guitars. Someone commented on my YouTube channel, I should have a do job doing voiceovers for Ben. Not sure what that meant, but I'm game. <laughs> and thank you. Uh, he thinks I have a very soothing, non-invasive voice. You do. You have a very, very good voice, and I'm envious of your, uh, your beard and general demeanour, for that matter. What are we looking at? Um, so, uh, uh, that being said, I, uh, I do my own voice work. Thank you very much. Maybe when you retire from building guitars, you can look at doing audiobooks. It's a bloody good industry to get into. It really is. I've always thought that that would be something that I'd like to do. That I'd like to do. I know we're talking about uh, Sweet Tea Guitars, yeah. Is Terry back here? Uh, I feel really bad now. He hasn't commented yet, but there's still loads of free Terry. I'm on Terry's side. Solidarity with Terry. When he comes back, because you asked him if he was actually booted from the live stream or was he just not allowed to comment for a bit? Um, I really do feel quite bad now. <laughs> uh, Mark Jennings, super chat. Hello, Mark. Says, did Bun just remove his marks again? Like maybe a centre line? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, uh, not really. They're, they're mostly on the outside of this, but um, uh, a few will need to be re reiterated. The reason I started doing this, funny guy, is because the uh, I couldn't actually draw up to the line properly because the epoxy was in the uh, in the exact wrong place on this side. Dave Perkins says, when will we see Bob Raven in the workshop? <laughs> I am very much looking forward to that. We're nearly there. This is... Uh... <laughs> Oops. Stronthor, Ben needs to carve his personal apologies to, to Terry in the control cavity. And Terry Love, he's finally back. He's oh, back. Oh, damn, I was put in detention, was I? <laughs> <laughs> was I the first not allowed to comment for a bit? Um, you were the first that I've ever done it to and felt bad about. <laughs> um, we've, we've had a few people... Um, We've had a few anti-vaxxers and uh, random idiots like that. Uh, and the odd... We had one horrendous racist as well at, some, at one point. Uh, mm. But that, that's, <clears throat> that's an outright ban rather than just a timeout. Time out, yeah. But uh, yeah, Terry, you are the first person I put in timeout. And I did it entirely for comedic effect. I apologise profusely. <laughs> it worked. Terry lives. Terry's back. Welcome back, Terry. Behold the return of Terry, who he who has been touched by the tattooed one. <laughs> um, I will deny it in court. <laughs> uh, there are many witnesses. Okay, there we go. So, finally, I've got a clean... area on which to work. Benjamin Aldridge said uh, Nick Offerman Ben Crow collab. I would love to do that. Uh, Nick's cool, he's got an amazing workshop 
full of incredible slabs of giant wood that could make some very cool guitars. Um, in general, in general, people of his caliper, caliper, they're over there. I know they are over there somewhere. <laughs> uh, Calibre tends not to know people at my level of infamy exist, nor do they tend to care unless I'm willing to shut off, shut over tens of thousands of pounds. I mean, Nick probably strikes me as the sort of person that would do a collaboration because he does. But uh, <sighs> I've been trying to get to do something with Adam Savage forever, and it's just. You've got to go through his people have people who have people and you're just never going to get to the people that actually matter yeah it's hard so grooving drums says so ben i asked you once to roast my inlay work you said you are too nice for that now you block poor terry which is way meaner yeah and your inlay sucks i mean no <laughs> i never checked it um i don't like roasting people although uh, I am happy to give uh, constructive criticism, if that's the case. My Silent Blue says, Ben, you still have some epoxy on the lower horn. Get it before it hardens completely. That's going to be sanded off on the uh, spindle sander. So I've only had to remove the, the epoxy on the sections where there's going to be rosewood coming through the top. Um, and uh, that's, that's where we stand at this point so yeah it's 10 to 6 in the evening UK time I am having my third or fourth wind that's why I had to leave earlier actually just yeah I couldn't stink out the witch horrendous horrendous wind um Phil Crowley says my compliments to Humans suck. People interested in guitar building tend to be much better than the average human. Um, so yeah, seriously, I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. So, dum -dum 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 -dum. what the hell am I gonna do? <laughs> Responding to Paul Crowley, uh, Rico Main says, "Give it a minute. We'll disgrace ourselves." <laughs> yes. Okay. Phoenix says he thinks the next Bribe Super Chat should go to Terry as com com compensatory gesture. Um, I don't know how to do that, but uh, Terry, Felipe, could you create a 20% off coupon for Terry as a, a positive for my egregious misuse of my authority and power? Terry, if you email Guild at Crimson Guitars and prove it to you, <laughs> Have you ever been inundated by people saying, I'm Terry, or whatever, when I say things like this? Well, we'll soon find out. <laughs> so. so. I'm just setting up the cameras for... My mic seems to be fine. No sound. Testing. No audio. Oh yeah, we've just run out of batteries. It's good having people who uh, are watching these things. Uh, it also takes a lot longer for these batteries to charge than it takes for me to decharge them. Discharge them, that's the word. And we're back. Are we back? Talitha's just, as I turned the microphones on, she slammed her microphone into the floor as hard as she could. Just to test the limiter, I think. <laughs> okay. Are we back? We're back. I can see the, the audio okay. things on here. So, uh, 
uh, camera three, and this is camera two. Let's sort that out. Sorry guys, Terry did not sabotage the audio, it was uh, batteries. Okay. Now. <laughs> Sorry love, it wasn't me, I didn't hack the audio. So as I said earlier, you have to make sure that uh, if you slip, your hand is not going to slam into the blade. It would really be very bad if that were to happen to any of us. That's just high enough. I think so, I'm not going to bump the fretboard either. Okay, ISO tunes. So if you could change camera shots randomly between uh, two and three. Okay. That would be awesome. I'm going to put on, I'm going to turn the main microphones off and I'm going to put on my goggles. Uh, I don't know, some people shout, shout at me. Before really. you mute, uh, there was a question about... Can't hear you. I've, I've got my eyes tuned off. What's the bandsaw blade no. still TPI? Can, still can't hear you. What's the bandsaw blade TPI? Uh, roughly six, I think. Stop hitting the camera. I missed it. Two. This time. Three. So we're currently on that one. Okay, goggles, headphones. There we go.
So, uh, uh, well, there we go. Uh, there was a couple of cuts that I couldn't make with the bandsaw due to the size of the rest of the body. Um, Talitha needs to fix the camera that she walked into. So uh, we'll do that. If you zoom in and out, it'll show up on the screen behind you so you can see what's, what's happening. There we go. <clears throat> uh, try and get it so you've got less of this. So basically about there, yep. Yeah. And then centered. Uh, we have audio, we have, well, we're back. Back, I tell you. Whew. For now. I think the audio was on for some of that, or was it the room audio? Uh, the room audio was on the whole time, and for the first five seconds, uh, the main microphones were on until I remembered and popped over and turned it off. Yeah. I apologize. There were initially some... Uh, Pained responses. Some of that, yes, but... Yay, we've bullied him into wearing PPE. Ben puts on goggles, on his own accord. What sorcery is this? This little bit here, just in the corner. Tiny, 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 tiny bit. I got that, and it pinged straight into my goggle. A little bit cut off there. So, uh, yes, when I'm cutting wood, I've never been hit in the face with anything pinging off a bandsaw when I'm cutting wood, never in my life. Um, metal, however, is a different story. End that pole, Talitha. Uh -huh. uh, no, it's now 58%, 11 a.m. Okay, um, yeah, we need to keep the poles short and sweet. Mm. I tried to end it and the link, it wouldn't, anyway, it doesn't matter. Patrick Arthur says Ben, chaotic good, has his own set of rules. Ben saw metal only with goggles. Chaotic good. Thank you very much. Ah, there we go. Oh, there was the bandsaw. This is now starting to look like a guitar that, uh, that we designed. <laughs> I very nearly punched myself in the face with my saw there. Trish Good says all of us that subscribe to Adam Savage's page need to inundate him with collaboration requests. By the way, this is actually Tom, the sleeping husband. I hear my wife threw me under the bus this morning. <laughs> Hi, she did. It's my favourite comment pretty much of all time. How was your, uh, how was your nap? <laughs> or, well, it was 5.30 in the morning, so I think you, yeah. Oops. 
There's a point in a guitar build where it starts to look like the guitar that you had in your head. This is that point. I do need to bounce off some more of the, the headstock, but yeah. What do you think? <sighs> I think we've done good. Trish Good or Tom, I think he's meaning good nap, can't wait to watch what I missed. <laughs> yeah. And a super chat from Jules saying, thanks Ben for wanting to watch, email just went out with pictures, thanks again, keep it up. No, it's a pleasure. Um, I will do, please keep reminding me if I don't get to it uh, in, in short order. Uh, okay. And there were a lot of cringe comments wondering how you managed to bounce all that without catching your thumb. Seriously, my hands were nowhere near the blade at any point. Uh, camera angles, especially this one here, which is a very low angle, you, you can't really see. I get the same. I shout at the YouTube. I shout at the YouTube quite a lot. Um, Many Deresta. He's very, very, very scary when he uses bandsaws. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, there we go. So we are going to uh, quickly bandsaw the excess off the headstock. We are then going to move over to the spindle sander and tidy up the, the shapes as much as I can. Some of these areas here are going to require a, uh, a file, etc. But uh, yeah, <laughs> let's do that after this comment. Uh. Terry Love says, I'm not saying anything about how it looks. I don't want to be in detention again. The guitar. Can you please put Terry in a timeout? Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> don't. I can't deal with the blowback. <laughs> Can somebody else please tell me what it looks like? Because I think it looks cool as. We collaboratively designed it, and if it looks like something it shouldn't, then I need to know uh, so I can fix it. Ironimus says this could really sell as a kit. Uh, it would have cup holders if it was designed by a community. <laughs> a committee, sorry. Um, Arthur says, I wonder how that would sit in a typical guitar stand. The bottom curve might work. Yeah, it might. Um, if anybody wants one of these, first of all, the raffle is live and there is a very, very good chance um, of you winning it. There's only 2,000 or so tickets sold. Talitha can tell us exactly how many in a second. Um, but yeah, we would make, I will put this into production if enough people, well, if anybody wants one, we'll, we'll make one. 2,606 tickets. Okay, so yeah, um, there we go. I'm gonna bandsaw and then and I'm going to turn this audio off now, and then we're going to go over to the sander.
Well, hello there. I think we need to call the whole raffle thing off. I want to keep this one. <laughs> it's a bit late. Oh, gosh. I really like this. I really, 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 really like this. Oh, my God. So, so there's, a, there's a bunch of work to be done on uh, just finalizing in the corners in here, etc. Texturing that, routing sanding carving uh, i need to carve the carve the neck of course uh, the headstock is uh, is a long way towards being finished that is more delicate as well i do want to have uh, in the back a uh, so i started doing a bevel on here but uh, uh, realized i wanted to get the edges finalized perf perfectly beforehand but we could essentially have a bevel that meets there, removes some of the weight. It's not actually hugely heavy at this stage, although it's not going to be a light guitar uh, in the end. I wish some of you had mentioned, you know, weight relief or something, I don't know, maybe, you know, before I'd started applying glue. Um, <sighs> My gosh. <clears throat> okay. Reaper Man says it's totally a Klingon guitar. And Ian M says if Ben didn't want to keep it, then I'd be worried. <laughs> yeah, very good point. Uh, there have been guitars that I've built that just were not um, my kind of thing. Um, but this, this very much, this very much is, um, super chat. Okay. Yeah. Feed, feed me with questions and queries and, uh, um, uh, Luther, Luther builds, Luther, one of my favorite YouTube names of all time says it's really sick. Good work. Everybody's part on everybody's part. Thank you very much. I do um, tend to pick really, really good members of stuff. <laughs> Salty Johns says it looks like a Gibson Modern and Explorer. We're left alone, and this is the result. Add Benz and add Benz and our committee's creativity, and we have birthed this. I agree. Let's see what I can do. And then Trish Good, or Tom, says thank you again for all you do. No, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much uh, for watching and, uh, uh, and sleeping. But uh, sleep is, the older I get, the more required I think it is. Um, your wife remains one of the coolest viewers and commenters I've ever had. Um, I'm really happy with this i'm really 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 happy with this i'm sorry if i'm making you feel ill a little bit with this but yeah i think that's going to be a very cool i know this is going to be incredibly cool so so yeah the question then is <laughs> oh, oh, there's so much. We've got room for a big enough control cavity behind the rosewood. It doesn't have to be just in that horn, which is great. So we can, we can do that. We've got three. It's not a Klingon guitar. I mean, you are allowed to think what you want. Lots of commenters. No, 
Not that I've got anything, a problem with Star Trek in any way, shape or form. No, this is meant for Star Wars. Exactly. Um, okay, leave, I just want to clean, I just want to clean this up a little bit. Doherty says, love you, brother. Thanks for showing me I'm not the only one with an unsettling mind. Ha! There are many of us out here. Reaper Man says, the Klingon thing wasn't a criticism, it just doesn't look at all Star Wars. It's, yeah, you're probably right. I could say yet. Yet, okay, yet. No, it's, it's more the aluminium. Uh, anyway, we, we started with an idea and we ended up with this. And uh, uh, the old aphorism, no war survives first contact. That's, that's where we're at with this one. But uh, in the end, I truly don't care what it looks like as long as it looks cool and I think that is certainly happening. You have to read this comment, uh, it's got a tune to it and I'm not going to sing it. From Paul Needs. Old Ben Crow was a merry old soul and a merry old soul was he. He called for his plane and he called for his plans and he called for his fresh coffee. I like it. <laughs> So I really haven't spent much time uh, in anybody else's live streams or listening to comments or anything. I, you know, I am aware that there are assholes on the internet, but I thought that for the most part, if you're watching a live stream of something you're interested in, you're going to be not an asshole. Um, but uh, yeah, I am really, 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 really glad. Uh, at the community that we've we've got here and at how how cool um, you all are it really does make me very very happy and yes I'm using my sharp nice big chisel as a scraper built on chisel yep yeah. this is the built on chisel it's perfect for cutting built on Patrick Artner says, Oh Ben, you have a protected mind. Yet another reason not to switch to Twitch. <laughs> not to switch to Twitch. Okay. I don't know, I was never I was never gonna switch to Twitch, not a chance. Uh, I was potentially thinking about adding it and restreaming so the, the YouTube stuff would end up on Twitch as well. Um, but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Terry Love and Slave to the Ink and J.A. Stoddard, your comments have been flagged up for language. <laughs> okay. Um, Terry Love says, A holes don't just watch what they like, they like being A holes. Yeah, been there, employed a few of them. Slave to the Ink says, A holes will be A holes, but. That's all there ever will be. You can say arseholes on this channel. I don't want to. 
And J.A. Stoddard says, we can be assholes if needed. No, 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 that was not what I was after. <laughs> More Twilight Zone than Star Wars. Cool guitar. I've not watched Twilight Zone ever. Repo Man says it's Eiffel style. Who? Repo Man. Eiffel Tower. Oh, uh, yeah, I see that. Okay. I'm slant. Yeah, I do see that. Jamie. Crowd Kremaya? I don't know. Yeah. Personally, I prefer Twitch, but both platforms are great. Trolls are everywhere. So the thing is, I think Twitch is fantastic for, for gamers. I think the people looking for guitar building will not go looking on Twitch. Because um, I, I went on Twitch to look for myself, just to see if there were any craftspeople or interesting anythings um, prior to me thinking about doing Twitch streaming myself. And I just couldn't find very much there. I've seen artists and sculptors, but yes, predominantly gamers. Yeah, there, there are some artists and sculptors, but uh, nowhere near as many as you've got on YouTube. And uh, yeah. I don't know. Super chat. Yep. Vulcan Essen. V. The shape is not far away from the Starfleet logo. Two birds, one stone. Yeah, okay. With all these streams, my girlfriend thinks you've moved into our place. Thanks and cheers. Uh, I mean, I could just make the whole thing official, really, and, and, and actually move it. <laughs> <laughs> that could be fun. Uh, v, could you fit all the tools? Is there room for a work? E e even I can't fit all the tools. Welcome to Divergent Guitars, a new member. Cool, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I know your name. <laughs> and Terry Love is risking it again. What are you doing, Terry? <laughs> so you aren't going to start an OnlyFans channel. Only found frets. <laughs> um, so apparently OnlyFans is no longer quite as risque as it used to be. And uh, it is a way to get, to give exclusive content to people. And it's not just um, what we're all thinking, <sighs> which is cool, but it's also, oh, would you look at that? Um, camera four. Toby. So there's, there's a little gap there at the end that we're going to have to clamp up where there just wasn't enough clamping pressure, which actually makes sense because the clamping pressure was only on the aluminium. So I need to glue that up. Hold it up like that, but with the neck horizontal. No, so I can see the back. Yeah. Terry Duffin says, when Ben holds it up, it looks like a Mandalorian or Book of Boba Fett speeder bike. That's true. I'm still sticking with... Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It's evolving. Um, okay, so I need to glue that. I'm happy with that. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start preparing to call it a night. Um, Hit me with as many questions as you have. Talitha, just <laughs> free, just chuck chuck words at okay. me. Um, super chats will be answered, but pretty much anything. I'm going to whack some glue in there and clamp that up. Vulcan says, I've got more than half of the crimson tools here already. Ah. <laughs> but it'll be hand tool only builds. I'm in. This build is going to be eight episodes. Thank you, Arizona. Yeah, I. Uh...
Divergent guitars. Ben's only fans would be just naughty picks of gorgeously restored, uh, I'm assuming, tools and ASMR planing and chiseling videos. That's a very good point. A lot of people do want to see, uh, Talitha, ASMR hand tool, an ASMR hand tool channel. Um, so, so literally just hours of planing and chiseling and... Well then you're going to have to learn how to not talk. Well that's not going to happen. No. Um, no, it doesn't necessarily have to be me on camera. Okay, so this glue in here is still relatively soft, so I'm going in with a very fine, beautiful, vintage rosewood handled spatula kind of tool. <laughs> Luther for build says it looks like a halo gun. Oh, that's that's also cool. I was uh, before yesterday's live stream. I was playing Halo for a good two or three hours with uh, with my wonderful wife. Frugal fixer Spike. Spike, how you doing? Says Ben. Do you find the small tool well on the workbench helpful, or should I just <coughs> not add one at all? Don't add one at all. Um, it is. <coughs> Excuse me, it is a place to store random shit that you don't want, period. And then you lose other things in it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, welcome to JC, new member. Welcome, JC. Adrift Music, super chat for nine ninety nine. Thank you. Says, this is a wonderful thing to watch and listen to while doing my own woodworking project. Thank you both for your time and effort. It's an absolute pleasure. Um, thank you for, for coming along. We wouldn't be able to do it. We wouldn't be able to justify it and, and do it if, if it weren't for Super Chats coming in and, uh, uh, and the like. Um, but yeah, I mean, thank you. Oh, let's go for, I'm gonna just go to number four and then we're just gonna go. Is it gonna? Ha, 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 ha. There we go. I don't think we're allowed to say that word anymore, Talitha. Okay. Somebody intimated that it wasn't what we think it was. Is <laughs> stuff. Okay. Practical re Renaissance. Practical Renaissance, Renaissance. May have named this guitar Mando Caster. Put a poll up. Um, Okay. Okay, fine. Send us. We've got at most fifteen more minutes. This has been a long day. Mando caster is an option. I quite like it. Uh, give us other ideas. Mando caster. Uh, the central scrutinizer. The live streams are really fun to watch. Thank you for doing them. It's a pleasure. Uh, Strider Hells Rider says, OMG, your wife plays games with you. It's cool. We were trying desperately to download any local co-op game on Xbox. And there's just nothing really except for Halo or maybe a few horror games or things that are a little bit too old for the kids and they wonder it all the time. So it's like, okay, we spent half an hour, 45 minutes looking for a local co-op game that we fancied doing other than Rayman, which we haven't downloaded, and just ended up playing Halo 4 again. You know, it's cool. Uh, we've got Boba Fett, Firebird, and Winger. Yeah. No, I don't like either of those as much as I like Mando Caster. Okay, I'm going back up. We've got <laughs> Darth Bernard. <laughs> no. Just call it the Force. Oh. I like that. Strat Leth from JC. Say what? Strat hyphen Leth. Strat Leth. I don't get the reference on that one. Hmm. The Stratolarian. No, stop. <laughs> we don't have to use anything to do with the Stratocaster. Light Axe. Light Axe. What is the axe in Halo called, actually? Not that this is a Halo guitar. Anyway, yeah. 
Uh, Will Baines has a question. Okay, cool. Hit me. Does Ben cut his steak with a chisel or a plain blade? Yeah. Um, neither. But my chisels are. If I had to choose between the two, it would be it would be it would be a chisel because they're sharper than any knife I uh, possess. Um, Luther for builds. Did you check the Insta pics I, pics I sent you yet? I haven't had a chance to check Instagram today, but I will later on. Uh, no, I haven't. Um, I have. Um, I did one thing last night after after the stream, and that was check out a YouTube channel and. Uh, uh, yeah, I was coughing, so I uh, looked for cures for that. Quite a few people are saying C3P90. <sighs> C3P90. And there's one called the Parsec. Muz Isley. Okay. Um, Core. Amanda Cast of the Force C3P90, the Parsec. That's four. See if you can. See if there's. Okay. See if you can knock one of those off. Um, one of them. You've got one more. Basically, we can only offer four, and those are my current four. Basically. R2 get to. Add G U I T. Not. Bad. Oh. <laughs> X Wing Star Aluminium Falcon. Actually, the Millennium Falcon was probably made out of aluminium in, the, in, in reality, in the world in which it's real. <laughs> Not to do with the naming thing, but Frugal Fix the Spike says, I tried doing quite ASMR, quiet ASMR videos, but my little rooster out back and road traffic is making it difficult. It's hard enough for me to not talk with my ADHD blazing every day. How? Love ASMR. Yeah, that's a very good point. Okay. Okay, Talitha, uh, could you do a, a poll? I... Hold it's, on. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, guitar name, Mando Caster, which was the first and is still, I think, the best. Is that Caster T E R? T E R. Yeah. Yeah. Second okay. option is the Force. Okay. Third C three P ninety. Yep. Fourth the Parsec, which is I think. Let's, no, let's take the Parsec out. I think it's a good name, but it's not as good as the other three. Okay. So it's just between uh, Mandocaster, The Force, and C3P90. Tanative 4. Nope. Okay. I think I spelt... Did I... Oh my god! What have you done? I declamped the glue that was drying. I'm busy tidying up. <laughs> Come on. A <laughs> brilliant. Several several super chats. Okay. Uh, John Savage for ten pounds says Bubba Fret. Oh, add that and add add that add that. Can I? Oh no! Is it too late? It's too late. End it. Cancel. End it. End. 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 Sorry, people. Do it again. Uh, Rob Phoenix says, "Call it Terry." <laughs> I think that there is a. Uh, 
What should we call Terry? Not the guitar, but uh, something. Okay, new poll coming up. Sorry, everybody. And Terry Love said, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, Sentinel, Lightspeed, Kylo Ben. <laughs> That's funny. Baba Fret is epic. Scrap Caster. No. Scale Walker. I like that. Uh, Paul Needs has a super chat question. Okay. Neck angle pocket or on the neck heel? I tend to do it in the pocket if at all possible and then uh, move on to the heel to adjust but uh, it depends on the build if it's a flat topped okay if it's a carved guitar then the top needs to be cut at the angle and then your template just sits on that and you've got an angled pocket that is at the same angle as the top which means that the top of your fretboard is sitting on the top perfectly that's how I prefer to do it. Uh, if it's a s s sort of bolt-on or something like that, uh, trim, etc. No, no, nothing happened. Um, if you pause that, you might see me shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, bear, there's a blooper. <laughs> there is a blooper. What is it? I have to drop pretty much every single bloody guitar. I dropped Jasmine's, the whole, the, the whole caster thing. I put it carefully on the bench and step back carefully to take some photographs for Instagram and it just plop. Was it flat or did you have it up? I had it up. Well that's why. <laughs> uh, super chat from Helly Kevin. Hi Helly. Uh, like, comment, subscribe Walker. <laughs> I like it. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to build tomorrow and put my back up. Ah. <laughs> um, super chat from Grunwala says, Ben should try It Takes Two. It's a good couple local couch co-op. I did see that. Um, okay. And Strider Hells Rider is just laughing at you in the comments. Meanie. Bad him. <laughs> no, no, no. Ben didn't drop it. It was just a caffeine induced spasm. <laughs> it was something. Um. Andre, Andre Silva says, This is not the coffee you're looking for. <laughs> this has turned into a puntastic stream. <laughs> Why, why, why did you make a bench so damn small? I didn't make this bench. This bench um, was uh, a workshop clearance from VintageToolShop.com and uh, essentially I was just, it was just at the beginning of lockdown and I, do I want to do that? I could do it all the way back to, mm digressions uh yeah i knew i was having to build a workshop at short notice and i didn't particularly want to pay retail prices for a workbench um, given that brand new workbenches are super expensive but i also didn't want to spend the time to build a workbench while i was also building workshops um, due to lockdown, I had to do everything really rapidly. And if you recall, there was actually a good two or three months where there basically weren't any videos going live that were worth uh, watching. <sighs> so there we go. Um, I gotta find the question. Benjamin Ald Aldridge says, clickbait title, YouTube's best luthier drops guitar after 30 hour build. I am certain that it's been more than 30 hours. <laughs> I can feel it in my bones. 
Um, I am certain, certain I am not the best luthier on YouTube. Uh, that is emphatically uh, the case. The real wonky dog you. says, wow, just tuned in and what do I see? Excitement. <laughs> um, you're a bit late. We're, we're, we're going to be calling it at night. Uh, imminently. We're just doing questions and a poll to see what to call the guitar. Um, and seeing if we can destroy Ben's back. Will Merrick says, ask Ben if he remembers Gavin. I'm his godson. I remember Gavin. We, we know Gavin Everybody well. remembers Gavin. It's impossible not to remember Gavin. Three. Bump. Yeah, no, Gavin's awesome. He was down recently, wasn't he? Uh, before Christmas, yes. Crowley says, censor it or not, but expletive. I feel at home here. Thank you, Ben, and brilliant tea. That is a pleasure. Is it Thor? Thor Crowley. Thor Crowley. That's two. Or Crowley. Crowley. It's two incredibly cool names. Yeah. I wasn't allowed to call my smallest child, my, my, my shortest child, the, the youngest boy. I wanted, I wanted Thor. And we ended up with Torben, which means storm bringer. Hold on, I'm not looking at the camera. Wrong camera. <laughs> My youngest child's middle name is Torben, which means Stormbringer, which is another name for Thor. And it's because uh, there was a major lightning storm on the day, on the night that he was born. <sighs> Story over. It's uh, back to three, three. Salty Johns. Oh, Thor Crowley, it's my actual name. So it's not just a username. Great. No, it's a bloody good name. Salty Johns wants your thoughts on replacing versus repairing a Les Paul neck. We'll repair wherever possible. Ah, repair wherever possible, especially with a Les Paul, because the second you take that neck out, you will probably find that there are giant cavities in the neck pocket area that are hidden behind that. Uh, joint that was designed to hide shitty glue joints. Depends on when it was made, but uh, I, I cut into a, a Les Paul once to do a uh, a modification to make the heels smaller, and it was uh, it was horrific. Like a three mil gap all the way down the entire back of the neck, three millimeter air gap. Maybe it's a tone gap. Tone gap. Um. Oh, forget only fans or only fanned frets. I want only flans. I think I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> You're hungry. Uh, Mikey Copeland says, can't be Bubba fret as there aren't any frets. Ha. Huh. Uh, traditionally, yeah. You're correct. And quite a few people are saying C3P90 should be the serial number if it can't be the name. True. Well, what is the... Um, don't tell me. Give me 30 seconds. 30 seconds of voting, people. And then uh, this poll is over. Cool. Okay, so essentially I'm just opening up this headstock a little bit. Um, the... The holes are a little bit too close to this bit, so the nuts didn't have room to to lock in. Uh, so I'm just doing that. Sorry, I'll just keep the camera. Arthur Castanguay says resonance chambers. Oh, yeah. I call them laziness chambers. <laughs> Nim Corco says, because it's a V, why not Vader's Lament or something? I like that. That's probably the song that you play on it. Yeah. Garage Master Guitars, Tone Gap. Um, I must make the most tone full guitar going. Yeah. 
Okay, close the pump. What is this guitar called? Where are the results? Uh, Baba Fret is 40%. Okay. C3P90 is 32, Mandacast 14, the Force 12. So Bubba Fret uh, with a serial number C3P90. Yeah, I like it. Should that be Boba Fret or yes. Babu Fret? No, it's Boba. Boba. Boba Fret. Whatever you wrote it was wrong. Uh, <coughs> yeah, well, wow, the meaning. suggestion Sorry. was Bubba and. Boba. Sorry. Boba Fret. C three P three P ninety, okay, very cool. I might we may well get sued by that. <laughs> Oops. Or at least a, a, a cease and desist, but uh, I'm I'm happy with that. Uh, Johnny B Bad says it's just seven p.m. I've finished my eleven-hour shift, been here all day, and you're still going. Mm, kinda. Okay, everybody, I will be back here at 11 a.m. UK time tomorrow morning. Gives time for you guys all to have a little bit of a sleep and some food and some more coffee. Um, the, the guitar is now really looking like a guitar, uh, or at least like something. Uh, it turns out the aluminium is actually really rather hard to film. <laughs> uh, give some thought to the finishing. I am... erring towards probably just guitar finishing oil, something like that, or maybe even leaving it completely natural. <clears throat> but uh, but we shall see, we shall see. So tomorrow we'll be routing, uh, routing, fitting the tremolo, fitting three P90s, creating a control cavity, uh, finishing the shaping of the headstock that I've been whittling away uh, today and finishing the guitar, installing electronics, pickups, etc. We might actually finish this build tomorrow, but I'm not going to promise anything. Nothing. I'm promising nothing. Uh, no, finishing isn't going to be that. Finishing is going to be a rattle can spray. How's that? So, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, Talitha. You look like you've got a question for me. I'm still reading or the comments. Three. Um, lots of people saying goodbye. Thanks for a great day. Thanks for the entertainment. Thank you for being entertained and for watching and for giving my life meaning and purpose beyond <laughs> the normality of being a husband and father. I, I don't think I just insulted my family. Is it beyond? <laughs> Being a husband and father obviously comes first and gives great meaning to my life. Without them, I would be bereft. But uh, having this is also very cool. Speaking of which, really, goodbye, guys. I want to go see my kids. Um, it's 7 o'clock. It is. So, yeah, tomorrow we'll be starting at 11 a.m. UK time and finishing uh, around about 5.30. Uh, I'm not going to go longer than that on these live streams. Now, I, we are going to do these... Most Mondays, period. We've got a Monday build and a Saturday build, and we'll see what happens. Um, are there any more Super Chats before we go? Anything we've missed, because I don't like missing things? Uh, Paul Needs says I wasted a Super Chat, but I can't find it. Okay, Talitha's looking uh, for Paul, Paul Needs. Paul Needs, neck angle on an SG type. Um, da, 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 I would do it on the neck. I would do it on the neck itself. Um, yeah. I'm assuming this is talking about uh, yeah, how I would do it. Yeah, original question was neck, angle pocket, or on the neck heel. Yeah, I then... would do it on the neck heel. The, the, your, your option is um, either adjust the neck heel and then the end of the neck is going to be weird and difficult to get the gap right and the angle right and that's that's where that's a little bit problematic however if you grab a standard standard pencil take a standard pencil put that exactly on the bridge line 
then take your template and rest your template on the pencil and on the edge of the guitar. On most guitars, Les Pauls and SGs and things like that, that angle, that's your break angle. It's about three degrees, two and a half, three degrees, and it's exactly what you need. So you can put, you can use that trick to put in an angle, even if it's on a flat, uh, on a flat topped guitar like this one or an SG. Um, there we go. Are we done, my sister? I think so. Uh, one more question, comment from Terry Love. I love Terry. Says, insanity is hereditary. You get it from your kids. <laughs> Done. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being Terry Terry. And uh, everybody keep well. I will hopefully see you in the morning. If not, um, uh, please apologize to your bosses for how knackered I've left you after this <laughs> insanity. Uh, but yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. And if it is not finished tomorrow, it'll be next Monday. But uh, I think that, Tlitha, we're going to do this every Monday, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Cool. Good one. Rock and roll, everybody. I. Uh... Cool. And JC, quickly. Uh... No! Fine. The, these live streams are up permanently. Yes. So you, even though you won't be able to watch it live, you will be able to watch it later in the day. So you can watch worry. it later in the day, and you have the option uh, to watch the chat later as well, unless that setting has been changed again mm. by mistake. I think you should be able to see. We'll check tonight. You should be able to see the chat while you're watching if you decide to. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. I will see you soon. I am signing off. This yep. has been Ben Crow and Talitha Crow Good and, night and Crimson thanks Guitars. For joining and us. We're talking over each other. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye.